Hi, chat. Hello, chat. Oh my goodness. Goodness, glaciers. Um, let's see, let's see. First of all, Boxing Elephant, thank you for the 21... Oh no, I'm sorry, the 22 months. Welcome back. And Machiavelli, thank you for the 11 months. Welcome back as well. And Scarn coming in with the 10 gift days. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, Scarn. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and actually, Scarn, by the way, I thought of you this weekend because I saw a lot of spiders and there was a, um... It was a moment at the show where we walked by a booth and I didn't know what I was looking at at first. They had like bins, like shoebox bins. And it looked like there was like straw inside. So I was like, okay, well maybe this is like some kind of um, mouse or something. There's like a rodent or something in here. And I got closer and I'm not wearing my glasses, right? Because I'm I have a mask on and I don't, it's all hot in there and foggy. Uh, so I get closer, and it's a whole bin, and it's not straw; it's mealworms. It's just a bin filled to the brim with mealworms and harms. <laughs> and we got within like a foot of it, right? And harms is like. He turns to me, he's like, why did you make me walk up to a box of writhing? <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> he was upset. But anyway, I thought of you when uh, we walked by that just little funny thing. Uh, also, Tiffany, thank you for the 10 months. Welcome back. Did you know baby spiders are called spiderlings or slings? I did know that. Uh, Galactic Dork, uh, thank you for the four months. Mr. Rogers, thank you for the four months as well. Machiavelli, thank you for the hundred biddies. And Skarn, thank you for the 36 month resub. Welcome back as well. Yeah, it was, um, it was an experience. I, I was not expecting... Just this shoebox full of mealworms. That was not... There wasn't even, like, bedding in there. It was literally just mealworms making up what was in that box. And it was filled. There, were, there was, like, at least two inches deep of mealworms in a shoebox. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> and they had... I think they had other types of worms, too, at that booth. But it was mostly just the mealworms. Um, but yeah, the show was fun. Um, aside from that, that was alarming, but, uh, a lot of, a lot of insects, a lot of reptiles, of course. Fun, fun stuff for me. I met a lot of people and, uh, talked to some people. Unfortunately, the main person I wanted to talk to was pretty busy, and I didn't want to take up his time too much. Uh, but I got some questions answered, so I'm, I'm pretty good. Unfortunately, he had, a, he had a car accident on the way up to the show, and they were there really late. I can't even imagine getting... Uh, into a car accident with all my animals in the car. I would I would be not okay. But he was all right. All the geckos were all right. Everybody nobody got hurt. So he he said it was a, just a side swipe, but still um I did see several good geckos. Um uh, none none that I was interested in purchasing uh, aside from two which I could not afford. <laughs> Um, the only ones at the show that I had any interest in were a couple of sables, which currently the sable gene is very expensive. Not something that's going to be anywhere near my price range for the next several years. 
Um, they were listed at $35,000. So, not, not possible. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yes, I know that's a new car. And the funny part of that is someone will actually purchase those animals. Somebody has that money. Somebody has the desire to have those animals and they will make that investment and they will make absolute bank on them. Uh, I am here and thank you for the 20 months. Why so expensive? Uh, because they are a specific gene. Um, so with crested geckos, there's not very many known, um, I don't really know how to explain it. It's, it's like, uh, the best way I could describe it is like a purebred dog. <laughs> um, I, I don't really think that's exactly comparable. Um, It's hard to explain. They have a certain gene that is incredibly rare that does unique things to their color. Oh, God. Nice, dude. Um, and it came from one specific breeder, one specific animal. The rest of the animals in that lineage have actually passed away since. Um, because it's taken years to determine whether or not that gene was something that could be passed on. And it has desirable traits on it. Like, it's it's got really cool pattern on it. Um, that people are looking for in their future breeding plans. And, uh, the pattern is what people are after right now. And the colors and, and different looks to the gecko. And so this one animal produced more animals that looked similar to him and it took them years to prove out whether or not that was something uh can, can i please just park this hello thank you it took them years to prove out whether or not that would pass along to the offspring um and it turned out that it does. So now people are interested in this gene because it's unique and it's new. And it's kind of the next big thing in the market. And people are buying it. And they want to buy it. And a lot of the offspring that was initially produced from that one male uh, was sold off to Korea several years back. So now there's a lot in Korea right now. Uh, a lot of sable crested geckos in Korea. And now they're just now being imported to the U.S. And these geckos that are $35,000 were some of the first imports back to the U.S. And he's the only person that has them in the United States right now. So if you're a crested gecko enthusiast and a breeder... It's something that you kind of want to get into if you want to make money while you're selling animals that you really like. Um, so you kind of have to know, like these animals don't look like anything crazy or special. Um, and especially when they're young, um, they don't show their true colors until they're actually mature breeding adults. Because um, crested geckos, when they're born, or they're, when they hatch, they don't look exactly like they're going to look when they're an adult. And you kind of have to know what they're going to look like once they're bigger to be able to tell. And that takes years. And so these people um, breeding them, they have a lot of years invested into this project to begin with. So that by itself is worth... A lot of money because they spent the time to do this and they have the knowledge and the know-how 
to get to this point. And that's one of the main reasons why it's so much money. And the fact that people really, really, really want these kinds of geckos and the, the geckos with that kind of pattern on them, which for me, I really want a sable because they look exactly like what I'm going for with my breeding plans. So someday I will have them. I, it's like goals right now for me. Someday I will have a sable crested gecko in my collection. And I also would like to have someday an exanthic, which is like a almost black and white gecko or like grayscale. Um, so my current goal is to produce like black and white high contrast animals. That's what I'm really, I like, I love the look of them. And so I'm going for, so that's my plan. And sable is something that I need in order to get really close to that and achieve that. Because there's some sables that look so heckin' cool. Because um, I can... Here, I'll actually show you one. Give me a second, chat. All right, so here's actually a cool comparison. Um, this picture is from when the gecko was really young and the bottom part of it is her as an adult. So it's very, very interesting how they change. But that's kind of the direction I'd like to go. And I really like the highlights on the crests like that. I think it looks really cool. Um, and I have some geckos that are close, but probably aren't ever going to get to this effect without having the sable gene. Um, it's really interesting how the genetics and stuff work with that sort of thing, but. Um, yeah, that's me nerding out over lizards, but anyway. I had fun at the expo, and that was what I saw. I, I got super excited because I actually got to see them in person, which was really fun. Um, also, Sum Deville, thank you for the nine months. Welcome back. But yeah, um, I didn't see anything I couldn't live without. I was really just looking to have some questions answered about things that I wasn't too sure on because i've been having some problems with ventilation and like um i switched all my geckos from paper towel or from a uh, bioactive substrate to paper towel just for sanitary reasons uh, but i'm noticing with that change there's some there's kind of like a smell like a it's almost mildewy and i don't like that like even with regular cleaning um, and I talked to a few people and I got some tips on that, so hopefully I can resolve the issue. Um, but I'm not, I don't like that, uh, they got a smell, because I've never had them have a smell before. But hopefully I can fix it. I think it's just ventilation. Um, possibly getting more uh, holes drilled into the enclosures can help. And also I got some cleaner from one of the main guys I was talking to. Which should also help me. But aside from that. 
I saw, oh, there was one thing that I almost came home with, and I am glad I didn't. Um, just because I know I don't have the time for it, even though it would have been really cool to have. Um, there was a green keel-bellied lizard, and I've been waiting at the expos to see one, because I really just wanted to interact and see them in person. Because I'm not 100% sure if I want one yet. Uh, I, I definitely think I do, though, after seeing one. Um, but that's like a kind of years from now thing. Once I get the gecko situation kind of popping and rolling. Um, but I saw her at the expo and... She was a sort of rescue situation, I guess. The the lady that had her had taken her from somebody that couldn't care for her anymore, and she was in pretty rough shape. So she was missing uh, most of her tail, and if you don't know what a keel-bellied lizard is, they are pretty much all tail. Like, their tail is double the length of their body. And so for her to not have all of that is, like, crazy. Oh my god, Comcast, please. Please, Comcast. And Winter, thank you for the six months. Welcome back. I appreciate it. This is really annoying, Comcast. I'm getting really sick of it. But uh, anyway, yeah, she was missing most of her tail and she had some stuck shed still on her tail. But the lady said that anytime she was, um, you know, trying to resolve that issue and, and help her with that. Um, by giving her like a little sauna and uh, just trying to fix that issue. Um, she would just keep the tail. More of the tail would be a problem, so... Uh, it wasn't really fixing itself, and she needed a lot of work, like, just to fix that one problem. And she wasn't well socialized, so she was just too scared to do anything. And, uh, so I just, I don't have the time to dedicate to something like that. I, I'd love to, but it's just not something I can do right now. So I decided not to. I don't know if you guys can even hear me right now, to be honest. What am I missing? Oh, spikes. Oh dear, Comcast. You suck. Also, Gemini, thank you for the 20 months. Welcome back. Can you guys even hear me? I don't know. No one said anything. I don't know. You can? Okay. Um... But yeah. Anyway. Uh, it's probably not your connection. It's probably Comcast on my end. That's what everybody's wigging out about. Yeah, you guys will probably want to refresh.
Yeah, I, I can read you guys. I just... Nobody said anything after I said it. I don't know if you guys can hear me. I had to ask twice. Mino Sheep, thank you for the 23 months. Welcome back. Is a bowl of cheese, tomato, pepperoni, and croutons a pizza? Hmm. I would say so. Yeah. Yeah, why, well, after all, why couldn't it be a pizza? If a salad is a sandwich, then a bowl of that is a pizza. Calzone. Calzones can have sauce too, though. Alright. We gotta take care of some business, though, first off. I think my internet's okay now. You sound like a robot. What? Oh, okay, maybe it was just me. Speak again? Hello? Oh, okay, you're good. I think it was my ears. Oh, God. Okay. Um, all right. So, I got your text. I am in the middle yes. of writing the paperwork now. All right. Um, I need kind of like a little statement from you, though. Like, uh... How did you decide that you needed your phone record subpoenaed? Like, what, what led you to that? Uh, when I uh, woke up from ICU, I went back to Rooster and uh, one of the employees told me that I... Last time they saw me, I was going down to the driving school to give a driving test because okay. I got a phone call. Okay, I couldn't remember how you uh, got that. Um, yeah. okay, so, uh, basically, you were attacked on the 18th, is that correct? Yes. And you were put into the ICU, you don't know what happened when you came to, uh, you went to Roosters and one of the employees told you that day that, um, you were last seen on your way to the driving school. And... Well, they, they told me I had a phone call, that's all they told me, they didn't see me go. You got a, a phone call? That's what they told me. Oh, okay. And you told them that you were on your way there? I assume so. I, I, I literally don't remember going there at all. Like, the last okay. thing I remember is working at Rooster. Hmm. Okay. Hey, look. And then, uh, he didn't have any records of any tests or anything, right? No, unfortunately. Okay. I, I don't suppose we have, we don't, unfortunately, we don't have logs of who logs in or uh, who clicks in or not, right? No, I don't think so. So even if I was clicked in or not, that, that won't appear anywhere. Okay. 
All right, I will put that info in my subpoena, and I will let you know right. as soon as I get it. All right, I also have something for you. Oh? You remember the picture we took at the dining school? Yeah. I have it. You have it? Is the magazine out? Yeah, it's out. I have the magazine. <gasps> I need to see it. Are you at the ranger station? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I made my a good okay. guess because I'm heading, I'm heading this way. Okay, I will continue my paperwork and I'll see you when you get here. I'll be there in like less than a minute. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Okay, so. Fancy car. Yeah, I suggest her. <laughs> Sake. It's in my protected pocket. I did not want to lose it. Uh, J Giraffe, thank it's you for the seven months, by the lot. way. And Effie, thank you for the 39 months, also. It's a long read. <laughs> There's like over 60 pages. That's okay, I'm just gonna skim for right now. Till I get my own. Right. This is your own. Oh wait, this is mine? You... Yeah, I got one for myself and one for you. Oh, but thank you. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, um, the, the it's Crane, he's got his rocket launcher. Yeah. Yeah, I got a call. Where did he get to that? Get the magazines. I don't know. Oh, Boris. Yeah. I lost my Boris picture. Ew, Carmine. Ew. These are really good pictures. It is. Oh my god. <laughs> this is regular size Francis and this is his little pet. <laughs> oh, good job. I love it. Me too. <laughs> I'll have Cap and Babis. Dash would have fire in hers. Yes, <laughs> job. <laughs> Okay, I, did, I was not expecting job. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Oh man, that's good. Yeah, there's a lot of people Steve in there. Steve and Steven, aw. Aw. It's me! Oh. Yeah, I think you saw the uh, pictures bef before the training school. Oh, that hurts. I think it's you with the sim. 
Benetarian School and Vendor and Terror. Oh, okay. If I remember correctly. I like it. I need to be next to Bo. I like who I get to be next to. Hmm? My page is next to Bo. Ah, uh, yeah. I got this. I was ready for that. That's really nice. Oh, <laughs> that one's cute. <laughs> Carmela. <laughs> of course, Mr. K. There's one. Yeah. That's really wholesome. Yeah, I was actually surprised we got so many people to come in. But I'm pretty sure some people might actually get themselves a Photoshop to oh. miss the, the deadline. Yeah. Because there's some people that were not there during this picture, and now they're there. So that's pretty nice of him to, to get them in. <clears throat> I like our picture. It's really good. I like it too. <laughs> they got all the gangs, the chicken. All the clowns, that's a funny picture. Yeah, with the, with the, the, the clown mask of brushing fire in the background. Oh, sorry chat, that was like a punch in the gut. That one's cute. I like that. <laughs> the Christmas stuff is cute. All the lighting. This was really nice of him to do. I didn't, I was not actually, actually thinking it was this, um, detailed. Like, they even, even the blocks and the little mins, I like that they're on the same spread. I want, how does he get such nice, um, pictures? My screenshots never turn out like this. Depth of field settings, maybe. 
<clears throat> Cerberus. Davis PD. EMS. Oh, look at all the aminals. I love this. It's really awesome. Oh, the canine unit. I didn't go to that. When did they do this? Oh, I would have liked to go to that one. Ah, oh, the park rangers one's good too. Moments before I barfed. What? <laughs> yeah. I got a little bit sick the day that we took the pictures, and while we were doing the photo shoot, I just barfed everywhere. Oh, oh no. Yeah. It's okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Vinewood PD, that's cute. Do they... hold on. Is there actually a PD, like, you can go into here? Because I haven't seen it. Used to be, but not anymore. Oh. All the troopers, oh, look at them. Bunch of dorks, they had to get all the hellies out. <laughs> Aw. The credits. Aw. I love it. Dude! Oh man. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. I, uh, I wasn't expecting it to be that many groups. Yeah, me neither. I had no idea how big that project was. Yeah, that must have taken a lot of time to them. Yeah, thank you for getting me one too. Yeah, no problem. He was going around town yesterday and distributing the magazine. And I just happened to be uh, around and he, he called me, so I figured I might as well get one for you. Yeah. Alright. Well, hey, I gotta get the um, subpoena stuff done so that we can get that ASAP. Uh, but, um... Do you need any, anything else from me? I don't think so. I think I... Uh, I guess a screenshot a of your... From... Uh, permission is all that I need, um, so I've already got that, and I'll let you know, I guess, if I need anything else. I, I really don't know. I, it's surprising to me how hard it is to get your own phone records. Yeah, I thought I could get it, but uh, they did not seem to have said to give it to me. Hmm. Like, I asked the judge right after I changed the, the plate of the car, and it which, just uh, left. Which judge did you ask? Uh, it was uh, Shiban, but she was also on the on her way to have a bench trial, so maybe she was just in a hurry. Maybe. All right. Well, I will get that done for you, and I'll let All you right. know as soon as I have any info or if I need anything from you. I'm gonna All do right. it before what? I go out what? on duty so that it's done. Okay. So what I give you as I said, man, is enough. Uh... Mhm. Mm All right. You don't need like unless you have any or anything. Any what? I lost a lot of stuff. Oh. Like, uh, identifiable stuff? Yeah, well, I woke up in the hospital and I literally had nothing. Okay. Like, I lost my uh, RC car and even the Polaroid camera you gave me for Christmas. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Those things are hard to replace because uh, the people who can give them to you are uh, hard to reach. Yeah. 
Okay. And it's very pricey, so. Did you have a gun or anything? Uh, not that I can recall. I think I only had this, this snowballs at the time, okay. so nothing of value got going on my buns. Alright. I was gonna say, yeah. if anybody has a gun that turns up yours, uh, that could be something. Yeah. I don't remember having a gun at the time. Okay. Then again, there's probably tons of guns under my name showing up at around town so nope. somewhere. <laughs> True. I'm sure if you look at, at on my profile, that's probably stolen, 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 stolen. Yep. I yeah. think somebody also asked, asked me if I was weapons trafficking because of that. Uh, well, I mean, I, I can understand I the suspicion, but you know. I mean, what can I do? I'm just unlucky. I mean, like, all you can do is bad? report, report, report. Yeah. If you look, is it actually that bad? Yeah. There's a lot of curious really already bad. there. Oh god. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight of them. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, that's why I decided to just stop having a gun. Yeah, I can't blame you. That's actually really sad and really funny at the same time. You know I'm sorry, sad? I don't mean to laugh. You know what's even sadder? What? I'm pretty sure I have retarded. I, I have reported more than eight. Oh, I guarantee it. Most people probably haven't documented properly. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna have to go and do your job and file of this so we okay. don't uh, wait any longer. Yeah, I know it's been too long already. I'm sorry it's taken yeah, this it's long. It's been nearly two weeks. <laughs> All right, I will get it done and let you know. All right. Take care, I'll Patrick. Be here, let's see. The next three hours. No, poor Patrick. <laughs> Sarusa, by the way, thank you for the 23 months. And Smithy, thank you for the nine months. And Nightmare Judgment Gaming, thank you for the 35 month resub. Welcome back. Oh, Blunt. Thank you so much for the pictures. I loved, I loved the book. It's amazing. I, uh, I was not ready to be next to Bo like that. Um, that just, it kind of <laughs> hit different. Um, but that was really nice. And I loved all the pictures that you took. I'm so glad you got around to everybody like that because... Um, we have a lot of groups in the city, and even, even people that I wouldn't have expected were on there. So, awesome project, great job. And you gotta show me how to take those pictures like you do, cause, heck, those are good. I like to take cinematic photos and stuff like that too, but I feel like... I don't have the right stuff. All right. So, Patrick Subpoena. Um, okay, so we need to get him. I need to actually look at another phone subpoena. As an example, I always uh, mess these up. Uh, okay, yeah, that's that's right. So, I'll write this up on this screen so you guys can see what I'm writing. Uh, Midnight Margaritas, thank you for the gifted sub to Blunt. 
Well, and I actually have a funny story about you, by the way. I don't know if I've ever... Uh, I don't know if I've ever said it on stream or not, but I sometimes, you know, do my admin thing when I'm off stream, and sometimes I wander the map, not visible to anyone, and I look around, and uh, it involves... It involves checking out people who are out in the middle of nowhere because sometimes that can be a sign of nefarious things um, or good RP or something funny. Hello? What? Hello. Hello? What's going on? No much. Just seeing what you're up to. Oh, I'm writing a subpoena. Oh, okay. I thought you were like monologuing or. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I, around, I, was, so. I was thinking some stuff out loud. Okay. Um, but. What's going on? I could wait. Uh, you could do your thing. I just got a lot. I should probably talk to you about. Okay. Uh, let me let me fix what I was doing, and right. then we can talk. All right. Okay. Um. Okay. So. So I was looking around one day. This was like at least six plus months ago like that's it was just a long time ago but it was one of the funniest things that i have encountered while ghosting around the server um i just found it to be amusing uh, because warden's unresponsive at the hospital mrpd ah uh? conan's incapacitated at mrpd should we go avenge him i don't know what's he incapacitated for i don't know i just called it over radio that he was unresponsive at the captain's office oh yeah, i'm sure he'll be sorry. fine he's fine now okay sorry to bother you that, that's okay that's okay <laughs> diggy thank you for the 16 months so anyway i was ghosting around and i saw somebody in the middle of the mountains and i was like okay let's go check this out see what they're doing um i was thinking you know maybe somebody was metal detecting or something like that and i was just gonna check it out when i get there i see the um i see this the steam name of the person and it's your username the the blunt uh 2020 etc and you know i've seen some really absurd steam names out there like just just funny funny things um because when you're ghosting you can see people's names obviously you guys have probably seen that on like toby's stream and whatnot um and there's been some absurd ones like just really funny names and i i chuckled at the name i thought it was funny but what made it really funny was when I got closer, I saw you just in the middle of the biggest jungle of weed I have ever seen. And I just, I could not stop laughing because it was just so hilarious to me with the name and what you were doing at the time and just me coming across it. And I, <laughs> it was just so fitting and I just thought it was hilarious at the time so there there you go I had a funny story to share about you <laughs> um but yeah that that happened and I just I've come across some funny things in my my exploration of the server I've seen some funny 
moments that nobody really thought was being observed. I've seen uh, people get absolutely destroyed when they're running in the middle of the street and they think no one saw. Um, like, I, it's, it's hilarious how much happens when people think nobody's watching. Um, I've, I've got a lot of funny stories, you know, obviously, um, I have come across some, some bad stuff that people, uh, shouldn't do, and that's why I ghost around, but, uh, pro probably no spectator streams, that's not something that I do, uh, normally. <clears throat> Need to be recording these? Well... <laughs> I don't know. I I try to keep the staff stuff away from my stream, like just in general, because it's not always pretty. Um, like Toby when Reed got ran over by a local. I know that kind of stuff is just so funny to me, and I can't I can't begin to explain to you how many moments I've seen just from ghosting on the server. It's also fun to mess with people, because you can leave scenes and stuff. But you're invisible. <laughs> it's a good, um... It's a good way to measure somebody's... Uh... Role-playing ability. When they're by themselves. Just seeing how they react to something like that. Like, just a random scene they come across. <laughs> um, Scott, thank you so much for the 30 month resub. Welcome back. Two years, six months. True. All right. I need to finish this subpoena. I'm distracted. All right. Um
Okay. I, I don't know if there's anything more I need to put in here. Um, on the 18th, Patrick was admitted into the ICU after being found unresponsive and soaking wet at the hospital intake. Uh, when he woke several days later, he approached one of his co-workers... told him that the day he was attacked, he had received a phone call and told that person he was heading to the driving school. Patrick checked his records with the school and could not find any tests that were submitted by him that day. He approached Ranger Tesla Lamb with this information and has requested that he, she subpoena his own phone records in order to find out who may have called him to take that test. Uh, the last person to call him may have been the last person to see him prior his, to his attack. Okay, I'm going to actually make this a report. There goes Oberon. Uh, Ripkin, thank you for the prime sub. What's the name Oberon from? Uh, it's from a book series called The Iron Druid. There's a dog, a talking dog in that series called Oberon, and he's very funny. And that dog's name comes from the king of the fairies, Oberon. I appreciate that, Ripken. 
Okay, so we got the statement in, we got this report in. Scott coming in with the 10 gifties. Thank you so much, Scott. I appreciate that. Okay, one more thing. List what you're wishing to seize. Okay, phone records of Patrick So. And this date. And his phone number is... God. Uh. Anyway, if you send me that number, everything can go back to normal. Right. Yeah. I don't know if he exactly knows the implication of that. <laughs> We're just not going to say anything. <laughs> uh, you know. Hello. Hello. Are you able to sign a phone subpoena? Am I able to? Yeah. I'm a lower rank than you, Tessa. Does Point that matter? I think so. I think you have to be command plus. You could just Can sign, I sign your own my phone own? subpoena. Yeah, I think so. I think it's like Does it matter? if you're if you're command, you're trusted to I mean I could you know, we could see about making me command and then I could sign it for you, you know, but But uh, as far as I'm concerned, I think I think you can. Maybe you need high command too. I don't know exactly how it works. I don't think it's that big a deal because I'm literally requesting the phone records of someone who has asked me to do so. So I mean, I don't think it's that big a deal. Uh, then you could probably put like, a, did you put in your PC like you had consent? Yeah, I'm going to. I have okay. a, a picture. Okay, I've got this.
it is done. Okay, I am done with my subpoena. My subpoena okay. is done. Your subpoena? Okay. How can I help you? You know what's been going on this past week? Uh, Mainly with regards nope. to our rangers. Which... What's the no? Which rangers? What's Clarkson been doing? What happened? I don't know. It's, it's actually not Clarkson. I don't think he's been around for a while. But uh, uh, I don't know if this has been brought to you guys or maybe it just went right to high command. I don't 100% know. But I was informed. Uh, this is through the grapevine. But Maneo ordered Davids to doctor a statement on a report. David's like admitted to doing so in court. And it was just that I was like, okay, well, I'm sure if it was in court, that would have been fine. Until yesterday, I get reports from EMS that <laughs> David oh, has kidnapped or taken a body, a DOA from the hospital. What? Yes. Whose body? Uh, somebody from the Dan clan. Oh my god. And I went to call David's and try and figure out what the hell was going on, and he was already off duty. <laughs> oh god. Uh, the MS said he went up to the casino immediately after leaving the hospital, whereas one of the Dan clan was there begging for them to go to the hospital. Or they were to sorry to the casino uh and so and they left and went to the casino <laughs> and then david's immediately went back to mrpd and perhaps thank you so duty. much for the uh tier 3 20 months glitch and drinking scanned once again i took statements but i didn't put a report together because i figured that's probably more just something for you guys to know about not necessarily me to yeah. put a written statement in there, especially if he's already deleted statements from a different report. There's a chance he could just go in there and delete the report. So, Where is it? Uh, where is what? You said you... Did you put in a report or did I you... I did not put in a report. I see. Because I was worried that he got wind of it. Given what he's admitted to doing in court, he might go in and just get rid of it so got it on my notepad three statements from different ems uh so yeah do we have like evidence of this aside from i was gonna go to the casino and try and figure out what was going on and then Jeffrey Price decided to gun down witnesses of a crime he had committed. What? Uh, yeah. So that was a whole Jeffrey? thing. Jeffrey? Jeffrey Price. And then by the time that was over and like everybody had gotten medical and stuff like that. What? I was, I was exhausted and couldn't bring myself to go. <laughs> the casino to check so but at the same time i doubt i doubt anybody would just be hanging out at the casino with a dead body for an hour while i went and backed up officers on another scene but yeah i don't know if there's a report about it there should be i would hope so They had me take mine down. Yeah, okay, it's in there. Jeffrey Price, second degree murder. The investigative report. He murdered someone? Yeah. I think the TLDR from what I gathered was he... Yeah, shot somebody or something like that. And then, like, 
while the officers that were there were like trying to figure out what was going on uh he ran away and then turned and shot at bystanders and then the cops gunned him down i i had talked to him pre like just prior to that he did seem a little not himself so i don't he, know well, he but, lives yeah. with us oh yeah he's looking at murder too oh my god wait what I don't think they're pushing charges yet, but. <laughs> oh, God, Jeff. Was he on duty? Yes. Oh, yeah, that no. interrupted my investigation because when I heard cops were getting shot, I was like, okay, well, that's fortunately a priority. But yeah, so I don't know if three medics backing up the Brian's, Brian David's kidnapping the body thing. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying that. It's not true or didn't happen. I just, if we're going uh, to approach this, it's going to be a lot harder without evidence. Yeah. Um. And you said he admitted to it? Admitted to... I was told that he admitted to doctoring reports in a, in a court case this past week. Okay. And this was information I heard from somebody else, so I can't back that up. I got it from Cannoli, though, so I'm sure if you spoke to Cannoli, you could... Unless he heard it from... I don't know. Like, I don't know if this is just... I don't even know what to do with that. Yeah. Like, I... I'm so lost, but I figured, at, least, at the very least, bring it up to my command. Because while I am a superior officer, I can't do anything other than recommend. So... He also wants corporal and sergeant because he's tired of getting stepped over and stepped on. Okay, Just well, not the reason to he's... do it. And also, <laughs> when he, when he, but I heard, I heard that on the weekend, and then like three days later, I find all this shit out. So. Also, I can't do anything about Maneo. That's why. I don't know if you heard anything through command chat or not, but that was a thing, apparently. So all he did was order it. Maneo told David's too. I don't know if Maneo also altered his and like left stuff out of his statement or what regarding whatever the court case was, but... Do you know what the case was regarding? Uh, that I'm not sure. I'd assume it would be on the dock. Do you, do you have the, um, report number? Uh, let me check the, the one that was doctored. I, that I don't. Again, this was just, can only told me this happened okay. why last don't, night when I was exhausted. Okay. There was a lot of, like, Why don't you send me what you have? Shit. Because okay. I need to go through it all and see exactly yeah. what we do have and what I need. Because I, I... I don't even know where to begin. And I don't know what information we have. And I don't know what I need. Okay. Again. So if you, if you can send me your report, it can be like, uh... Just in an email. Uh... I will see about getting it properly documented. And then, I mean, okay. I'm, 
Uh, ultimately, I'm going to have to take this to Ziggy and Clarkson, because I... Frankly, I don't know what to do. Because this is like... Yeah. If he stole a body, that's like... Felony charges, yeah. first of all. Um... But I don't, I don't even know what know to do about the report the, doctoring. Yeah. I don't know if it's like that. That's that's way too loose to fit terrorism. I don't think that we'd even want to push No, that. no, I don't think it's terrorism. I think it's... um. That's what... The, like, that's why they... EMS brought it up to me. They're like, oh, I don't it's even terrorism. know if there's a He's, charge. Uh, desecration of a corpse, maybe? Well, I'm talking about the report stuff. Um, oh, okay. Desecration of a corpse, yes. Um, I mean, I guess false reporting? <laughs> no, not really. Uh, evidence tampering? Yeah. I think... Ooh. Oh my god. No way. Evidence tampering has a higher fine than street race. Did they threaten any witnesses for the court case? Uh, that I don't know. But I mean... Because that's... That is the difference between a misdemeanor and a hut charge. Right, witness tampering, obviously. Well, my my main concern is that's a misuse of power. Yeah, it's more than just evidence tampering. It's uh. It holds more weight. Matter of fact, I'm surprised that we don't have felony evidence tampering, but I guess we could do felony obstruction. Yeah. But... Yeah, because they intentionally hindered the discovery. Oh, one sec. Hey, how's it going, sir? But the question is, why did they alter the report? Oh, okay. Because if they altered it in such a way that made it more bad for the person, like if they lied and, and, and said, you know, this person shot me, that's not obstruction. That's making up a, a whole new thing. Um... They're not hindering the discovery of a crime. They're creating a crime. We don't have okay. a charge for that. So it, it kind of depends on what they did. Gotcha. Okay. And why they did it. I don't know. Um, yeah, if, if you can't do it, you can't do it. That's... Um... Totally understanding of that. Conspiracy okay. might work. But what crime? Conspiracy and evidence tampering, maybe? Okay. But that's such a small... Okay. I, I don't I really know, man. That. Yeah, thank you. I feel like it should have yeah, more too. weight Bye -bye. to it. <sighs> okay. All right, that was unrelated. That was for the storefront, for the scouts. Which sounds like is on hold. Oh. Because John Miller can't and or get people set up with storefronts right now. I guess they've got a staffing issue or something. And he's waiting to see if we're going to have a new system in place soon or not or and he doesn't want to promise people stuff so our two month wait shall be extended he 
you know, I think this is one of those situations where we need a case law. Because yeah. if it, it depends on what they did, obviously, like if if they altered the documents to help someone get away with something, yes, that's felony obstruction. If they altered the documents to pin something on someone, that is not obstruction. That's creating a whole new crime. We don't have anything for that in our legislation. We could maybe right. go with conspiracy and evidence tampering, but that's not, that's two misdemeanors. That doesn't even come close to how bad that is. For, for a police officer, I mean, that, it, it kind of depends, but again, I don't have the information, so I, I need to know what exactly happened before I can pass any kind of judgment, but I, I feel like we might need a case law for this. At the end of it. Yeah. But I guess um, I need to go over what happened. So get that information to me as soon as possible. And I will review it. And then, if need be, I'm going to have to set up a meeting with Clarkson and Ziggy and figure out where we go from here. Because. Yeah, I if, don't. If that happened. I, don't like to be, I mean, don't like he to be cannot be stealing the, bodies. Yeah. I don't like to be the bad guy that snitched the op, whatever people say, but like, can't. We're gonna trust these people to have our backs and stuff like that. You can't have them running around committing felonies did behind he? our backs and stuff like that. So, I don't know if you know this, but did he kill the person that he stole? Or? I, have n I have no idea. The statement from the EMS was that they showed up on scene at a bank. Just give me a sec. Let me pull it up. Uh, oh, no, chat. Uh, okay, they responded to a 52 request at Legion Square Bank. There was two fingles there. One of them had splattered brains all over the floor. Therefore, he was dead. <laughs> so they body bagged him. Uh, apparently... Officers cleared them to transfer or transport to the hospital. Uh, one of the other Dan Clam members kept wanting them to go to the casino instead to see Fingal. Uh, when they got to the hospital, David's ran up, said he forgot to cuff the person while they were dead, uh, and that he needed to take them downstairs. The medic then saw his blip go speeding up towards the casino. And a few minutes later, he went off duty. Uh, so they... Did they see him take the body? Yes. And he took okay. it back down to the parking garage. And then the next thing he, they saw was him up at the casino. I, I did... There, the there's time, no chance that he brought it to the morgue before going to the casino? Uh... A medic claimed that he left from the hospital and run right there. Okay. I mean, I'd, I'd be, maybe, maybe David's took him right to the, the morgue, but he hadn't even that's, been looked at by a doctor. That's going to be the biggest argument. Duty. I mean, you're still skipping a step. By yeah. Not letting a doctor look at them and pronounce them dead, but...
Yeah. Okay. And then the third medic just said, yeah, I, I saw the same stuff as them, and that's all they wanted to provide as a statement. But. And th these are two different situations, right? The, the body. The report. Yeah, yeah, the body in the report. The, bo the, the body was last night, literally last night. Last night was a whole night of government employees on or off duty doing stupid shit. Get a cop okay. and a and a doctor both off duty holding people up because of this like spore virus infection thing that was going around like you're not a cop you're not on duty you can't you can't kidnap people and force them to go to the hospital like i get that you called for officers and we weren't able to help right away but it doesn't yeah. give you the right to kidnap somebody uh and then obviously this thing happened while i was still taking statements at the hospital for the first thing and then before i could go properly investigate the whole stealing the body thing uh shit with jeff shooting at civilians happened so i wanted to leave after like go home and go to bed after the first thing i somehow got dragged into two so okay yeah uh okay i'll i'll send you the statements and i'll uh send you a separate email that has the uh all the stuff about um we'll see if i can talk to cannoli and figure out exactly like all the info that he knows unless you just want me to provide you with i know with what i know from him and then you can talk to him yourself kind of thing um, if you can see him first, go right ahead, and then, uh, you know, whatever you get, just forward to me. Okay, all right. Oh my god. Yeah. That's why Roy called me. Uh, I probably called you about the Jeff thing. Yeah, I'm going to give him a call and, and see what he needed. Uh, just in case, you know, I don't, I don't need another one of my rangers doing something psychotic. So, you done anything weird lately? Uh, I'm not going to call Roy and he's not going to tell me you, like, I, I don't know, kidnapped an EMS and are hiding them in your basement or something. Nothing like that, no. Okay. Just checking. I did I see you a cop, but that was What? It was a little bit of uh Sierra Bravo Sierra, I think. What the heck? Yeah. And are you sure none Somebody... of the other stuff isn't that? Um Okay. I guess maybe it is. All right. <laughs> this was one this was like two people goofing around before they go to sleep whereas that was a yeah. whole thing that involved like three EMS, a bunch of mm -hmm. people uh, on a scene I don't know okay well thank you for yeah, letting me know shouldn't be anything about me but well only time will tell Julio Love you. Love you too. Hi. Uh, uh, maybe he's calling about the Kiki thing. Kiki thing? What do you mean? Oh, you didn't. I thought you looked at your text. Oh, we were just name calling, and then we've since uh, hugged and made up. So you don't have do to you, worry about do it. Do you understand the implication of that nickname? Of what nickname? Fuck, she told you. The nickname we gave her. <laughs> Look, uh... Do you understand the implication of it? Yeah. Why are you calling her that, then? Uh, it was a inside joke. What the heck? Look, it, it was a joke, and then she made it serious, and now I'm unseriousing it, so... Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, we're, we're all good now. Bye. -bye. 
Love you. <laughs> okay. I don't know if Roy is still around. No. You don't think he is? I should have called him back earlier. I, uh, oh my god. What is happening? And then we've got this. Keep it formal, Tessa. Keep it formal. Don't... Don't bite. Don't bite. <sighs> yeah, biting is Scout's job. Yeah? Did you see this, by the way? Yeah? Uh, did I show it to you? Looks good. Uh, I think I saw it. it, um... What were we doing the other day? There was, we were doing something and you, uh, you brought this out. Oh, okay. I know we... Did you I see the photos, remember. by the way, in the magazine? I did! It was so good! Yeah, it was very good. Very, very good. Yeah, I looked at, uh, I looked at this thing and I was wondering if, um, I would want it, but I didn't really like the livery thing, the, the little, like, decal. Yeah. But I'm it looks good with this color. A, I think we can get a custom livery done. Since they're, like, the yeah? hidden in them have them. So I'm gonna see if we can maybe get one for the scouts, and then one similar to our Granger, maybe. I don't know if you'd be okay with that. Well, whatever you can get, honestly, I think it'd be good. Yeah, okay. Who's I that? think we can get... Uh, it's probably... It's run out of menacingly. <sighs> what do you want? I only call you what do you want? What? What? Uh, what? Excuse me? Snacks! I said what? snacks! I didn't touch snacks! What? I said uh, snacks! Oh my well, god. Yeah, I'll be right. Uh, I do not... First I Kiki's do. nickname? Oh now god. This. Oh my god. Wait, when did you guys get Canadian flag? When Canada invaded. Uh, yeah, the Canadian the people. Is the British putting them up to it? 
Probably. I don't know. When, that's the only All time I know is I woke up one day and they made this into a Canadian embassy and they tried to kick me out. What the fuck? It's fucked up. I'm very Canadian of them. Yeah. They say sorry while they did it? Uh, no, actually. They tried to attack huh. me. I don't think these guys are Canadian. I, I think they're fake Canadian. No! Why? I'm actually Canadian. I used to be RCMP. I can wear it. Fine. Doesn't mean I'm not going to punch you every time I see it. Okay. That's understandable. Sorry, it's a reflex. They're invading your home with an expected reflex. They called me a terrorist. What the hell? Yeah, because I went in there and I locked them in. And then I realized that that was kind of false imprisonment, so I, I unlocked it. Yeah, just a little bit. But I mean, they did go in voluntarily. And but they wouldn't still. leave, and they kept telling me that they wanted in, so I just, you know, you gave them locked the door. Wanted. Yeah. It's a police station, it has to be secured. Yeah. As long as you let them out when they ask to come out. It's yeah, yeah, we, we, we did. Of course you did. Is Was that Rita before or after you burned down all the tents? <laughs> What's she doing? I should go I put my... I didn't burn the tents that. down. I, I hit them with a sledgehammer. I don't think this is going to be reviewed anytime soon. There's been one betting for three hours. Uh, oh. yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. But ours is so easy. It is, but so... Uh... I wish there was a judge around right but now. But I'm just so them. cool. <laughs> It's your first one. Ooh, Murphy. Yeah, it probably, uh... I don't think there's going to be a judge. Well... They were around earlier. Okay. I go get changed. I need to talk to Murphy. The lawyer? Murphy yeah. Brown? He is available. He's helping me with my appeal. An appeal? Yes. I got contempt oh, I of heard court. about that. My I rights were violated, it. and I should not have gotten contempt of court. Absolutely Where did you not. even get it? Oh, well... Oh. oh. No? Uh, so basically, what happened was, I got put in charge of taking care of a, a little tabby cat, and somebody scared the tabby cat away while I was in a phone call with uh, Bill Mays, the judge. Hmm. And he was telling me that I had to make sure this cat didn't get to a certain location. And so I lost track of this cat as I was on the phone with him. And then I had to call him back and tell him that I lost track of the cat. And he told me that what he told me was a court order. And that I was in contempt of court and in violation of that court order. Uh, even though huh? he didn't really tell me it was a court order at the time. And I had also told him I couldn't guarantee that the cat wouldn't get away from me. Yeah, they're cats. Because it's a cat. They kind of do what they want. Yeah. Yeah, I own them. Yeah. Around them. Yeah. Well. We are kind of just, uh, we just give them food. Uh, we, we can't really own a cat. Well, I think the main point of it is that he can't he arbitrarily decide what he says is a court order. Yeah. Uh, outside of a courtroom, by the way. And then tell me that I'm in contempt for not following it. Yeah, I definitely agree with so, that. So... Yeah. Because that's, that's Easy kind of appeal. terrifying. Like, uh, imagine he comes up to you, he we hands you something. Conversation. Yeah, imagine he comes up to you, and he hands you a hat. And then he says, don't lose this hat. And then he leaves, and you're like, well, I can't really promise you that, then someone comes up and holds you up and steals the hat. Now you're in contempt of court. Yeah, that's dumb. That's... that's not okay. Wait, how long... did you go to prison? Yeah. What? what? I also got attacked while in the prison because the blocks were there. Uh, um, okay. when I got sent up, so I got basically mauled and put into the ICU. Uh... Jesus Christ. So... He's in a lot of trouble. And... Yup. This was I can't like say that 48 I'm hours of him getting appointed. Yeah, that sounds about right. 
Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of surprised that he's lasted this long as a judge. Well, we'll see. I kind of felt Top like he bowl. was going to get I'm, removed. I'm not even thing. after his seat. Honestly, I don't care. Okay. The only thing well, I care about is other people having this happen to them. Cream. <laughs> because this, this, <laughs> what happened to me is not okay. Hands, by the way. Yeah, it's not reasonable, and it's not, like, hand, a reasonable and lawful it, it should not happen again. That's, that's all I want, is for this not to happen to somebody else. And for him to know that that was not okay. It would be even worse, like, towards the civilian, right? Because, like, yeah. we as cops kind of have somewhat, like, power and voice, right? But, like, if it's just a normal civilian that nobody really knows, there's a, a very high chance of nobody really caring Hello. about this case. So, we're it's going even worse. now. Oh, we're going? No, I'm just sitting in the car. Oh, I think we're waiting, waiting for Gemma. Waiting Did, is Gemma writing just... an apology letter? I don't know. What is her did my mom, daughter do? Charlotte, coming? Oh, yeah. She well, fucked she's up. Upset at me, so she's oh. Uh, Nadia's also coming here. Oh, it's a, re a reunion. All right, we're gonna... At least it's not at the fire station. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be here for a bit. You know what I mean? We're gonna be you know here. I mean? hey, no, I'm I gonna get mean, Jinx uh... and just roam around. Do I not cause... have an umbrella in here? I thought I, I had an umbrella. Facts. I'm just saying but facts. Just... Beep, 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 beep. She you found the gray area. Was couple. that we're not at the fire station? So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I hope Murphy's that, able to help you, though, Tessa, with getting it all handled. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it's like an easy appeal, to be honest. Oh my god. Yeah. Hello. Hi, I'm here. Hello. Hi, Nadia. Yeah, it, oh, it should be fine. I mean, I, I'm not expecting anything bad to happen. I just, uh, oh, I need that. someone to help ask me questions while I'm in the courtroom. Uh, that's my daughter. Because. <laughs> And, and I need someone who's not going to be asleep either, because uh, Murphy. He's a nappy uh, boy. He's he's very uh, aggressive in the courtroom, and that's what I want. I don't want somebody who's just going to sit there and let me do it. Which is fine. I mean, there's a lot of attorneys around that are capable, but I notice that sometimes they just kind of don't fight as hard. No, no, that was my cat. Oh, yeah, Murphy is definitely. Did Gemma like, just like, ran over he's, her? He's father. a bulldog in the courtroom, and I'm, that's what I want. <laughs> my cat. And then maybe. Gemma, what, where's your shoes? Uh, Chatterbox stole it for me. Oh my god. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I don't even <sighs> want that. I just want you're searching me. this oh, don't not go to all happen right again. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not- I'm not out here trying to limit the judges, because I do think that they have a power Frankie, to do contempt to charges, my... and they need to have that. Say that, and then... Expect me not to look but, your hoodie. Come on. You know, with- with that kind of power, you gotta have the responsibility and the wherewithal to know when it's not okay. A long apology. At the end of the day, they have a power, and if they fucked up with it, it there needs yeah. to be consequences. The same way as we, as cops, have a, yeah. we do gain an authority, but with that comes responsibilities. If we fuck yeah. up with charges, we fuck up with someone, like, it should be, you know, we should be dealing with those consequences, not just And not. I, I own those consequences. If, if I do something wrong, I'm more than happy to go to court with somebody. Or even settle out of court. Um, you know, because I accept when I did wrong, but Bill is not that kind of individual. And, uh, I don't think he will accept. You get back here right now, young lady. Without being yeah. told by yes, a superior right that he did wrong. Right now. I'll change the locks. I'll do the worst part, part of it is that he and I were kind of friends before this, which right kind of hurts. There's a repair station here at the ranger station. Get yeah. back here. And I think... Right I almost wonder if he did it... Right now. Don't growl at me. ...to prove that he's not biased. Right now. We'll but also, that's not, that's not the way. Yes. But also, yeah. there's this nagging part of me that wonders if he knew the blocks were in there. Okay, I have faith that you can get here in one piece without crashing. Because to get your please hurt? do not let me down. Well, he is a known associate. I put oh, just God. the right amount. Of faith you know, when he became you, a judge, he renounced all his, um, you know, affiliations. Just like you but can get your ass back here and properly apologize. That's not how that works, to be honest. 
Mm, yeah, no. And like, I can't help wondering. This is what. This is I what mean, Charlotte put you on. It was. Case. It was so out of left Charlotte field for me. And I, I yeah, just, I'm hoping I really it's don't know. Not about. Make it an actual apology. And you know, maybe no. he was forced to do no. something to me or Get back something. Here. I don't know. That is not an apology. Well, I'll come and talk to her like an adult. Oh. Yes. Tell her it's an order. I'm going to get Murphy order. to come down here and I'll talk to him. And your cap and... Okay. We'll try and keep it down. Okay. Yeah. Well, you guys are welcome here, well, so don't awesome. worry. So you're just, uh, just downtown Thank from you, us. Custom. You'll be here mm -hmm. in no time. It's hilarious. Yeah, it's not for, that far. Like hearing you trying to be commanding, I'm like... Hi, Tessa. Hey, Murphy. Uh, I was wondering... How's it, how's it going? Uh, it's going all right. Um, I was wondering if you wanted to come and talk about the case, uh, at the ranger station? Yeah, sure. Why not? Just so I can kind of fill you in a little bit. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm I just, working I, I just out actually, paperwork. I, I actually just put up another case on Bill Mays already. Really? Uh, yeah, he signed a search warrant that uh, was like basically the probable cause said that there was a property that there's shared access to or the two the two people never own, shared access to that property. Oh, no. Yeah, so he's okay. going to be having a good day today. I'll, I'm on my way to the uh, ranger station, though. Okay. We'll I'll be uh, here. see you soon. Ah, bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. Oh, Bill. I don't want him to lose the scene. I, I really... I like Bill Mays. I think he's a fun character. I think he would do good. He just... He's got to stop screwing up. Because, <laughs> you know... This kind of stuff is going to come back to bite him a lot. I don't want to lose him as a judge. I think he's fun and he he's around and Yeah, it's part of what I love about Bill too. I think he's really funny. He's a fun character just in general. And I'm I'm afraid that that his fun qualities are going to screw him over and I I feel bad about it cuz I don't know. I I don't want to be the reason that he loses his seat if that happens, you know? Yeah, he didn't establish the rapport he needed, and he, he really desperately needed to do that. And I hope, I hope this doesn't, you know, have really permanent ramifications or anything. I'm trying to make that clear to everyone that I've talked to about it. Murphy. We'll, uh, we'll talk upstairs because it's kind of rainy and gross out here. Okay, so, I don't know how much you may have seen on the, the FOIA stuff, um, do you know kind of what happened, or have you had a chance to review it? Um, I, I didn't really have a chance to review it, I just have been making requests for people a lot lately, and then yeah. just like trying to get them back to the people as they come in, 
Um, right. So I haven't actually reviewed it yet, but I remember what you told me was basically the gist of it is he gave you a contempt of court when court wasn't even in session or relevant to the situation. Yeah. So I guess I'll give you kind of the whole rundown. Um, well, where to begin, I guess. Uh, I was on duty. I approached a group of people who were talking about somebody uh, who had possibly been, I guess, drugged or something. And as I was approaching them, I got called into the back, uh, into interrogation by Demi Black and uh, Cannoli. They wanted me to interrogate a what they said was a pussy. Uh, later, they clarified pussy cat. So I was thinking, you know, maybe it's somebody who wears a cat mask that thinks they're a cat. You know, I've had to deal with that a lot before. Uh, no, it was just a real cat. Like, like a tabby cat. Little, little paws, toe beans. Got a foot tall. Yeah, it was just a little gray tabby. Uh, so I'm like, okay, you want me to interrogate a cat? So, I humor them. Uh, they're standing there, you know, acting like I'm crazy because I'm talking to this cat, but they asked me to talk to this cat, so here we are. Uh, I kind of get from them the gist of the situation. Um, I guess the cat was a part of somebody's, uh, mental breakdown, and that person had gone in, uh, to the hospital, um, apparently at the request of the cat to go get drugs or medications. And they, they followed through on that. And they were trying to push terrorism on that person. And, you know, I heard more about the situation. They kind of elaborated a little bit more. And I eventually said, I don't think that's terrorism. I think what happened at most was possibly extortion. Uh, just based on the facts I was given. Um, and ultimately, I think they decided to put that person in Parsons just to, to get them evaluated. Probably a good idea. Uh, so yeah, they leave me in the room with this cat and it like 10 minutes passes and I'm, I'm just sat there with this cat. And so I bring the cat outside and I ask them, they're all in a group talking with the judges, it's, it's officers and judges. And I ask if the cat's free to go, because it's a cat. Uh, Bundy turns to me and he says, yes, I'm remanding the cat into the custody of the park rangers. Nobody else said anything. Everyone seemed kind of amicable with that. So I walk out of the room with the cat and I take it into my patrol car in the back of the canine cage. I ride around on patrol with this cat. And I'm thinking of places to take it so that I could get it some food and water and etc. Uh, and I wanted to, you know, a fancy little feast for the cat. So uh, I went to the Ulu Cafe and I went to Burger Shot. I couldn't find anything suitable. Uh, and Polito Pets, I think, was closed for the night. So I didn't go up there. Um, and then I thought, you know, hey, maybe uh, Corleone Steaks might have some ground beef. Uh, and that might do just... Or temporarily. Uh, so I go up there. And there's three individuals. They're all harvesting the cattle up there. And I'm at the top of the field. They all come in from outside. And they run up to me. And we talk. And I ask for some food. And they give it to the cat. The cat's happily eating. Um, getting petted and all that. So while that's happening. I get a phone call from Bill Mays. He tells me that I need to do my best to keep this cat away from Parsons. Because obviously there's an issue with the cat and the person. So I, I tell him, you know, I can take care of the cat. I can try to keep the cat away from that location. But I cannot guarantee nothing will happen, especially if I went to sleep and... You know, the cat was somewhere that somebody else could get to. I've actually... I have a, a snow leopard here at Beaverbush. 
There's an enclosure. There's an enclosure out back that has been tampered with in the past. So I cannot guarantee somebody won't do something and let the salmon out while I'm not here. I tell him that. He's like, okay, uh, just do your best, ma'am. And we kind of wrap up the phone call. Uh, at no point does he mention that that is a court order. He never said, this is an order from a judge. This is, you know, he never said anything like that. As I'm hanging up the phone, I hear a gunshot behind me. And apparently one of the uh, Corleone Stakes employees was continuing their harvest. And they just shot a cow right next to the cat. The cat ran off and went and hid somewhere in the field. We could not find the cat. So at that point, after searching for like five, ten minutes, I call Bill back and I let him know the situation. And I tell him that I'm going to continue searching, but I don't know where the cat is. Keep in mind, Corleone's farm is very far from Parsons. Especially for right. a tiny little cat. Of course. Uh, so Bill, at this point in time, tells me that I just violated a court order and that he could hold me in contempt of court. And I, I told him, I was like, what do you mean? This, I, I didn't know that was a court order, and if it was a court order, you needed to make that 100% clear to me. And if you had done that, and I knew that it was a court order, I would not have agreed to this situation. Ever. Of course you because would. Because it's, it's absolutely insane to expect me to contain something like I understand there's a reasonable expectation for me to keep it contained and safe but I can't I can't make a guarantee like that you know things happen animals are squirmy they run off they bite they you know thrash uh, anyone who's worked with an animal has had an escape at some point in their life even people that own dogs you know the dogs run out the front door all the time you know, sometimes it happens. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm talking to him on the phone, asking him, you know, why he thinks I'm in violation. And then he says that he's being supervised by Grayson. And Grayson has encouraged him to charge me with this. And at, at that point, I'm like, well, <laughs> okay, but you need to tell me that this is a court order before we do anything. And then at that point, he threw one one and he had officers come and basically arrest me. So I had to sit on the side of the road and wait for officers to come by and pick me up. Uh, they didn't arrest me. They, they didn't put me in handcuffs, but they did take me to Parsons where Bill was waiting. Uh, with Grayson. And Bill reiterated that I was in violation of a court order. And he s sentenced me to 20 months. Asked if I had any last words, basically. And then uh, I told him I'd see him and in, in Grayson in court. Because, I mean, at that point in time, I didn't have any other recourse. Um... And before I could do anything else, he ordered a cadet to go ahead and send me up. Uh, at which point in time, I was probably going to ask for an attorney, but I was not afforded that because they literally just sent me up to jail. Uh, you didn't even get a chance to talk to a lawyer or anything. Or a different judge or anything. Like, there was... <laughs> I had nothing... Well, I mean, I'm sure you know as much as anybody else that, you know, basically, you know, a judge does have the authority to just, like, make a yeah. demand and shit happens right now. And I, I don't think that should be changed. I don't think there's a problem with that. 
but I do think that a judge can't arbitrarily decide what is and is not a court order when they say something. Oh, yeah. You, you and can't they, just decide, like, you know, days after the fact, right? Like, oh, that was a yeah. court order. And, you know, even though I didn't say so at the time, that was totally... Those are totally classified documents, and I declassified mm -hmm. them just now. You know, like it's it's like, yeah, you can't you can't just like make something true now without disclosing yeah. it then. It's uh, ex post facto. I, I stuff, never would have you know? agreed to that in any capacity. Right. I would I would have told somebody else to watch it. Yeah, you know, Tessa, I had a very similar situation not long ago. I was uh, really. I was summoned down to uh, the courthouse under false pretenses to represent Mr. Ratchet under duress with about a half a dozen officers' weapons pointed in my general direction and while he had a DOC member at knife point uh, for a kangaroo bail hearing, you know? What the so heck? I was just called and told, oh, hey, you got a client at City Hall. Then I get to City Hall and I'm literally like being put in danger. I'm like, this is, I, I, this is not what I was told on the phone, you know, like, yeah. So I, 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 I extreme example, but I can understand what, what you're going through in that regard. Like someone not giving you the full representation, what's being asked of you after the fact. Uh, well, yeah. there's, there's kind of another facet to it. Um, mm -hmm. And I don't know if I even want to bother going down this route. I just thought it might be pertinent for you to know. Sure. Uh, when I got sent up, the blocks were also simultaneously uh, in there with me. And I got attacked while I was in there. Um, my concern is that prior to becoming a judge, Bill was... An associate uh, of theirs. So you were attacked by the blocks in particular when you were in, in mm -hmm. prison? A hooker block. I'm told that there were other blocks in prison, but I did not see them. Well. But I mean, she put okay. me in the hospital. Um, Here's the thing. There's, a, there's enough here that was done improperly that can be proven that we don't necessarily need to take the cheap shot of unproven yeah. or unsub un uh, unarticulable coincidences that probably have something to them but we're probably never going to be able to prove in court right so like yeah it, it, it paints a good picture around the situation that like oh and you know, you can say in court, like, and when I got to prison, I got assaulted by the blocks and just like, mm -hmm. leave it at that, like, because that's what happened to you, right? But like, to, to try to build the case around a connection there would would be challenging, even though there is a prior yeah. association that is well known um, to accuse him in court of being behind that, you better be able to prove it criminally. You know what I'm saying? Or you're opening yourself up for defamation and all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, as far as what happened to you, I would be honest about it. Say, you know, then I got sent to jail and I got attacked in jail and this is who attacked me. Uh, and let let the judge come up with their own conclusions based on that. But uh, right. Tessa, it it does not sound like what happened to you was uh, was was correct or fair, or otherwise uh, reasonable. And it surprises me yeah. to hear that uh, such a such a straight laced judge like Grayson was involved in such a thing. That's kind of what frustrates me. Uh, I had hoped that with Grayson being there and supervising, he would have at the very minimum stepped in. But when I got there, uh, he acted as though Bill was kind of acting on his own. Uh, and I had to kind of call him out. And he, he acted like he didn't have any part of it. Even though Bill told me that he overheard the whole phone call and he had encouraged him to put me in jail. 
to, to charge me with contempt and, and all that. So I don't know where the the disconnect was, but he he kind of, after I said, I'll see you in court, Bill, he was like, oh, like he, he thought it was funny. Rather than trying to step in on that situation, which that that's the part that really got me. Oh, I bet. And 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 as frustrating frustrating as it is, I think I I kind of understand it based on just sort of my own conversations with the judges and stuff, and you know people's opinion of Bill Mays running for judge that I, I you know I've I've heard over over the past attempts of his to do so. Um, you know I think that the judges are going to be more than happy to turn a blind eye and let Bill Mays kind of fuck up uh on his own um rather than reel him in uh just sort of let it let it let let him do what he wants until you know he gets he, he gets himself fired basically like i think probably for some that is going to be their motivation for others maybe they do agree with what he's doing who knows uh can't say i, I should I think- certainly hope not I think there's a variety of motivations uh, for people to not really help him stay out of trouble. The the tough part of it is that I've helped him a lot in the past, and I actually, I, I had hoped we would be friends, but I I don't know. I I saved him from his ex-wife, that who was a psychopath, had a crazy contract with him that said she could harm him at any time oh yeah scarlet winners yeah you know one time i i found her and him locked in a room together and they were he he was getting pooped on yeah she's really gross she's a yeah disgusting degenerate person and i i took him out of that situation and i kept him away from her after he got out of the hospital and I just, I don't understand why he chose to do that to me. I've helped him with legislation. I've helped him, you know, I put in good words for him. We've talked at length about, you know, personal issues. I just... I don't know. Kind of sucks. It, it 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 does, and uh, you know that's that's why I wouldn't uh, I would never want to be a judge, you know, because like, you know, even 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 though I think Bill Mays is probably going to make some boneheaded decisions, I think in general, if you if you become a judge, you're just going to be put into positions where, you know, you you're you're friendships and relationships might get tested because of the things that you're asked to do. And, you know, in this case, obviously none of this was necessary. Yeah. So it's not, I'm just saying, you know, it, prob- it'd be probably one it's thing really true that he ruled against it, me in a court case or something, right. or, or if I actually was in contempt, if, if we were in the courtroom and I was like talking back and, you know, being sassy, which I can be at times, you know, I, I like, get, that's hacking nonsense. Yeah, if I deserved contempt, sure, go ahead. You know, that that's my fault. But this was not... I, I don't even know what this was. It's It sounds like they were just, like, pawning this cat off on you, and then when it took off, they, like, blamed yeah. you. Uh, that's what I get for trying to help people you know like (laughs) well there's certainly nothing material to support that like that cat was a a, a witness of any value in an investigation and uh that that the court lost valuable uh facts uh based on its loss so i mean it's 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 pretty much a slam dunk as far as uh appeals go 
So how do you want to handle it? You you had mentioned that like you want you wanted to like file it yourself potentially, or uh, um, and just wanted me to come to court, or did you want me to file it? Like how did you want to do it? I think I can go ahead and file it. Okay. Um. I'll I'll go ahead and get everything submitted that I think needs to be submitted. I have my witness list that I think is going to be good for us. Mm. Um, Excellent. And once once that's up, you can enter as the the counsel for me. And I can also get some questions written up as well, because your your role in in this is mostly just going to be helping me question myself. <laughs> if that makes sense. No, absolutely. Um, Wh whatever you need. Unless you'd like to take a more active role in things and and take charge of it, I'd be happy to let you. Um. I've been burned a lot in court in the past. And it's hard for me to relinquish control. Oh, I completely understand that. <laughs> I understand yeah. that all too well. And, and that's why I think uh, it's better for me to do it. Because I know exactly what I want to do. Um, but you're one of the few people that I trust to actually get the job done. So... That's why yeah, I called whatever, you. What, whatever I can do to make it easier for you, uh, that'll that, that'll be just the thing, okay? Okay. So, well, getting the FOIA you know, stuff is, always, is helpful, so thank you for that. I'm, I'm always uh, willing to just kind of support someone who wants to do do something in court themselves, like uh, and, and anything I can do to help, really. Okay. Well, I'll take care of it, and I will let you know exactly what I need. And, you know, already you've gotten the FOIA stuff done, so that's pretty much the main part of it. And I'll send you questions and, and things for the day of. I'm, I'm very prep-oriented, uh, so. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, basically what I would want, it, want out of this is just the opportunity to, to get started on roasting Bill Mays. Yeah, I judge. mean, if you want to do openings, closings, stuff like that as well, that would be helpful. Yeah, yeah, whatever, uh, whatever you'd prefer not to do, and whatever uh, you know, I can help with, uh, it'll be fine. All right, I'm sure we'll work fine together. Yeah, okay, I'll get everything posted probably tonight, and then um, if we need anything further on it, uh, we can communicate that. All right, excellent. And don't hesitate Already to contact qualities me. demonstrating qualities that I lack, like promptly filing paperwork. <laughs> I mean, it's already been uh, like a week, so I don't know about promptly, but I'm not very quick on things either. Yeah, I need to hire an assistant. Alright, it's nasty out here. What the heck? It's been raining for a while, hasn't it? Oh, I didn't know they were still here. Alright, Tessa, this should be fun. Thanks for the case. Yeah, thank you for the help. Anytime. Anytime. What happened? Uh, uh, did we help uh, you up or did we just leave you? <laughs> <laughs> no, she was okay. Yeah. Oh no, we just had a consensual fist fight, and I destroyed Charlotte, but Charlotte no. also destroyed oh. me. I destroyed you, and I passed out somehow. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, Nadia, you definitely went down first. Hello. Oh, hello, Tessa. This was Corey. I was wondering if you uh, got a chance to watch my video. Oh gosh, I uh no, actually, I had a very busy uh weekend. Um, oh, no problem. Can you send me the link again? Yeah, I could send it to you. No problem. Right. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'll see you later okay. then. All right. Bye. Goodbye, Corey. Bye. You know, I need to do it now. He's going to send it to me. Is it safe to watch? I hope it is.
Okay. Um. Oh god, there's music. I don't know, man. I'm scared to watch it on stream because I don't know these songs. I don't know where they're from or if they're okay. I feel like I feel like it needs audio for me to actually like so it looks like he's talking in this I think here I'll give you guys the link you guys can watch it and then I will I've got it on my thing here on my notepad somebody's gonna have to remind me later to watch it I had meant to this weekend but there was a lot going on Yes, Tato, can you can you please remind me later? I see the I see the messages, don't worry. Yeah, I'm I'm looking at the music and I'm just not I don't think I can watch it on stream. I don't have the license for those songs. And if I watch it, it's going to get my VOD copyright striked, um, potentially, and also My YouTube revenue will go to whoever's music this is. So I, I can't. Sorry, guys. Better safe than sorry. There was an issue with my subpoena I had to fix. All right. Stulio. Yeah. Corey. 
Brady? Who's that? Is that? Oh, it's Polinsky. Oh, speaking of Ryan, I actually... Tessa. Bye, Bye Tessa. Tessa. Goodbye. Hello. Hey, Ryan. How's it going? Good. I just wanted to call you and talk to you about the fishing stuff. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm free. So, the date that I had picked, uh, probably not going to work. I just realized, um, I'm thinking maybe we do it either the day this Friday, maybe? If it's possible? This Friday? Yeah, I don't know. I oh my will God. be free this Friday, but that's pretty short notice. Yeah, so... Because hmm. we were planning on next Friday, right? Yeah, we Is it next back Friday? another Wait, Friday. Hold on, let me look. Oh, I can't switch. Dang it. You're good. I'm trying to switch orientation on my phone. I can't see the calendar. Um. Um, it is, if next, hold on, I can look it up for you. We're playing so, on the 10th, so is that next Friday or the Friday after? So this Friday that's coming up is on the 3rd. Next Friday is the 10th. So the 10th okay. is when you originally wanted to do it. But if we yeah. need to, we could try to do it this Friday. I just, I don't think we should because we could if we needed to. But it would be really pushing it in terms of advertising it and everything. But I think if yeah. we need to, we push it out the Friday after that. I think we should push it out a little bit. No, that's, that's fine. I I have plans on that Friday, and I don't think I can move it around too much. Um, and I did want it to be on a Friday. I think that would be a good day. I understand. So, uh, I will be talking with the mayor to get some funding for it, though. So I think hopefully that might help. That and works we've cool. got plenty on, you know, everything else. Uh, the Scouts program has some money. And I might sponsor it with the driving school, too. Okay. Um, because we have a little bit of money there that I just don't really do anything with, so. Yep, and I said I'd be willing to chip in more, too. Yeah. All right. Well, I just kind of yeah, wanted so to update you on that, because I knew uh, we were planning around it, and I didn't want you to be caught off guard. Yeah, that would be the 17th, then. 17th. Okay. I will get to planning and start talking to people about it, and we should be a go. Okay. I just got spooked by a mountain lion. I, I'm parked oh. in my car up in the mountains, and it just ran up to my car. Oh, man. They don't spooked normally do that. Yeah, I'm a little confused. I'm up in the mountains. Uh, I was just eating some lunch real quick. Okay. Well, I'll let you get back to it, but if you need anything, you let me know. Likewise, appreciate you calling me. No uh, problem. We'll we can plan it as it gets a little closer, maybe like next week, so we have a week mm -hmm. for, uh, to prepare for it and get the funds together, get some advertising, get it, maybe see what the mayor wants to do. Okay. Sounds yeah. good. All right. I know you okay. can't promise me anything, but stay safe. Just, you know, do your best. Ah, uh, you know, I can make no such promises, but I I'll know try. you can. That's all that matters. All right. Okay, Catch goodbye. Bye-bye. Okay. Crypto Magic coming in with a bunch of gifted subs, by the way. Thank you so much, Crypto. You're amazing. I appreciate you. Um, let me see. Did I get all of them? It looks like one, two, three... 
four. Four from you, Crypto. Thank you so much. And Zoink, thank you for the sub as well. Kirill, thank you for the tier two, 21 months. Appreciate that as well. Thank you, guys. When do I steal Jeffrey's keys? Oh my god, I don't even know what to do with Jeff. <laughs> why did he... Why did he do that? I, I didn't even get a chance to, like, look at the report. Jeff, no! He's not the kind of person to just do that, though. So I have to wonder... And Tessa is probably wondering what happened to cause it. And, uh, Dulio said he wasn't acting like himself, so she's kind of curious if there was something going on. Like, maybe he got, uh, drugged or something. Um, or something was happening where he, you know, maybe wasn't in his full faculties. And nobody stopped him in time. Um. Because I did notice there was a blood alcohol level situation. So I don't know if maybe he was drunk on duty and nobody noticed. That doesn't absolve him, but maybe there was a reason he was drunk. So she's not going to pass judgment. She's not going to judge any of the situations until she has the details. Um, Because David's doing that. Ooh. David's doing what he did. Um, Also quite out of character for him. He's not normally like that. So... Your point, uh, point zero nine is like tipsy at best. Well, I mean, it affects different people differently. And it is over the legal limit, so he should not have been on duty. And for all we know, he was forced to drink and go on duty. So... Until we talk to Jeffrey, nothing really can be done. Okay, so... What's a Norman Bones? It's a poopy goopy man is what it is. Joe Kitty, thank you for the 10 months. He's stinky for real, true. True. I said what I said.
telling Ziggy, well, he can't know I even said that because that would be metagaming. So, ha. Ha ha. Mr. Poopy Spoopy Man. <laughs> Sound like Nelson from The Simpsons. Ha ha. Yes. Clarkson was definitely on duty. <laughs> no, it's been okay. All right. Get in the vehicle. I'm going to be driving today. Let's see. Okay. Report, but I can't find it. One second, I have to say something important. Hello, Miss Tessa, I'm your biggest fan. Hello. Hi. How Hi, you doing, Kachow? I'm good. How are you, Miss Tessa? I'm doing good. I was just realizing that Clarkson was definitely on duty earlier. Um. Oh. Did he drive that car? Yeah, you can tell because of the way that it is. Give him a million strike points. I cannot do that. That is my game warden. Oh, okay. I wonder if he would accept those from me. I bet he would. All right, uh, is your card Hello. Here or no? So what are you guys doing? I'm, we're starting an FTO shift. This is Miss Sunny Brooks. She Howdy smells there. like cow Hello. Pies. That was a long time ago, but that it is something I did, yes. She steps in poop for fun. It's a recreational thing. Oh, I see, I see. Hello, what are you guys doing? Hi. No. We're going out for a shift. All right, uh, Tessa, can I talk to you real quick? Yeah. Thank you. See nice you guys. Meeting, see you later. 
Hey, Sonny. Hey, Go Cacao. Ahead. How are you? Hello. I'm good. How are you? <laughs> He's talking on the intercom. Good to hear that. Forward. Oh, in here? It is warranted to drive this. Is this about my Rangers? I uh, spoke with Clarkson about what happened with Minio and Bird. Are you, are you being caught up in that? Dulio filled me in uh, somewhat, but I am waiting on the actual details because he apparently documented things. Um, he's afraid to submit an actual report just due to the nature of the situation. Well, Cl uh, Clarkson has been informed as the game warden. Um, Okay, I, I was hoping I didn't that... I so much to talk to uh, Ziggy, and he okay. told me he would look into it and get things done. See, this is one of the biggest responsibilities I've given to Clarkson. And honestly, between the two of us, it's a test to see how he does when given responsibilities to oversee uh, an issue within his department, trying to find ways to fix it. So what you're telling me is it's his problem... And I can't help him. No, you can definitely help him. Um, I just don't want to see how he does on his own. I mean, you're part of his chain of command. You're part of the Rangers. Obviously, what I'm saying right now between the two of us did not, you know, um, reach his ears because I'm speaking from a father down to a daughter, right? This is, this is um, you know. It, yeah. Me showing how I feel about the whole thing. But I was speaking to you as a deputy commissioner. I would say that... um. Yeah, Morton Clarkson definitely needs help. And uh, maybe your guidance and you being there next to him or telling him what should be done, just to reflect back in the whole Rangers, would be very he, vital. He, yeah, I was about to say, uh, I think you vastly overestimate uh, the amount of work Clarkson actually would put into that kind of thing. And most of the responsibility of it just falls to me by default, just because I'm the only one actually <laughs> willing to do anything. So, uh... That's exactly what I was expecting, and if you told him about something, uh, the most likely outcome is him coming to me and asking me what to do, uh, or uh, probably, uh, depending on the situation, burying it and not coming to me and not telling me about it at all, and then pretending like it, it got taken care of. Okay, so you got three rangers to look after then. Uh... No, I have all of the rangers to look after. I see. That's my daughter. Always leading the shadows and helping out any way she can. That's why I love you so much, Tessa. You mean yeah. so much to me. I don't think you understand. Well, shucks. You know, I am uh, pretty awesome. So, you know, it's just, uh, I appreciate that, Dad. Of course. There's one person on this planet that um, I would throw everything away for, and that's you. Because oh. you are the most special person I've met in this city, and they'll never change. Well, you know I'd never ask you to do that. I know you wouldn't, but I would do it for you. Well, but don't. But I, I uh, appreciate forbid, that sentiment. But, uh, if anything does happen, just know that I love you, I appreciate you, and I care for you a lot. And, um, oh, you know, Dad. Daughter, who has come a long way. Oh, thank you. You've come a long, long, long way. You know, from a lone park ranger out there helping out to now being part of a leadership position and um, being a great influence on people on duty. And I love seeing you around. You're one of the few people when I look at dispatch, and I'll go down the list, I see 270. Tessa Lamb. Crack a smile from ear to ear. <laughs> what the heck? That's really nice. Aww. Well, thank you. So, keep up the good work. And um, just remember, there's people that care about you and have your back. If there's anything you need from okay. us, let me know, or myself especially. I might need some advice down the line with this situation, just because I don't really know how to proceed. Um... Given the nature of it, uh, I, I don't really know what happened I recommend exactly. it 14 days as far as the suspension, the minimum. I, that's, that's my minimum. Recommend that okay. um, he's suspended for 14 days minimum. Both of them or just 
Minio or I would or... say um Bird should get a light suspension and Minio should get a heavy suspension. Not because um, you know, Bird is the main culprit in the whole thing, but um Wait who? That, uh... Sorry, Brian David? Yeah. I don't think you should get a lengthy suspension, maybe maybe an hour. Maybe a day at most <clears throat> after what happened, because he did come clean about it. And he um, told the truth. So. Have you heard about the other thing, though? What other thing? Oh, God, you don't know. Oh, no. Uh, well. Okay, so last night, apparently, uh. This is, this is per Dulio and the EMS that he spoke to. Apparently there was a situation with a Dan last night, or two Dans at least, but one of them passed away. And while the EMS were uh, bringing that Dan to the hospital, apparently Brian took custody of the body at some point in time and did not follow the proper procedure with that body and at this point in time I don't know if anyone knows where the body is huh I don't know what do you mean and who was the body and who was the victim Appar it was one of the dance is what I was given by Dulio uh, I'm still waiting on him to hand me the information about it uh apparently well EMS were dealing with that situation. Uh, he didn't give the doctors a chance to pronounce him dead. He took the body somewhere down into the parking garage, and the EMS saw his blip going towards the casino. And I guess they told Dulio about it. Dulio was going to investigate it, but then Jeffrey Price, an off -du or an on-duty officer, started shooting people and is now going to face second degree murder charges so Dulio had to pull off his call what the fuck is going on so what is I don't has know has Shelly gone to Jeffrey has he lost his damn mind I don't know I I live with Jeff I'm trying to figure that situation out right now because I don't know what's wrong with him I, I'm not even sure if he's in custody to be honest with you I uh he's facing attempted second degree or something. I just I got all this not, dumped on me this morning. Um, suspension. I saw that in uh, a strike point sheet. I saw that update on that. Yeah. So, I again, I don't have all the details on the body thing. Um, I don't know where the body ended up. I don't know if Dulio had a chance to follow up on it. But he's going to send me the information tonight. Okay, and then oh. I want you to work on that and give me uh, an update as far as what okay. happened with that case because okay, it sounds like we have a cop that just committed homicide. That's what it sounds like, and that's why I was a little confused uh, that you didn't know. So that's no, um, I haven't been told about this. It seems like it's been kept off the NBC. Okay, yeah, it has, and he said he didn't want to put anything in because of the fact that they had already tampered with reports. Right. But when I heard so, the dance, my mind went somewhere else because you know how the dance are. They're very goofy. And yes, yeah. I, so I don't I'm, know if this was an actual um, incident where they're messing around with each other. That's and, what I need to get to the bottom right. of. I don't know so what once happened. Once we get that clarity as far as um, how serious the case is, then from there we can take an action. Okay. All right. Well, that's good that you know now. No, thank you. Good Lord. Goodness. Truth repeat to be involved today and everything's been going on. Have you checked uh, the bolo? Look what we're rolling. No, I, I haven't even. I've been on duty for like two, almost you, three hours. You and like that, the way I'm doing that? Or when it comes to like announcements or things that happen on duty during shift that people can just pull up their MDW and read it? I think we need to do this more often. One of a big yeah. uh, news or, or something that happens within the boundaries of the police department affecting it and things are changing. It should be posted here. And then those bolos, they go away over time, right? So it's not permanent, right? So, if you got on duty within a week, so, you'll definitely see the announcement. Trooper PD oh, got shit, targeted? Have... Yes. 
Listen, there's gonna be an ambush happening here pretty soon. Okay. Wait up on that, I'm gonna go up and out with it, right? I need more eye You said an ambush? Yeah, I'll rough those three going through to and we'll fishing. Up. It's high command clearing thermal for everyone. Uh, I don't think we have any high command. I got him, oh. he's got Del Perro, he's okay. got Del Perro. He's taking the off ramp north. Uh oh. I was like Dundee stuff. Oh my god. It's gonna be one of those days, isn't it, chat? Uh, Prince Mitchell, thank you for the year resub. Welcome back. God, this poor car. I didn't see him come out the eastern side. He went through the eastern side. Clarkson, why are you the way that you are? Got him down here. He's now going to be coming in westbound. 22, that eastbound. Sinu and eastbound. Ginger about to pop out. Popping out. Merging southbound. Approaching. There's no fuel. It's just. Did he get a new car? Oh my god. Northbound, going northbound San Vitus, probably hey. all the way to Howick, to your right. Going down, crossing Howick, all the way to Spanish. Going through the uh, old, old NBC parking garage, coming out on North Outrap. I think this is what this was. Country, yep. I don't see him. You turn, you turn, back southbound, back southbound, coming out right in front of you guys. Southbound, southbound uh, San Vitus. Come on, scout. We gotta get him. Southbound San Vitus, crossing Howick. Guys, let's please, let's fight from the floor. That's all you gotta do. We dummies, dummies, you guys good right now. This is like a seven, this is like the whole horse type of deal. I put all hands in deck for a first degree murder warrant. Oh, I'll copy that. Westbound, westbound, uh, San Andreas. Passing the right Still westbound, full set here, all the way to South Block. Oh, God. The black car behind me, I don't know if he's involved. Oh, my God, you just. Have a great day, officer. Hello. Uh, Is it Scuffery? Yeah. Uh, Scout Scuffery. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ, I'm going to have to clean up a dead dog on my own today. Is he no, better now? Don't worry about it. He's all good now. Sorry. There's no blood on the ground either. Sorry about that. Hi, Tessa. Hello. Oh my god, okay, so we we logged in today. Not only are we dealing with the Bill May stuff, but we have Minio altering and tampering with evidence and ordering other officers under him to do so. Another officer stole a body. Um, Clarkson came on duty and destroyed the car and left. Didn't elaborate. Now we're dealing with Dundee. And his murder stuff that sounds like it didn't go well with his negotiation the other day. <laughs> oh my god, I need to get food. Somehow <laughs> Clarkson's the least of the problem. Ah. Uh, well, you know, you know that Clarkson was given the information and probably isn't going to do anything about it. <laughs> Bless him. Nah, he might. If I asked him for help, he'd probably help me. You guys good? Yeah, we're good. Right. Hey. Okay. I'm gonna run and get some food, but I might stop back by and just make sure you're covered. Alright. All four tires out. Get out now, everybody, now. Trooper! Hell yeah! 20, 20, 20. 
Get him boxed, do not anybody pick him up. Hello, Commander Tesla. Welcome to the burger shop, home of the money shot meal. What can I get started for you? Hello, I'm here to get some salad combos. Okay, how many you need? Uh, two would be good. I go to come on. Somebody get spikes in front of next to Old Benny's. What's the other way? Ah, over cheese. Ice cream as well. Telling, Yo, Ram, telling, hey Dick and Ram, Ursula, yeah, can you guys retwat uh, my twat of one of the coolest Elliot. pictures ever taken in Los Santos? Just saying. Uh, sure. Sandy's Sandy's climbing the, climbing the stairs. Climbing uh, the stairs. Climbing uh, the ladder. Uh, Dub Blunt, Blunt took a really sweet picture of me knocking somebody yeah, out of my gym. Oh yeah, oh, I see that. It's really good. good. Oh, it's sick. I love it. It honestly, that man deserves so much praise for that. That's one of the best pictures. You want to swipe you? The CPD photo is really cool too, with like the reflection. So is the Mr. K one. All the getting the K9s. Oh, shit, I haven't seen that yet. It's right on the tray. Grab a couple if you haven't seen it yet. Right on the tray here. My favorite picture is the one with the burger shot. Definitely the one with Tom. There you go, on the tray. Tessa, have you seen the magazine yet? There's a couple more on the I have, it's beautiful. I gotta go, I'm sorry. Bye, Tess. I'm going up. He's running back towards the ladder. He's right on top of the ladder that he climbed up. I'll be on the roof towards the MRPD. He's ladder camping. The trooper on the ladder right now? If he's ace the roof, I'm gonna go up and ace Does he have a gun in his hand? I'm not getting close enough to see it. Crouch at the top of the ladder. I'm, on, I'm below the ladder right now, not shoot. I'm with, I'm with you, Bass, I'm with you, Bass. Hey, stand by, we're going up the adjacent building just now. Above. He has, I think he has a gun aimed on the ladder, or he's on his hand. Eat my salad. Everybody, yes. Everybody, stop. Everybody, stop. The only people that should be talking are me, Bass, or Oxfong right now, because I need to have eyes on what's going on up there. Give me a sec. If he peeks, me and Bruce, uh, me and Timer are on top of the uh, Lika. Uh, so if he peeks, you guys will be able to take him out. If you just hold, I can get units on the building to his west that's higher than him. Okay, I can pick up two units on the ground right now. Okay, I'm that's going for the west building right surrender. now. Everybody, again, me, Bass, and Oxfunk is the only three talking. He's asking for peaceful uh, surrender to Titan. Okay, I'm not sure where there. they are. Units on the ground to get uh, air one right now. Mind me. Got the shot. Out. He's watched the ladder. I can't see his hand. I can just hold shot. Hold one second. Do not, do not take any shots. Just hold by. Push him by. I'm coming. I got you covered. I could only come so fast. Where are they? Above. Look all the way up at this ladder. All the way up. Oh, I see. I see. I positioned Jimbo on the building. He has a clear side of him. And those, those little officers up there on the ladder. Look at that. Three officers with an easy shot on him. He's got no cover. But I'm waiting until the order's given. Maze, bring him over here, Maze. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If one more officer gets shot down when we're making these negotiations, take the shot on Dundee. Is that Dundee up there? Yes, it is Dundee up there. I got you. I'm just headed out soon. Do we have any more that we have three total? Uh, no. unknown. There's two, I don't know. Two, two in the back. There's another one, so that's three. So I'll make sure there wasn't anyone over here. Helicopter, black helicopter, black helicopter. Go, go. Tessa, could you just hold this ankle here? Oh. I really, I don't, I don't really want to be here. This is a very bad spot. Um, these cars are not. Trying to be careful. I don't really know. Uh, point distance on her one <laughs> over the golf oh, course right now. Ow. Are you okay? Yeah. 
Ooh, where's that? Where's that? Going south bound towards the Bilbong. Southbound towards the Bilbong over South Rockford. Hmm. If you can get it before it lands, you blow it up. That's it. Oh, wait, no. I'm going to look out for a blue colored muscle car. car. That was what was oh. opening fire at the uh, construction site. Okay. The barriers all on the right. ground here in this alley, so if I need to come inside, there should be shot right away. Put down some barriers, right? Yeah, I will. What the way? I can do it, Kachow. Okay. Is anybody on ATC? A firm 690. And then, uh, yeah, there's a little bit right here so people can see it. Right here, right here on this trash can, too. So they can see it. Yeah, make sure, um. Okay. Are you putting the barrier down? Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, put it down out a little further. Okay. It's only Just to put like, it like inside here. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. You're gonna block Sounds in. Good. You're gonna block yeah. in every vehicle that is uh, inside of this compound here. So you need, if you're placing a barrier, you need to make sure yep. that you're not blocking in cars or cars coming out. Gotcha. Is it? It's not just barrier, is it? It's. Uh. uh yeah, it's just barrier, and then you'll get. Uh, oh, perfect. To decide which one, Thanks. and it's the blue one with the light. Blue with light. Thank you so. Oh, in the And then you'll oh, need there to. We go. You'll need to ease your way yep. in and yep. look at the ground. There you go. All right, thank can you so I much. Can you move this car at all? What? Do we need more units on this? Uh, this is 78, yes. It's a 78. Okay. Where do you need me? I don't want to interrupt right now. Uh, I don't know where they're at. I think they're, um, on construction right now, possibly. Uh, and they might have somebody still up on this roof up here. Mm okay. So, just wherever you think you're needed, um, I don't know. To be honest, car? I just got here. Yeah, I got. I might just car. stay mobile. I don't right. want to get shot. Oh, I don't know where. Six two three LSI. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, oh, you're good. You light up that helicopter if you see us try to land there. Hide your car and light it up. Southbound towards LSI right now, or towards the Bill Bond. Because we should definitely never be blocking ourselves in to a area. It's towards. It's in towards LSI, but it doesn't look to be hanging towards the hangar. Uh, I think it's wrapping, uh, I think it's wrapping down inside around the fuel, it's going east on now. I'm going to port a freeway pushing the east. There he is, okay. It's now heading uh, eastbound, it's over Maytank Arena. Everyone's going to have to break off, is there air 2 up? Air is coming. Okay, we're, we should be up uh, above MRPD very shortly. What the heck is... What was that? Over top MRPD heading northeast on. Is that a heli? Area. What is is that Air One? Air One has to break off. <laughs> what was that? Good altitude. They're heading north on. They're heading north on OS Freeway. Like an alien ship. ATC take over. ATC north on OS Freeway. Okay. Got these cars. The car situation is so bad. And most look on ground as soon as possible. We're smoking. I need whoever was going to LSIA already, go there and you can check for a car. Yeah, check for I'm a car. Here. The Black R35 is here. Alright, you, you, uh, I hate to do this to you, but sit there and wait for them to come back to the R35. I need to get warmed up now. Come back for it. I'm gonna push towards uh, Palm near Sanchez. It's a pretty common spot where they can ditch helicopter near the ocean. I think going northwest towards the Vinewood sign. My eleven's headed to the Vinewood sign on the ground. Make sure it comes by. ATC update. Northbound, directly over Mount Hunt Road. Uh, near. Like slightly to the west of the uh, river led track. I'm gonna push it more north to cover if it goes that way. Somebody head that way now. This is the nines. I'm at SDS. I'll tell you if it crosses here. Okay, um. 
Again, for any of those who are joining on the radio, this is an all hands on deck call for uh, Erwin Dundee for first degree murder warrant. He is currently in a black killer frogger smoking heavily with another individual. Do we have an update on the heading of the chopper? Get another one in like 30 seconds. It's not coming toward Palmer to Freeway on the gas station. I've not seen it. Month Air 2's over, over Bay Tree. We're going northwest towards Air X. Eyes, I got eyes. It's uh, over the Alamo Sea, northeast. It's descending Grapeseed, descending Grapeseed. What's the number from Palmer right now? Get over there, right it it's descending Grapeseed, north. No, no, I'm, I'm way too way away. I'm just getting you guys' eyes. I'm about to lose visual. It's descending Grapeseed, 100% like Grandma's area. Copy that. I got eyes on it still. Lost eyes, northeast, descending towards Grandma's. That was last seen. Northwest. I got still we're still doing that. Northwest grape seed. By the clown oh. fun house. Air 176. Hey, let them, hey, let them pretend, let them try to land and then you blow it up. Don't let them try to take off from you. Let them paint the land. We got the blue and color muscle car here. And you light it up too if it tries to do anything. Everybody BBMC related is involved in this now. There's only two of us units here. Right, we're I on believe the way. we're going into the blue and color muscle car. Southwest. Wait, what? Put into the blue and color muscle car is now westbound. I'll bring that in, get it Do I northbound. Away? Before I get the, They're uh, out of the helicopter and got in the muscle car? Yeah. I found. You're clear to shoot. Yes, you're clear to shoot them. Well, we didn't get there in time to shoot. It's fine, yeah. keep going. Everyone's. I will continue northbound Joe Lane. Uh, westbound Grapeseed, Maine. Do you want to toilet covers up still, or can I ground air one, Bison? Ground, ground air one, we should be good. Ground air one, yeah. Air two has eyes, yes, we're yes. off going off road. Right. Well, they're they're doing a hold out in the torture room. Hold out in, in the torture room. Oh no. Room. Getting, <laughs> out, <laughs> getting out, getting out. Aiming guns. Them up. Hopping yeah, out, shooting at, shooting at uh, Demi. They're shooting at Demi. Inside the room. Hey, are you in here, Blake? I'm right inside my basement. That's all right. There's the one, one running towards the road, Tor towards the road. Be ready. Come you in here? He's in between the alleyway. Yeah, I'm by myself. Hey, okay. is that your car outside, the, the red on one? On Grapeseed Main Street, yes. Be ready. He's okay, right go ahead and uh, head out. I don't want you to be stuck in here. I think the shooters have left. Uh, I just corner, want right you to get out of the area. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. I heard shots and I was like, maybe yeah, there's shots had, and be gone. Yeah, we had a little situation unfold, so get yourself out of the area and try to avoid coming back for a little bit. Okay, thank you. One suspect down, it's just done deep inside. It's just done deep inside. Everybody's getting here, everybody's getting ready to push now. Yeah, take it slow, stack up, use our numbers. Keep in mind, there's two take of the that are left. We still have two at large as well, too, because I'm on. Get flunk us here. Careful. It could, uh, but we, our numbers stuff. are a valuable asset here. I just I just dropped off my passengers to uh, give you guys more ground support. I'll solo air. I'm not going in unless we have seven people ready to go in. I'm, I'm, I'm coming go. up CV Road right now. I'll be there in 30 seconds. Right five is on my go. Yes, sir. Alright, we have five waiting for two more, then we're going to. Yes, what the heck? Right, go. Hold me, you. hold me close. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> Shoot on sight. You see him, you pop him. I saw, just my need to tell you something. You need your hand help. Hold my hand. Can you hear me? Is watching okay, yeah, I can hear you. This is all Brian Knight's fault. <laughs> How's it Brian's fault? What happened? What? Whoa, that's ominous. Oh my god, just die already. <laughs> and Bones' is fault. What are the shots fired on the hill? He's this guy's got a class 2, he's got a class 2, be careful. <laughs> and the PD's fault. <laughs> well, I resent that. Push, 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 push. I got him. He's down. He's down. He's down. Yeah. Not yeah. your that's fault. Spot. Spot. Yeah. Everyone's watching Guys, for that is for some else. good shit right there. Yes. <laughs> oh, how dare you that's say my government? What are you screaming for? What happened? Black, black just call me Cav for God's right sake. Yeah. Shots. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to figure out. I got him. I got him. Down, down. Nice. 
Oh, what do you oh, want? Oh, 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 <laughs> what do you want? I'm dying. Let me die in peace. The nines is um, 76. I was, I was gonna Maybe. ask you a question. Not no. sure. What do you want to know, Kachow? <laughs> oh, I die. <laughs> Can you please die a little quieter? Crypto magic, thank you. <laughs> You're on my list, Kachow. <laughs> Thank you so much for the gift and subs, by the way. Wake up. Hey, stop poking me! That hurts! I'm shot. Can't you see? Goddamn! Like on the Christmas list? Yeah, like a Christmas list. Azazel, thank you for the biddies. Just your fucking little keyboard. Okay? And you asked me and you said you wanted to date me. You know what? It's not anymore. I'm dying. We're gonna put him right where me and Tim are standing right now. Come on, put barriers down on the alleyway entrance. I'm not clear to bring Dundee up. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Yeah, uh, I'm putting barriers up on the entire road. I'm blocking off the entire street. Is the helicopter missing? Should, should uh, ATC, down. ATC. We need ATC check right now. ATC, anything in there? I disconnected from ATC. Weird. I'm on scene first. Did anyone stay with the helicopter? Me up so I can stay Negative. Blasting. It was just myself and Demi. I'll go check. I'll go check right now. Okay, check check ATC, stand. please. Stay check there. check oh, ATC, okay. please. Uh, I recognize that person. Wait, why do people say rest of the funhouse, right? Where this yeah, one? Yeah, I just circled the funhouse three times. I don't, I don't see know, because like the afterlife, people want them to like sleep well. I don't know, because uh, I'm dying here, uh, I'm uh, bleeding. Got two officers inside, so. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, that could have very well be been the pun. Ah, <laughs> Actually, Nines is clear in the funhouse. Status on y'all guys. Who's for EMS? What is your 20? We need life out one or whatever. I'm dead. Fastest, um, route oh, oh, here. I've died. No. Oh, you're kind currently of speaking to my go, 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 go. Oh, no. Demi, is this your warrant? A firm. Okay. Boom. You're processing Dundee. Oh. Yeah, I got okay, you. Fun house appears to be Jeez. clear, um, but we still don't break, know where the There's a going. black and color muscle car Maybe that's circling the fun house. Just, just came up goes. north from the city on the Santos Freeway. Could be uninvolved. Just get them out of the area. They, the barriers are up, so if they start having barriers, you, you shoot cap. them. That's how it works. It's at the fun house. Oh, They're headed to Grapeseed now. Okay, yeah, so we don't have eyes in the helicopter. It is confirmed oh the fun house. So the helicopter took off again. There you go. Thank you. <coughs> Black vehicle is. Hey, Tessa. It might not be the whole Hello. trick, but it should the get you to the Yeah, thank you. That's what I already have. Alright, evidence collection is code for. Yeah, got you. Got you. He's clearing out from the fun house, 76 barriers. We got three cars out of that. Guys, I'm in a buffalo. Three cars, three suspects. An audible shot far near the scene of 1013. What's going on? Where's Bison? Am I an officer down? I don't know. Listen, I mean. I may, may or not, the two cops you that went down may or may not be my fault. <laughs> is somebody doing evidence collection in the, in the torture room? Okay, now it is your fault. Alright, I need, I need two people doing evidence collection in the torture room. One where Dundee shot, and uh, uh, BBMC shot on the staircase, please. 623 will help with evidence. Shot me from Six twenty. Another was down the alleyway. Um, we got him, we got him, we got both of them. Both of us, right? It's, uh, yeah, yeah, you see both of them. is, uh, 10 12 by Sandy, uh, whenever you call it before. In the, in the road, Tommy, like, uh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. 623 from 620. Right, it's code 4 for EMS? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what happened with it, Mukka. Um, the last thing that we knew was that Dundee had put a bomb so in the this, car uh, and was scenery. threatening to blow things up if he didn't get a chance to turn himself in uh, for a plea deal. 
And no more dumb chop. And so we had to let Demi know. And Demi basically said no plea deals on murder. Which is reasonable. But also, if someone wants to plead no contest, um, it should it should probably just kind of go to sentencing, in my opinion. I don't I don't really know, but um, so that was the last that I heard of it. But sounds like we just caught him. Uh, can we, um, let's merge channel 2 and 3 again, please. Uh, I want to make sure that they're okay because it's part of the same situation now. And let's shift to channel 3 if that's the case. That way yep. we can keep channel 2 clear. Yep, everybody. <coughs> Radio check. 2. 2. Alright, for those of you who guys, uh, were on the construction scene, uh, channel 2 is, uh, we're merging with channel 3 now. We did get Dundee and two others over at the Grape Seed. We're going to be merging and staying on the same channel for the time being until everybody's back in the cells. Shots will be a third one for uh, channel 3 just in case people did not catch the uh, radio traffic. Yeah, she went to go to Sandy, secure Sandy Shores Hospital. No, we're going to um, the one Crusade, right? Sandy SO or the Sandy Medical? Crusade or Sandy? Can you ask EMS? EMS? No, they're, prob they're probably going to take you to Crusade. Undergo. They're probably they're not on Crusade channel not 3. Break. We have a uh, blue muscle car at the construction scene. We've got all these cars on tow trucks right now, and we have three suspects. Uh, just so you guys know. All right, the blue muscle car definitely needs to be impounded. Um, well no, it's driving other. around. Yeah, it's, it's oh. the blue uh, six R L. The nine six seventy six to the construction scene. It just pulled into an alleyway uh, parallel to Adam's Apple. Copy. I'll reroute that way to give you cover and backup. Yeah, 200 same traffic. I'm going with you best. So there's gonna be one at large, most likely. Maybe uh, we have all. You should have six in custody, right? First from construction and three from grape seed. Yeah, we have three on our scene. We have three grape seed as well. Three five one. Who's processing uh, evidence at grape seed? Six twenty. Six two three. One more thing as well. The Bandai Boys is a pretty big uh, gang. Expect um. Prison transport breakout too, or some sort of breakout from the hospital. So, keep that on a swivel. Copy. Just to let you all know, coming over from Channel Two, we are loaded up down at the construction site, ready to move out. Uh, all the vehicles are on the back of a tow truck right now. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't break comms yeah, put up right now. <laughs> for just a parked car. <laughs> There's one more charger over here without a body in it. Disregard shot fired. They crossed the barrier. Yeah, you grab it. Uh, 351, any vehicles on scene? If you find here, any fragments next to that vehicle, for the love of God, catalog them and photograph them. I need that. Where's the charger? Come back over to where uh, you were at. Maybe. In our car. Well, who had the other uh, SCSO charger? Are you talking about me? <laughs> no, this one has 928 on top of it, but Martinez is going around. Times. Ruger, good to go? Uh, yeah, if everything's loaded up, let's uh, go ahead yeah. and move down to Crusade and the three units that have volunteered go to PD Tough. Uh, Maeve, I, myself, and Spirits, we're gonna go sit on the 95s inside the uh, emergency room and we're gonna make sure that no one touches them, okay? Who's lead at the grape seed scene? Who's seen lead at the grape seed scene? Bass, uh, you on radio? Bass took a nap. Okay, tell me. I'm not up at grape seed. Uh, last I heard was you and Bison doing shit up there. Four five ones on need something up here. Oh, 
Bones, what's ground zero and why do we have to go there? It's the basement. Did anybody search the guy with the yellow shirt and the black hat? Or do Boy, you I don't. I don't like that. I don't like that just two people went the cars. Uh, I'm gonna go with them. Mucka, thank you for the 11 gifted subs. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Are you all clear of construction? Yeah, safe from. Uh, We currently have uh, the vehicles being impounded and the suspects are at the hospital. Alright, well, thank you. Understood. Breaking off back channel 276 STSO for the sheriff's direction. Is somebody, um. taking care of this Mustang over here? Anybody? A nine. Oh Here's man, Mucka coming in with another one. Thank you so much, Mucka. Appreciate you very much. I'll take that as a no. I have a, I have to so we, uh, with that, we also passed our daily goal. So thank you guys. Thank you. Typically, 99 outfits are more expensive Everyone vehicles, and the owners have insured them with tracking devices. But also, okay. Is anybody on the same double dose in grapeseed? Articulate Grand Theft Auto. I'm also help you articulate whether or not someone. What is happening? I need to break off for fuel. You steal a vehicle without bringing it back. That's fine. You did great. Not three RTBS, so. Is there anybody besides Demi that's doubled up here? Uh, Bison, if you want to come pick me up the SC so I can drop my bike off and I can take that car for you. Yeah, I need you to... Yeah, somebody stay with the Mustang super quick. I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll transfer, I'll just take them there. So you, you're just there, you're just seeing it. I'll just take them there and everyone. Where are you at? Bungie. All right. Uh, I'm going to shoot down CV you and drop this bike off at uh, SDSO. Okay, yeah. I'll wait for you. I'm going to refill I like these be deals being forged in the chat. My sheep must take over Twitch. Alright, 103 and time are gonna push ahead to Crusade. Uh, she has a 95 on me from there. Is there an incident report made for this? Only sheep allowed. Uh, there's the arrest warrant for Dundee. If you just look up his name, we can just put that in the same No, 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 no. This needs to be separate because it has uh, all the other BBMC on it. Uh, so sorry, Afram. Um, I'll make a new report. Okay, bye. Copy that. Every single person that's processing right now, make sure your suspect gets on the obstruction. Um, it's up to Demi if she wants to push accessory charges to all this stuff. Number four is a little bit late in the way they said earlier. I think Sunny made it. Yeah, the, the three ninety fives from the PDM scene are going on that report. Whatever else, feel free. Sunny, is this your report? Um, yeah, the BBMC, I right. told PDM, yeah. Um, Demi, you don't have to if you don't want to, but I'm just going to recommend don't charge Dundee for this. Just add it to the charges on the docket. Hey, okay, farm. Transition back to main frequency if y'all don't need well, it. Well, if now. it's on lockdown, I'll uh, get out of here. Recording is done, and nobody needs to need recording. Uh, Bison, we good to roll out the grape seeds. The hospital. Uh, yeah. You guys are free to take off and go to the hospital as long as you have officers there waiting. Uh, I'm still waiting here with some vehicles. Do you want the officers with the 395s to wait for you all as well, so we're all grouped together, or do you want us to go ahead once they got medical to head out there? Um, who, who's leading that scene over there? I think Ruger's here, but um, I'm sitting with all the 95s right now. I got them all. Okay, officers. just just wait for these uh, suspects and then just take off all at once. Then. All right. Well, they're all sing a song together, so they'll be fine. Looking at this car, you need to grab. Little cap. 
uh, Tinker and Finley Milton are the ones behind you. Over here. Hey, the Tesla. blue one, the dark blue one, way down Hello. here. Hello, how you guys doing? Hi. Doing all right, just having a little bit of a talk after work. Okay. Oh, well, I got the uh, hospital on lockdown, so I'm kind of looking around to see if anyone's doing anything funky. Here I saw somebody on the roof earlier, and I'm sure if that's an officer of maybe somebody okay. or EMS. It may have been EMS. Do we have an Alex Schoderberg in custody? Thank hey, you, though. Yeah, make sure to add on to this charge's vehicle registration problem. Criminal needs also get a warrant. Mucka, thank you for the gifted sub as well to Kelly and Crypto Magic. Thank you for the additional gifted sub as well. Okay, is it yours? Yeah, I need it for evidence. Six two three as well. Please don't have that as full of evidence. Shots fired. Shots. I'm going to the east of the hospital. Do we still have Air One up, or is it, did it go down? Air One, Air one has to go down to refuel. Oh, Air One. Air Force is on roof, just in case. All right, for those of you guys who are doing uh, evidence collection, we're going to be taking off with the vehicle, so you guys are going to be on your own. Air Force, I'm talking about it. Just stay there. Hey, five one. Thank you for all units that are involved in the apprehension of Erwin Dundee. You guys are wonderful, and I appreciate you. That was fantastic, guys. I could not have been happier with that. Starlight Dragon is twenty three at Timo Memorial. Is it code four for me to bring down the patients? Do we have any officers up on the roof with the heli? Hey, from, we have two officers up here. Hey, from. We're up here covering for them. Uh, for those of you who uh, were flying Air 1 and were the troopers and the SRU that were helping specifically with the S Plus uh, vehicles, you guys did fucking fantastic. That was awesome. Thanks, why send us for yet, though? You're having symptoms. Well, if it if he gets away, then I'll blame you for everything, Bones. Yep, it'll be on. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's fine. We're all collectively agreeing it's gonna be Bones' fault if he gets away. Well, you guys did amazing. I'm very proud of everybody here. I just see life light and just want to shoot it down. <laughs> what the heck? That's not a good reflex to have. Emus is going down the helicopter now. <laughs> uh, Shepard, leave it there. I'll give uh, I'll give people a ride back up to pick up their steps. Make sure it's locked. Sounds good. Bison from Stonefinger, just confirming outside of the uh, torture room area has been documented and. Evidence collected, correct? Uh, I got the yeah. There was only one area. It was in the alleyway, next to where the blue car was, next to the staircase. And I got that already. Hey, from you just needed the staircase and inside the actual torture room itself, and then you should be good. Hey, from we're wrapping up here. All right, thank you. Staircase is taken care of and processed. Wonder what Barry will do. in case anybody is confused this entire situation with the bbmc is being added on to a separate report from the dundee warrant so please make sure that you guys are adding evidence to the correct report 10-4 hey firm make sure you guys are running your guns collecting blood taking weapons like all right crypto Anything will you like have a good night sleep well thank you for hanging out with us 
And thank you for all the gifties, of course. Six two three, same traffic. Starlet Dragon is transitioning back to Alpha eighty three ten eight. I wonder if they'll plan an attack at the hospital or if they will um try to do a prison transport. So if they do prison transport, this is gonna be something. Are you close to the helicopter? Can you park it away? I I have a fifty two I need to get to. Uh helicopter. Can you get double terrorism? I don't know. Uh, just stop Maybe. doing it, park it. I'll if it's two there. different situations. Okay, yeah, it's already been parked, sir. Then for a swap and chow too. I don't know though. I'm not in the boat that considers any attack on the hospital or at the hospital is uh, terrorism. I think it requires specific criteria to be met. So, what is that? Uh, we have two individuals running towards the hospital garage. Uh, don't know what they're doing. They came out from inside the building. If you're talking about the one you, like, purple jumps Yeah, in. I affirm. Why is the EMS running to the back? Please, EMS. The individual in the purple flight suit is EMS. That was the man. advised we're still waiting on medical for gun to be there four out of the five have been cleared and they're ready to go yeah i really honestly i think people shouldn't be attacking at the hospital i don't think that's really uh in in my personal opinion i don't think it's a really good form to do that but um because we've all seen that silly let's dress as a doctor and pretend to break our friend out of custody spiel it gets old it, it's just kind of bleh. but um i don't know i think i think if all your boys are in the hospital you should kind of cut your losses at that point i think in my opinion that's just my thoughts on it so i think it's silly to to Try and break somebody out of the hospital. Are we, do we have all if you want, if you want to break them out after they've been so put into custody, you should do a prison transport. So I don't know about you guys, but any time that I personally have gone to a hospital with like an emergency room and stuff they've got like pretty serious security measures like <laughs> nice <laughs> wait a minute who was that Uh, 
suspect is still in the uh, ER here? He's processing it. Hey, Demi, can you come out into the hallway real quick? All right, I'm going to talk in 10-9. Can, can, can you come out into the hallway over here? I don't, I'm the only one in here. I don't I'll grab, I'll grab it. Hey, um, where you at, Demi? Come here. Yeah, we used to uh, do a lot more prison transports, but it got it got really silly, like to a point where it was like every other thing was a transport, and it was like, can y'all not just like accept accept the prison? Um, but now I think um, the the setup for things is a lot better for people now so people only request transports for serious stuff like this would be a perfect opportunity um because generally speaking on these big shootout scenes like most of the time the jail time is pretty negligible so people aren't so fussy about going <laughs> um which i think has actually helped I know people were dunking on it when it first was talked right, about, uh, but I think it has helped. I think it has been a good change, and it has helped people not be quite as uh, upset when they're going to prison. Or at least not as frustrated. Where's yours at? It's in uh, the cruiser with me, 438's cool. cruiser. Alright, All right. dispatch 419. I'm going to be 76 up to Grapesy to get Ripley's motorcycle back, and then I'll be processing Antonio. I'm ready to for transport. Plus 95, Rodney. Are all 95 loaded up? Oh, let's get out of here, let's go. Lead the way.
like also, we're good whoever, to go. I, I, I said it before this whole thing started. Whoever, whoever the three word that said quiet, go off duty right Mendoza. now. Mendoza, it was Mendoza. It's quiet. Told me to remind you, Bison. Yeah, it was Mendoza and Shelby. Hello. It was the ambulance died. Yeah, I was just uh, I had a subpoena I was dealing with. Oh, okay. Thank you. Don't kill me. Oh, my car. <laughs> what the heck happened to my car? <laughs> yeah, Dundee got caught. Please, for the love of God, jump doors. I don't want anybody to come down here because somebody left the door unlocked. Uh, Demi, what uh, what room are you moving Irwin into? Uh, we're gonna put Irwin in one of the interrogation rooms. Yeah, we might need to let Dundee go. What? Just for um, this is for a clown murder. Yeah, they're real people. Uh, and he kidnapped me, so also witness stand. Whatever, man. Hey, whatever. Somebody died. <laughs> Alright, Dundee's gonna be in interrogation room one. Bison changed, man. I liked how he got so excited that he was the one to take Dundee down and then he immediately passed off the paperwork. <laughs> you do, you do. I think, hey, I'm pretty fair. I, it was one time and it was probably like a head pop or some shit. I don't recall signing up to have babies with you. Not an actual baby. What the heck? Hey, Tessa. Dad. Wow, it's a lot happening here. Yeah, you already have too many kids for my taste. I'll pass. <laughs> oh, I see. What? You know what? That'd be. Marrying what the hey? Watch it. It's equivalent of playing on somebody else's save. Okay, so it's not too bad once you try it. What is happening? Nobody what? around here asks what it's like to marry you. What? <laughs> oh, I'm just what? saying. I'm saying the equivalent of playing somebody else's safe. Huh? Bess, what the hell? You're putting the paperwork in for that one? Just what? saying. I've done it before. It's not too bad. Okay. Is this the real Bass or is this someone like a Bass soundboard? Uh, it's no, 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 no. I'm, I'm being serious right now. It's, yeah, he's, that's the funny part. Is he's being dead ass. <laughs> oh, his hat. Okay. I'm being serious. That's... Anybody, uh, okay, all right. Here, okay, Bass. Y'all have a good night, Tessa. I love you. Hey, you have a good ass night. Yeah. Good night, Bass. Yeah. Well, you already admitted it, you know. Can you help him out? Why is everybody wearing masks? Bro, shit. I've been trying. Oh, the boost. I have no clue. Also, when did you start rocking some shots? He admitted it. Why not? Oh, he was helping them out there. That's why you fucking asshole! I bet you took the twilight out, didn't you? I took the what? The Again, Twilight! You are standing like, right fucking next to it, government. don't you? The Twilight? Who they shot at, okay? right What's a Twilight? Like you don't know what the Twilight is. Around. Everybody knows what the Twilight is. Don't what? you fucking play sure you're dumb grabbing with me. Their DNA? Are you don't talking about your you stupid liar. gray car? Uh, don't you talk it's not a stupid gray car, one. Tessa. Alright? It, it is a stupid gray car. I bet car. if it had a fucking, uh, I bet if it had a bunch of, like, uh, Walnuts inside of the glove box and a fucking cute little fucking squirrel tail with some fucking truck nuts on it You'd probably think it's the best fucking thing ever. That sounds yeah. great Thank you very much. Yeah, I bet it does Why'd you take my car out Tessa? I didn't take your car out Then who did wait that's not my car. Do you? <laughs> wait a second. That's not my car. Fred. Hey, Fred, no. Mendoza, how you doing? Hey, hey Carter. Kyle. Yeah, what's what going up? on? What up, man? You are awake. Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm awake, and uh, 
Uh, Tessa, I'm not going to apologize for yelling at you because I don't feel the need to, and I don't care. I just thought that was my car. Hey, uh, Carter. Yeah. Did you see anyone who asked? Oh, uh, uh, real, uh, real fucking no. cute, Tessa. Damn. Yeah, yeah, real Bye. cute. Bye. Five strike points, Tessa. Five strike points. I'll take them. Good, now it's ten. Damn, she had a dab on you too, dog. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right, Tessa, yeah, savage. Damn. Oh, you wonder Here who you was go. driving your car? Strike points, Tessa. Thank you, sir. Am I dismissed? Yeah, you're dismissed, Tessa. Is Later. Charger, your car. Uh, well, no, that's not the. That's not the. Point of my car. This is an imposter. Worth uh, it. I demand that this car be. One time, Sony for justice. One time, possession of a class. Oh, sorry. Yo. All right, Tessa. I just slapped that in your face. I'm sorry. Yeah, there. Yeah, there's a lot of attempted murders. Even though I. Bite him, Troll. Uh, you guys are running their guns gun. as well. Get out of there. What are you doing to this guy? I'm trying to grab, trying to grab the shotgun off him, Tessa. Put your katana back on you, okay? Well, Troll, calm down, Troll. Can I have some food? Ones, but, no, Do you have snack. any on you? Well, have, like, well I don't have it. <laughs> yeah, you got pizza on you. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to seize your stuff, I'm going to put your pizza back on you, yeah, and you I can eat it. it. <laughs> that fucking dog's quick, I'll tell you that. Yeah, 13 grand on you. Are you more scared of the dog or Tessa? Right. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm Tessa, actually, very stern right now. Yeah, I'm very uh, scared of Tessa. Oh, really? Always will actually, be, no matter what. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not that. Scared. Uh, Hi, Tessa. Yeah, Hi. Dipper, she has a. Uh, Aspen. Hi, Tessa. Aspen. Hi, Tessa. Okay, uh, Hello. Aspen. She sicked it on me one time. Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, Churro. Hi, Churro. Hi, hey, Churro. Uh, That's uh, crazy. That's You're so on duty. I've done 102. Keeping the charges uh, on. Tessa, I have a question. Make sure you are yes, Tinker. Off topic. Sorry. I don't want to bother you. Uh, so they're trying to push the boost on me, and they're saying that there was one officer that saw me there, but I, uh, like, hypothetically, if someone's wearing a, like, a mask and stuff, how would they identify that I was a part of a boost? Are, are you saying you were wearing a mask? No, I'm saying hypothetically, if the person was wearing a mask, do I have to write okay, well, what if they weren't wearing a mask? They yelled. They yelled your name as you were getting in the car, man. I should have brought mine. No one yelled my name and getting in a what car? Yes, they, yeah. they yelled your. They yelled Who? your name, man. Dundee did. He yelled your no name while you guys were driving around. I don't know he does do about. that actually. Well, he yelled out the everybody, Faye's name when she slashed the A lot of people yell my name, but that's not enough evidence to put on somebody. Like Plus, you're wearing the same exact stuff. Bison, I'd like to see that hold up in court. Someone yelling my name out in a city full of people? Come on, Bison. And then really? you're caught you with the people that were doing it, wearing the same clothes as the perp. What the stuff needed for a boost? I, I see your point, Tinker. <laughs> I see your point. I just think that you might not have what you think you have here. I, I played the fifth. One, two, three, four, fifth. That's probably okay. for the best, Tinker. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of my face, you fucking <laughs> criminal cops. <laughs> That's a good try, though. Through your mind. All right, fuel. Uh, you feeling like doing something groundbreaking? Okay. Um, so the SEU has been working in relation to whenever we subpoena people's phone records, uh, we receive uh, uh, tower identifications uh, in relation okay. to those uh, those phone calls that are made. It, it identifies several towers Ooh. that we're connected to, the strength of those signals, and based on that, we are able to Ooh. triangulate. Sometimes a precise location, sometimes a not so precise location uh, of where the phone call may have been made from. Um, on the date of Demi's kidnapping, approximately 15 minutes after she went missing, I received a telephone call from Erwin Dundee that he promptly hang up, hung up on as soon as I answered it. Mm -hmm. uh, that call was triangulated to the middle of the ocean directly north of Zancudo, which is uh, oh, exactly where she described she was surprise. Uh, so, if you would like to do groundbreaking stuff and things, uh, 
I'd be more than willing to testify about receiving that phone call, and I will talk to SCU about uh, us entering that as evidence. Okay. I'm down. I, uh, I emailed the information pertaining to that phone call over to you. Here's the real beautiful part. Irwin called me, which means I never had to subpoena his phone records. I just called <laughs> the judge and gave my own consent. Um, so Irwin, <laughs> Ir- Irwin's got no leg to stand on here because he can't complain that we violated his rights because it was my phone records that I pulled, not his. Okay. Perfect. Can you afford those Excuse to me when you have a chance? Yes. He also called me the other day while he was sitting on a rooftop after he put a bomb in a car. Oh. Is there a yeah, that was why I emailed you. Yeah. Is there, um... Uh, we... I didn't put in a report. Um... I was hoping that the next day you guys could have some kind of conversation and he would be willing to turn himself in in order to expedite the process of him getting uh, a court case and everything. Um, and he, you know, he opted to disable the bomb, Bass handled that part, and then we uh, were hoping that things would go well, but it sounds like uh, it did not happen. Given that he is now in custody after running for Three more days. Oh yeah, we tried to talk to his lawyer and sort something out, and uh, Dundee, I think it was the next day or the day after, said that he is not doing shit for a plea deal. Dummy. Yeah, it was uh, it was a very chaotic day the other day. Um, I was the only one who responded to his call. Yeah, I arrived uh, a little bit later when Reed got on scene. If you guys want to push something with that bomb situation, I can, I'd be happy to make a report. Um, I, I'm not too fussed about it though. Did anyone get pictures of the vehicle or anything? Uh, I, actually, hold on. Hey, little guy. No, not right now. <laughs> Come on, little guy. I don't think I did, uh, actually. Here, little guy. Yeah. I, uh, what happened was he called me and he told me he wanted to turn himself in. He told me where he was and it was right next to a big scene that was going on. Uh, so I, I went there and his car was parked in the parking lot where he said it would be. So I went up to it and then he called me. Uh, he wasn't in the car. He called me and he said, uh, look in the trunk. At that point, I was like, okay, well, there's a bomb in this car. Uh, so I looked in the trunk and I didn't really get a chance to take a picture because I was like horrified at what I saw. Um, wait, did I? I mean, even even with everything, your statement's gonna help um, prove that Dundee was pushing, like uh, using some kind of violence to get a plea deal that's just going to help strengthen the case because then the next day demi gets kidnapped i thought i had a picture i don't see it in my uh, it's just all about strengthening it if you want to put a statement of everything that happened into uh report 70920 can you die quieter which report uh one second, seven zero nine two zero. Seven zero nine two zero. Yeah, would would you be comfortable yeah. talking about that in Pretty court? That yeah, I absolutely can. Okay, I just, right. it was a very chaotic day. There was a lot of shootouts going on, and I didn't have a chance to do anything about it. And I was hoping that you know he'd guys, seriously, you guys did amazing deal with it in the proper way. So happy with how you guys handled that. I'm gonna be going back to channel two. Yeah, yeah. once we calmed him down. Yeah, he, de- he definitely did. Okay, all right, come down to MRP, and uh, we can meet with you to go over this if you want. Okay, all right. Yeah, I put a picture up at the meeting. I don't know where that picture is, though. I don't see it in my files. Where did it go? 
Dean, I am a witness in a trial and he kidnapped me to specifically get him. I'm both. Both. <laughs> yes. Yes, I was. Oh, did I get it? He wanted me to literally like- I don't remember where I got it, so let's just not and go down that route. <laughs> no deal. And then even prior to that, threatened to blow up Tessa if the warrant wasn't dropped, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Okay. Do you want me to put this in the reports channel or directly in the report? No. Uh, you can just put it straight in there. It's no okay. one's watching it at the moment. No. <clears throat> um, well, he is speaking to his lawyer right now. So I have everything written up. I'm just getting statements from Tessa because I didn't know that that all happened. Um, and you spoke to him on the phone about it all, yeah? Yes, I did. And he implied during that phone call that he was watching me. Okay. And you're okay if we pull your records for that? Yeah. Yeah, period? that's fine. And this would have okay. been Friday. I'm sure it's the day before this report. Yeah, we should have put it on the Friday. So he was... Just so that I properly TLDR this, he was literally threatening to set off a bomb... Uh, yes, quite, of quite literally. Because pressed against him. Uh-huh. Endangering the lives and property of the government. Yeah. So he doubled down on murder and said, why not get terrorism at the same time? I tried to tell him that. Um, he, he didn't really seem to care to listen, but he wanted me to delete the warrant, essentially. And I told him, you know, instead of doing that, why not just wait a day and talk to Demi because I'd already um, contacted Demi. The hut hold has been approved. Okay. So Do Grace is around. Hmm? You submitted all the paperwork and stuff? Yes. All right, sweet. Thank you. Uh, wait, well, no. he's not going to talk, so you may as well just ship him in and get, every, get everything slapped against him on the docket. And... Okay. All right, I want to wait to see his lawyer, and then I want to get all these extra charges added from the apprehension and with what happened to who is that? You're okay. Hey guys, Who is it? Come on, guys. This is the military? Probably Dundee again. Uh, Bundy, are you able to do what you did uh, with your records, the Tessa's records as well? See if that puts them at the same. Um, yeah, I could, I could theoretically do that as well. Yeah, um, he, he once, implied once on that records. call that he was on a rooftop watching. Yeah, once you get Tessa's records pulled, um, mm -hmm. just send them over to me and I'll, I'll see what I can do with them. Okay. Once we uh, chip Dundee off, I'll drop the subpoena and send Is that there... over. Sorry, did, uh, because I was busy filling up paperwork and stuff, what charges do you think would be applicable in Tessa's situation? Just because I want to get the stock it off like right now. Um, obviously, I want to press the second count of extortion. Um, I don't know if he had an actual explosive, though. Did he? I, I don't think he did. Um, it looked like a bomb, but me and Bass looked at it. And uh, after having a conversation with him, I think he had a phone call with Bass as well. And he may have told Bass not to worry about the bomb. So I, I don't know hey the guys. you'd have to ask Bass what happened with that, um, because he kind of took over the scene after I initially found it, and I asked him if we needed to worry about it, and he said no. So I would assume he went up to the car uh, and either disabled it or uh, determined that it was fake. I think for that one, we just go standard extortion, but use that as a building block onto the witness tampering. Okay. Yeah, I just added a second kind of extortion on there. Just because if we don't have pictures of the the car or the yeah. 
um, device itself than for just relying straight off off testimony. You know? I don't want to throw another hot charge on him for that. It'll be a good building block though. Also, I apologize if I'm frazzled right now. It's just there's, there's a little, there's a lot. <laughs> so I appreciate you guys being here. Sorry, I'm adding to it. Oh God, no! I'm sorry this happened to you. It, it was pretty freaky. I I was expecting him to actually, you know, turn himself in because he was talking like he wanted to just get it over with. Uh, and I I wasn't. I guess I don't know him as well as I thought I did. Uh. I didn't think he'd do that to me. Yeah, he, um, he's been wish-washing back and forth on it, uh, asking for a plea deal and then complaining about the time and then kidnapping Demi yeah. and then wanting a plea deal again. And then uh, he's, he's reached the fuck around and find out stage of things, I think, um, cause he's cumulatively going to have three held until trial charges pressed against him. So. Have the docket ready. I'm just doing first degree murder, witness tampering, extortion times two, attempted murder of an employee times eight, grand theft auto, reckless baiting, resisting arrest, and then what possessions did he have on him for this? So, class two, block 18C, um, he had two marks for police seizures and uh, five times bottles for oxy. Okay, criminal possession of fine class two, and then what was the second one? Uh, possession of uh, contraband. Uh, he only had degree. two of them. Third, is it? First, I can't remember. Well, he's only got two. Okay. And then. And possession of Oxy. Misdemeanor. Can't believe this idiot walked himself into another hot charge by doing dumb shit. Okay, for the statement of charges, I have on January 24th, 2023. Okay, I need to add those in here. Pardon this. Um, Tessa, what date were. 27th. Wait, 27th? Okay. How's it going? Yeah, class two was clean as well. Surprisingly. Okay, they're, uh, they're ready for us in there. Um, I'll be honest with you, paperwork aside, we can finish the paperwork after he's up. If he's looking at three hut charges, there's really not a deal we can cut him that's not like, I don't know, 30 years in prison probably. Wait, what's the third hut charge? I'm sorry. The, the terrorism on the Tesla was just- you think, Do you about. think that'll stick? I don't think that's gonna, because we don't have a picture of the vehicle or anything. 
Oh, or the we, device. Do have, oh, we don't have documentation of any of that. No. Yeah, not so really. So we've only got okay. we've only got officer um, testimony. So we're just going to go with extortion and use that as a building block to what he did the next day to Demi. Gotcha. Uh, I'm tampering. not even sure if the bomb was real or fake, Bundy. Uh, Bass was the one who handled it after I got there. Let's go handle him. I think he was just trying to scare me at the end of the day. Um, 620 is finished processing evidence. Am I needed anywhere else? Before I mean, yeah, we can, I we can figure that. I, I, well, I think extortion. I mean, he's, I just make sure you put a response. Uh, he's still like they have two compounding head charges and murder and witness tampering. So, I mean, mm -hmm. he, he's not going to get a deal that he agrees to. No, yeah, and, uh, no, and if no. you did any processing or evidencing, just put like plug in. Yeah, that's like, the sale. <laughs> we know what you did. You did something. Hey, right, let's let him know. We're making a left. Thanks, Tessa. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tessa. I'm sorry this happened. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm sorry you got <laughs> what you got it the happened. next day. I wish I'd talked to you sooner. Okay. <laughs> One oh four taking okay. comms eastbound Hello. San Andreas Avenue parallel to Cerberus Center going <laughs> underneath the time. continuing oh, southbound on. San Andreas. <laughs> Left on Elgin northbound passing old integrity okay, apartments. Left, 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 westbound Swift Street. Uh, I think he got everything. Left passing for the here, three uh, apartments uh, southbound yeah, power. Okay. What? Can change this active to channel one, channel one. What did Fred just say? Passing Benny's Jumpbound Power Street. Does your client fully understand uh, what is going to be happening? Have you explained this process to him? Uh, I've gone through a couple different processes. We're trying to we're trying to see what you guys are going to be doing, so I can be more specific. Right, I can read off the list of charges. One moment. Mm -hmm. That would be wonderful. Thank you. All right. As it stands right now, um, he is looking at. I'm just going to start from bottom to top because I think it's more practical that way. Uh, misdemeanor possession of a controlled dangerous substance for possession of oxy, possession of contraband in the third degree, criminal possession of a firearm class two, resisting arrest, reckless evading, grand theft auto, attempted murder of government employee times eight, extortion times two, kidnapping, witness tampering, and then the cherry on top first degree murder. What were the last three charges? I'm sorry, I have ADHD and I, I, the last three charges I tuned out outside of first degree murder. It was witness tampering uh, what? Witness tampering and kidnapping. Witness tampering and kidnapping. Uh, what was the witness tampering? And that was me when I was kidnapped and he tried to get me to drop all the charges against him. Drop the warrant. Uh, which case was he listed in for witness? Where were you listed as a witness tamper or witness for witness tampering? The current ongoing case, I am a witness on it. This, the charge this itself one... doesn't stipulate if the witness has to currently be listed on the docket or if it's an ongoing case. I'm willing to fight that in court. Can I have an argument for that? Okay. Uh, and if you're curious, the extortion times two, uh, one count wrapped up in the same situation, a second count in which uh, Ranger Tessa Lamb was involved and threatened with an explosive device. Okay. <clears throat> so, concerning all the other charges and but what we had been 20, discussing over the uh, last few days. Can they, are there any actors? The, 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 the conundrum Active that we're on, in uh, channel one, is but they have the, the time with the trial and posting. If I'm and it becomes a pressure on Mr. Dundee to just plead and get out within a time frame before the trial even happens. And I don't, I, I think he could agree that that's not fair for him. Because we're, we're, po we're having posting and trials, you know, 11, 12, 14 days from now. When he could literally just go to jail and serve the time and, and plead you know, nolo on everything and do less. And so I'm hoping uh, and asking that we can come to an agreement. Uh, we had previously agreed on 10 days and I, I would like, I would like to do seven, seven to 10 days. We discussed yesterday Ab about Absolutely the, not. Uh, we, seven days for a murder and a secondary witness tampering charges 
too low. Somebody somebody died. Um, we do, however, have 20 years and 20 years parole on the table. That's absolutely not going to happen. And that'll be that'll be more time than than it would take to get the docket posting. Uh, ten? Can we do ten days? That was discussed before the seven. I mean, that was discussed, you know, before eight of my officers got shot, and before I had knowledge that Tessa Lamb was threatened with an explosive device. Right. So I'm going to take the passive no as a direct no. I mean, I'm I'm amenable to a plea deal, but I kind of too low. Okay, right. we're we taking a trial, seeking a okay. bail hearing as soon as possible when they um, <clears throat> when the judge is available. Um, there is a judge available. I just got a phone oh. with uh, Justice Grayson. Uh, so if we do get him sent up, you can put in the request for a bail hearing, and um, you know Perfect. we can do that. Yep, I just need a phone. I'll call him right now so we can just okay. get everything said and done and over with. Okay. Uh, that means the next step of the process is that Erwin's going to be shipped up. Uh, okay. Sanders will get you out and get your phone back to you. Okay. Um, I, I want to make something clear, and this is going to be something that I advocate from, from my position. Uh, I understand that in most circumstances, people end up getting bail, but we will be advocating for no bail on this one. Uh, given not only the violent nature of Irwin's apprehension, but the prior kidnapping to that and the prior threats before that with the whole explosive thing. Um, I mean, given the fact that numerous opportunities were presented to him to turn himself in peacefully, negotiate for question. plea deals. I got a question. For me or for who? For, uh, for the lead prosecutor. Yes. I have a question as uh, as someone who is not admitting guilt or have any relation to what I'm about to say or have any involvement whatsoever at any point in time. As speculation. Yes, complete speculation. Nothing nothing real, just a complete imaginary. Mm -mm. Whoever did the first degree murder, didn't he do you a fucking favor? <laughs> he did you a fucking favor. Who the fuck cares? Who actually cares that that person died? What no, the heck? No one's mourning him. Who gives a literal fuck? It's a clown, a muppet, a loser. All he did was go around and kill people. He was a psychopath, a man who added nothing to society. Nothing was lost. Mr. Dundee, you, should be, you should be rewarding the person. Just to double check, Mr. Way. Dundee, are you, like, you were stating before that this is, like, for whoever did it, right? It's complete speculations, but is this your thoughts about the person that died? I have no comment. Are you Mr. sure? Dundee, Mr. Dundee and I discussed that very specifically and very, very directly, considering certain evidence that we've already seen and what will be presented at trial thus far. And we, we have come to the conclusion that... Uh, much has been said. Furthermore, Mr. Dundee doesn't actually have the evidence to go any further. And yes, he's called the Jackson, police. Isn't that being monstrous? No. Is that what one hire is? Oh, I just want to make sure I have the number correctly. Give me one second. So he was 478 attempted murders of government employees, which we know actually for the second degree murder. For that direction, for that matter, I don't even think he has manslaughter. Uh, are you. Regardless of this, I don't know if you saw it. <laughs> I don't really want to sit through the whole interrogation. Who is Churro? Oh, actually, hey, Tessa. Hello. Churro Gray. Who's who? Oh, apparently that's. Ask. It has a call sign and a gun. Dispatch, show the 941. Oh, mm -hmm. Special 599 operating under the nines. Yeah, I just don't think you realize that no one's ever treated me like that. Like, just a little thing. I don't think you ever realized that. You know, uh. Told you this. So a long, a long, long time ago, um, <laughs> I was courting oh, a woman. Oh, yeah. Right, sorry. And, uh, sorry. <laughs> most okay. women's parents won't, won't usually won't let her date a pirate, right? Because it's not really, it's not, it's not a real job. 
Um, hey, Tessa. But, you know, I like, I like, yeah. you know, dressed up. I came over to her house it, and uh, it was raining and I wanted to take her out. And so I opened an umbrella in front of her parents and I, I said, come on, I'll keep you safe. And I pulled her close and her mother went wild. She loved that. <laughs> she probably wanted a slice of you. I think so. I think, well, her mom was surprisingly young as well. Very, very good looking woman. Ah, uh, those are good times. Ahoy, Tessa. Hello. I'm sorry. Hey, sorry I was just listening to your conversation. You well, that's okay. Yeah. I don't care. Damn, Ooh. you're hardcore. Hell yeah. El Tezo. I've been to prison. I'm already hard. Me too. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, careful with those. Careful where you're swinging those things. Your arms, by the way. Yeah. Yes, I, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> what the heck? All right. Why did you put so much paper on this present? I never. Y'all fucked this I, present I, with oh all no. the glue and paper and shit. What did I'm you so get sorry. him? I thought I got him a, bir a Christmas present. And he still hasn't opened it. Because it, uh, you you were there. So much shit was happening that day. What that does day, the box look that day like? Was like Two weeks after. Uh, it's, well, now it looks like an amalgamation of tape, else, glue, uh, and purple wrapping paper. Probably wet. Dude. Well, have fun with that. Enjoy. Strawberry, black and color, two-door vehicle. Red one ten. You know what? I don't wait want y'all waiting on. I don't want y'all waiting no. on this here. I'll, I'll open it later. No, no, no. You should open it now. I spent 11 minutes wrapping that. Did you, did you get it from the prank store? Yeah, it's going to take him yeah. a long time to unwrap. Nine, I need medical <laughs> here. It's going to be by the... Uh, nice. Thing called yeah, it, it, it's been a while. He's, he's been trying to open Plaza. it for a month. I'm going to be in a park. This woman was uh, beaten. Uh, I, I hopped. I hit her. I'm a hopper. Is his 300? Oh, There's only. No, no, we're we're just leaving MRPD. Uh, oh, let me see. Oh, I got three. Dispatch, chill. Fred beating a woman. What else is new? EMS here. I don't. I, she's not talking. Twenty <laughs> there, Fred. What? Is she breathing? Yeah, she's breathing. Alpha eighty three seventy six. My car is so messed up right now, and I don't even know why. Are any of you EMS fucks on radio, or are you all like 10 to 7 in the courthouse? No, 83 is the news. Alright, copy, copy. What are you, like some type of fucking EMS party? They responded on radio, hello? <laughs> hey, Peach, how you doing? Doing your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. 10-3. Uh, send it. Uh, 10-3. Uh, 10-4. Uh... Nine? I can I can take a break and then I'll go back. No, I can I can get it. I can I can just pause it and then go back. I need to call people as well. Fuck me. It's it's just a kind of a big report, so I gotta I gotta actually do it myself. Thank you. Touch 45, send me catch up to a 
black and colored old shit. I cheap think people truck. are going to be using our chargers now as well. 1038 eastbound, uh, Mirror Park Boulevard. Yeah, so the lack of chargers. Here's crosses York Street. It's just LSPD charging. DPD and DPD, we, we share our own. Share. Huh? Shit, we keep two ten. It's like. Am I allowed to take up the charger now or no? Hello, Tesla. Hello. Okay. How are you doing? Okay. Good. How are you? Oh, oh God, ah! I'm I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Are you okay? I'm um, good. Pe peach, the ti time is this thing? Yeah, go ahead and send it. Uh, sh 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 shut the I'm front no door. longer Canadian. Excuse me? I'm glad to hear you've cured your affliction. Okay, I lost, Peach? I've, I've give up my Dad, Canadian. Do I get my money list. now? I'm three, Peach. I'm 30. You know... I got some karma at the oh, end of that day, by karma. the way. Send three, RTO. Well, I got oh, sent to trick. jail. Send them. What? Yeah, I got, um... They gave me contempt of court. Girls, My rights got cool. violated. What, what, yeah. Uh, what do you do in court? Well, I wasn't even in a courtroom when I got it. What the fuck? Yeah, the judge uh, arbitrarily decided something he said was a court order, and then he said I was in violation. And uh, he sent me to jail, and I got attacked. You don't want me to kill him? Which judge? No, no, don't do that. I'll that would be bad. You, I'll kill him if you want. Well, I'll, I appreciate the sentiment, time. but no thank you. Okay, well, you let me know. I'll kill anyone. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice to know. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, I got my karma for what happened, so don't worry. It was a karma. You didn't, you didn't deserve that, motherfucker. You know, I, I had, I had what happened to me coming. You know, I had. No, I had no. To... That wasn't supposed to happen. There you go, Tesla. Well, oh, thank you. you. I'm a, I'm a businessman now. Oh, you're a businessman. What's your, uh, yeah, what's your business? I'm, uh, so we starting up LNE, which is going to be like a record label, but yeah, also entertainment business for the city. And that way I can host my boxing matches legally now through a business. And oh. we, could do, we could do GG60 car washes legally, you know, and uh, charge it to the business. Just a general entertainment uh, company. Okay, well that's cool. I'm uh, I'm happy to hear that for you. Yeah, we're trying to keep, uh, you know, Keep spirits up in the city, do more events and stuff, have, have more fun. Okay, well, hey, we're, um, we're planning an event. The, the Rangers and the Scouts, we're wanting to do a fishing tournament coming up in the okay. next couple of weeks. So keep your eyes yeah. open. Let, let me know. If it's during this time, I, I'll be there. Yeah, it should be. I can't, I can't wake up earlier. I, I guess that's on okay. the beach, but, uh, you know, if it's late, I'm there 100%. Okay. One thousand percent. All right. I've been fishing like three times before. I caught like a, a big ass trout one time. It's gonna be a little different than normal fishing. We're gonna have some uh, kind of stipulations for it and and fun stuff added. Are you saying you this is extreme uh, fishing? Um. It's, well, um, we're going to be measuring all the fish, it's like a cod, and yeah, each yeah. kind of fish has different point values to it, and the size oh, of the fish shit. is going to matter. It's going to be interesting, and then there's a little bit of a, a foot race kind of aspect to it, oh too. God, stolen Ripley. Oh, stolen okay. Ripley. Yeah. Yeah, that, that'd be really cool. Yeah, so not just uh, going out there and fishing and seeing who right, can catch the most. Two it's two it's two a little bit more than one, that. One, uh, do I have to have my fishing license? Uh, you North would North need Palmino. one, but I might okay. be willing yeah, to make exceptions for the day for temporary uh, licenses. Yeah, because I, I don't think I can give license because I have a lot of Okay. 
Got Obviously a little bit of distance on me. Well, have you ever off, like uh, poached and stuff before? No, no, no. I work with the Polito pits. No, I never poached. Oh, well, I mean, you should be able to get a fishing license, no problem. Okay, I thought vine and filling these means you are. Nope, you can get a fishing license and a hunting license. However, with the hunting license, uh, if you don't have a weapon license, you need somebody else to go with you that has a weapon license. Oh, okay. No, okay, that's Because you can't use the gun. Yeah. Right, let's find out. So yeah, you can uh you can get those at any time. Okay. I'll, I'll get my fishing license renewed uh when the judge is awake and uh, yeah, I'll be ready for it. Okay. Well thank you. Okay, this Thank you. Have a good have a good day. Thank you for service. Westbound All right. Dispatch, can we get a channel? Off you have a good day at, too. Right at ease, soldier. At ease. Okay. Thank you. No problem, Tessie. You have a good Channel one is available. Oh, what's your state ID, bro? Yeah, I know. All right. Let's call uh, Thatch and Craig back. <clears throat> Barrett. Hey, congrats. Thank you. I was excited to win a bench trial with coaching involved yeah that's awesome i mean uh i, I remember my first ones i, I had a Are couple that were pretty gnarly yeah but uh the, the the main one was when i had somebody shoot a coyote on the fishing dock that they claimed it was self-defense oh was just running around oh my god Airplanes. Yeah, people were, are crazy. I mean, you think they can do a bench trial and get uh, away with uh, it? Nah. -uh. <laughs> I know this one was hilarious too. I wasn't even responding to shots fired. I was responding to a report of a motorcycle accident on Grosjean Highway, and he was probably about a tenth of a mile away from it, standing on a rock right on the side of Grosjean Highway, and I thought that's where the accident was. And so I stopped and I see him with a hunting rifle, and I'm like, "Wait, what are you doing?" And I pull over, engage my lights, hey, stop, and he takes off running. He makes it probably about 50 feet, and a cougar jumps out of the bushes and takes him down. Oh, oh no. <laughs> he, he tries to run, he drops the gun, drops some hunting rifle rounds, runs about 50 feet, gets run down by a cougar. I, you know, get a medical attention, because medics are already on the way, so they were there quick, because they were there for the motorcycle accident. And I look around, and I can see casings where he was standing, and there's a a Mesa Jeep on the side of the road. And I go and check the Mesa Jeep. It's got a tampered lock and it's got a deer pelt in the back. And sure as sure as hell, there's a, a deer park, uh, the remains of a deer left over on the ground next to projectiles from that hunting rifle. I was like, well, you're done. Well, yeah, there it is. <laughs> nice. So, well, yeah. Good job. <laughs> so, yeah. Apparently, none of the judges had seen hunting outside of a regulated area before. So they it's were uh, it's not very common up. these days. Yeah. Uh, I was excited. I wanted to share that with you because I was proud of it. Well, I'm proud of you. I think you did a great job. <laughs> Thank you, Ranger. All right, I'll let you get back okay. to it. All right. Um, oh, by the <laughs> way, stay safe. Uh, we're probably yeah. going to push back the fishing tourney thing uh, by about a week. Oh. So instead okay. of the 10th, it'll be like the 17th, I think. All right. Yeah, just FYI. Anyway. Yeah, no, I appreciate the heads up. Yeah, no problem. You take care. <laughs> Thank you, too. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Okay. Ahoy! Ahoy! What's going on, Madini? All right, sorry, sorry to bother you, Miss Lamb. That's I'm just okay. curious, uh, what did you do to my cat? Yep. Oh my God! You, your stupid cat. 
My stupid cat. I heard you had to take care of him. Well, if you must know, that cat got me put in prison. Okay, well, you deserve it for not taking care of Meow's beard, Tess. I trusted you. That's right, okay? And his name is Mouse Beard. It's not, it's not Mouse, it's Meow. No, it's Mouse it? Beard. Okay, fine. Maybe What's I just the name heard he came wrong. with? I mean, uh, maybe I named... Uh, <clears throat> Named him from. <clears throat> oh, okay. Well, listen. So, here's what happened. They had him in the interrogation, and they were trying to charge him uh, with terrorism for. Yeah, it was terrible. He's and a kitten. So, I know. He's so innocent. So I, uh, I made sure that they didn't do that, and I got him remanded into my custody by Bundy. And I think you weren't around at this point Got in the it. night, so I went uh, around and I was riding with him and I, you know, I was like, okay, well, he needs a fancy feast because he's a good kitty. And That's so right I took him around and I brought him to the, the restaurant, seeing if they had any ingredients that were safe for him. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody had any meat, so I went to the Corleone Steak Farm to see if they had any, like, ground beef or anything. Right. Oh, he loves ground beef. Yeah. Right. And Westbound. they stopped harvesting cattle, came and talked right. to me, and they gave him right. some food, and he was pretty happy. He was getting loved on. And uh, I got a phone call from Bill Mays, and he told me that I needed to make sure that this cat didn't go anywhere uh, near Parsons. And I told him, you know, I can try, but I can't guarantee, you know, he's... Uh, He's his own person, and sometimes right. animals get away from you. Know, like like right. Uh, you know, be it, uh, whether they just kind of yeah, squirm out of your arms, or, uh, out escape out of a, a, a little area that you can, don't think they're gonna squeeze right. through. He's so wriggly, he, and, he loves getting away. Well, you know, also, I've had people come and sabotage my enclosures at Beaverbush, so... What? Yeah, so I, I have exotics there, and that's a major issue. And so I, I told him, you know, I can try, but I cannot guarantee. Especially after I've gone to sleep, you know, somebody could do something crazy. Yeah. And he acknowledged that, and he said, okay. And then as I was hanging up the phone with him, somebody shot the, their hunting rifle at one of the cows. And that spooked him, and he ran off. And he hid in the field by the cattle farm. Uh, I don't know where he went after that. I lost track of him. I I would have spent the rest of the night looking. However, uh, when I called Bill to let him know what happened, he uh, had me arrested for contempt of court. That's ridiculous. Yeah, That's silly. So... Bill made it sound so much worse than it is. You, you sound like a, a, a saint. You tried to take care of a little mouse beard. And I, I, if anything, it's his fault that nothing, you know, I couldn't find him. Bills? Yeah, because I got put in prison yeah. and I, w I was sent into the ICU by the blocks who were in prison with me at the time. Oh my God. So, you know, it's kind of his fault that... I wasn't able to continue searching for him, and I don't know where he could be at this point in time. I'm, I'm sure he's safe. He's well, yeah, he, uh, he seems he's very capable. Lives outside. Yeah, he is. And he's you know, he little, was at a farm, so quite frankly, I think he's in the best place he can be. Okay. Thank you, Tessa. I'm, I'm so glad to hear that from you. I'm sure he's okay. He's a, he's a survivor. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry that he got away from me, and and that all this happened. And he's not stupid. I'm sorry. I just. No, he's not yeah. stupid. He's just a little guy, you know, and you know how they can yeah, be. Yeah, and I was worried because everybody was treating him like he was this evil demonic creature, and he's just a cat. He's just a little kid yeah, cat. he's just a normal cat. Your everyday cat. Yeah. <sighs> That's so good to but, hear. Okay, Tess, I'm sorry you went to prison because of the, my cat. Well, I went to prison because of Bill Mays, not the cat. Okay. I got it. Uh, northbound. All right. Well, uh, yeah, I agree. You're right. Heck, what Bill did Mays. Bill say to you? Uh, he said she mistreated the cat. 
she took him out to a cattle farm and someone shot and she forced the cat to run off okay well really nasty i did take him to the farm but i in my defense i didn't think they were going to continue murdering the cows in front of him yeah and i know they were going to do that i would have kept him in the car well i think he was also afraid because orabel shot a cadet in front of him oh yeah in the armory when i told her to go get a vest uh told her to go get one of doug the drug pugs vests for him so that he could uh so he can go out on duty with her. Well, I guess she just shot her cadet for whatever reason. That's not important. We that's that's been dealt with. What the heck? Yeah. All right. Well, that okay. clears a lot of things up for me, Tessa. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Don't All listen right. to Bill. He's lying. Yeah. He's a. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm taking Have a good him rest to court. of your night, Miss Lamb. All right. You too. Goodbye. Love you. Bye. That's Rockford's code for. <laughs> Uh, Talon, by the way, thank you for the 46 months. Welcome back. And Train, thank you for the 15 months. Welcome back as well. I'm guessing they said all the way northbound. Or we could probably use, probably use that slander under the civil suit? Nah. Hess has been talking as much smack as he has, so. I do have a white e wagon on Clinton. Stand by. He's on Clinton right now. Failing to yield. Does it end in Victor 688? A firm, I've got a right south. All right. right. See, this is the one. I believe we have four. You have the gray, the gray G wagon is sending it north. Right now. All right, we're going to be west on Clinton. We're going to go PBS on everything. Isn't this where Babis is? A plus, yes. A. Copy. Video channel three is clear for the city. Oh, God. <laughs> what the heck? Did you guys hear that? I have played this game for like five and a half years and I have never heard that voice line before <laughs> ew look how creepy Interrupted a congregation. Be here all night, don't worry. <laughs> this is 
the person chasing the white jeep channel? Three. Ten four, thank you. Dispatch, show the 37 code 4, 495. I think you'll find that you are the one who smells Effie. It was you all along. Hotel 6976, ladies, 911. Oh, God, what is that? <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> How's the expo? It was good. It was good. Um, I got what I needed to do done. Met some new people. Really nice people as well. Um, picked up some cards and things. I'm just looking at a wall now. Oh god. Uh I didn't see anything that I couldn't live without though. I was um I did come pretty close to picking up a rescue, but I'm not in the position to take that yet. Um there was a little green keel-bellied lizard which is a species i've been looking to pick up and she was heckin adorable she's a juvenile uh but she's a rescue situation uh she had stuck shed on her tail and uh the lady who had her was trying to find her a place and i'm pretty sure that if i had opted into it she would have just given her to me um but I am not in the position to take on a rescue right now, and also I just don't know if I have the time or the know-how with that species because it's a new species to me, and I'm not super familiar with um, lizards like that. Um, I have gecko experience, but not necessarily lizard experience, um, and they are different. They do have different needs. So I think if I do pick one up, it needs to be something a little more well established rather than starting with one that's potentially going to have problems. Um, she last one I, I just don't trust myself to have the knowledge to take care of her properly. And uh, she needed to be worked with a lot. Uh, for, for like socialization so that she could be handled because due to her shedding issues she needed uh, help cars. obviously and the lady said that anytime she picked her up um, three, three, we're, we're more of the tail would southbound. be problematic uh, so it kept it was like a perpetuating issue because um, she was just so scared when she got handled and um, yeah, it, it just was not ideal, and I, as much as I would have loved to have her, I just don't know if it was a good idea, so I decided not to. 
Um, but it did kind of make me feel like I do want them down the line. Um, I think once I get my gecko business established and I'm actually like vending and I know a little bit more about what I'm doing, uh, I might look into uh, getting a breeding pair. We have someone who was involved in witness tampering and kidnapping Demi earlier. We got an active 80 westbound route 68 leaving the prisons. The black and color two doors and Z's Abdullah. Because they're Thank becoming you. more popular now. So like a two -door, um, like a type of and game. I'm curious if I can do the, it. Uh, bank, uh, in Harmony. I'm in the city, so I'll be a little bit. Yeah, but I definitely want to look into the species a little bit more, and maybe someday. Continuing Route 68, we're passing the hunting store now. I had a big 80 with some, or a big 50 rather. I'm going to lose him. He's continuing westbound Route 68. He's going to be heading to Zancudo. If you want to come up Great Ocean, we had two-door black car. He's uh, wearing a suit with an orange jacket. Radio check. Check. And two. All right. Yeah, I was coming up here. I just assigned you to the card for this uh, 71. Uh, did you find anyone? Uh, where exactly was it? Uh, it's going to be the active card up in dispatch. It's near my 20 right now, right off of, uh, what's this, Calafia near Stab City. Away from, I didn't, uh, I didn't see anyone going up there, but I, I didn't look that far down, I don't think. Yeah, no problem. I'll, uh, check the area. Actually, no, I got them here. It's going to be a G-Wagon and a couple of, uh, Sand Kings. Away from. But yeah, it's uh, definitely something I want to look into eventually. I didn't see any geckos that I couldn't live without, uh, aside from two that were overly expensive that I cannot afford in any capacity. Yeah, I'm going to be out with four. <clears throat> Tessa! Hello! <laughs> How are you? Tessa. Hi, Tessa. I'm good. How are you guys? Yeah. Hey, Tessa. All right. Got them all. Doing all right, I'll good. start running them. Tessa, can he, are you a veterinarian as well, maybe? Uh, I'm not. Why listen, do you need a vet? You do like magic. Listen, I, we started hunting, right? And I just... I got a little trigger happy, and I thought that was a coyote before I actually fully looked. And he he's okay. I think he's breathing, but he's just been chilling over there. I didn't know if you knew any, like, you know, techniques. Poor little dog. You shot a dog? I, 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 shot, a I, I dog. shot him in the wag. I didn't mean to. Um, yeah, I was just... Oh, know, my God. I Yeah, I felt bad. You think we could help him? Take him away. Where no, is he? What? Oh, he's right here. You see him right here. Oh. His name's Edward. You shot him? Yeah, I named him after. I felt bad. Oh, your dog's so pretty, though. I won't shoot it. Did you, did you call anyone about this? Uh, no, I was going to throw one in, but I forgot to. But wait, I, 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 to. I, didn't, I didn't touch it. I just... No, I, I was nervous. I felt bad. I know what to oh do. Oh my god! I, told you to do I know. I thought you did it. Okay, when you said that. <laughs> what? Just FYI, one of them's Malachi Anderson. He has do a new no W2. Don't just, listen to this guy. Kind of been he lying lies. Here. What'd you say, Miles? Tessa, I'm sorry. I promise. I think he's okay now. I think I just hit him in the way. Yeah. He's been napping here. I heard him snoring a couple of times.
Well, let me check and see if he's alive. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, Edward, please. They didn't see me. I gave him CPR one time, but like, I smelt his breath. I think he's good. You, you shot him and you tried to give him you. CPR? Yeah, like after like the second time he came down, I was like, let me just, you know, try to give him a little CPR because he, he, I saw his leg move a little and I smelt his breath. So I think he's just tired. How is... Miles, nobody asked you, man. How is CPR going to help a bullet wound? What do you mean? And CPR that's why he's not medically briefing. trained. Yeah, I just, I tried stuff, man. That's why I asked Tessa. The hell? Can you do a okay? manual check on James Thompson for hunting license? It's listed in the tags, but he doesn't have a definition in his MDW profile. <laughs> Hold on, I'm checking on the dog. He's got a dog uh, over here. It's down. Are these the dog murderers for the other two dogs? How is he, Tessa? Your dog sounds sad. I'm so sorry. I don't know. It wasn't me. Oh God. <laughs> I gotta call a vet. Okay. Okay. Oh my God! There's vets around. Holy shit! Hello. Hey, Quimbley, I need your help. What happened? I need, um, I got a dog here that's been shot in the leg. Oh my god, where? It's, uh, hey, we're out in the hunting zone. Yeah. Do you want me to tell... Oh my god, okay, yeah, I am on the back of a sanitation truck. Sanitation. I'm about to be okay. back at a car right. in like five minutes. Uh, five Sophia minutes. is also around. If you want to call her, she might be able to get there before me. Oh god, okay. Yeah, I'll try Sophia, and if she isn't there, then I will rush my ass up there. I'm gonna call Kiki. I'll see if she can come. Yes, if Kiki's around her okay. too. All right. Okay. Okay, goodbye. Okay, bye. Yes, my love. Kiki! Tessa! I need help! Okay, what's up? There's a dog. It's been shot in the hunting zone. It's on my <gasps> oh! 20. Are you available? Uh, hang on, hang on. Let me find you. Let me find you. Let me. Ah! Yes, let me get a life flight and I'll head up. He got him in the leggy. Oh no! Okay, well, hold pressure to it, okay? Okay. I'll be there soon. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Are they gonna. Are they on the way, Tessa? Yeah. I gotta yeah, hold pressure. All. Okay. So, you thought this was a coyote? Yeah, it wasn't. So, these glasses are prescription. I had them off, and, uh, you know, I attest to it. Probably shouldn't have had them off. Why did you take your glasses? I was uh, drinking a coffee. I had a burger. I ate it in two bites. Pretty proud about that. Uh, not really any meaning to it, but I, had one, I was proud about it. And then I pulled my gun out. My hand was a little greasy, and then I just shot pretty quick. And I was like, oh. And then they all yelled at me, and I was like, yeah, that's as bad. That hamburger was good as hell, though. But I feel like shit because of this. Cause especially like if Wiley finds out, hopefully she doesn't. Oh, I took a She'll picture. Oh, I think she's going to find out. No, please, Tessa, so please, I'll do anything. She's gonna, she'd probably break up with me, please. I'll do anything. I'm telling her myself, I took a picture. This poor oh. dog. Well, this guy might get killed by a deer, a wild deer attack when we get done hunting. It's crazy. Oh, well, yeah, they Deers do are, that. Yeah, they, no. That's scary sometimes. They get, like, they pull out guns and shoot people. It's weird. Scout, look away. Scout's so sad. I'm sorry, Scout. Just don't look. The fuck? Oh, no. Oh, Scout, I'm sorry. Fuck.
So Tessa, how's your day been? You're probably upset with me right now. It's understandable. Well, so far so good, I guess. It's gonna be okay. I don't know where Kiki is. Oh no. I swear to God, though, if I look around this scene and I see anything uncouth, you won't. we're all going to be in trouble. You guys understand that? Yes, ma'am. You won't. Yeah, yeah. You can go ahead and look around. You can check the pills and everything as well if you want. Well, I'll let my partner take care of that, but I'm, uh, I'm going to stay with the doggy. I just need to double check your uh, your physical hunting license to update the information on our system. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, just share it with me. Where is she? They don't expire, do they? Uh, some do. Uh, most everyone's does, but if your grandfather in, yours won't. And that's the problem is they they have you listed as one, but they have you listed in the same manner that expired people do. So I'm trying to get the physical. Right, there you go. Verify that it's issued by Alice Thompson and it's been two years ago now yeah so they do it twice now oh, okay yeah but yours doesn't because your grandfather oh hell yeah and how do you spell your last name just wanted to check your uh M-A-L where's she at should I call her again Tessa gotcha alright that is I don't know. Fuck. Buddy, please. Right, you're good. I figured y'all would like that. I just try. I, I like to keep it documented in there. In your information. Yeah, no worries. Because otherwise, Make sure you work on that memory card. Dog shitter. <laughs> well, regardless, he's a, he's also a liar. you're in trouble, Mister. Wait, what? Tessa, really? What's gonna happen? Well, first of all, you fired your gun when you didn't know yeah. what you were firing at. That's a problem. Second yeah. of all, he, wants to talk to you. he almost killed a protected species. That also Third of true. all, you didn't call 311 to let us know what happened, even if it was an accident. That is true. I don't know why I thought I thought he was calling it, but I was. I wrong. told you to. I, mean, I just I, it might, I I just thought you were gonna do it, but it's on me. I'm not I'm not blaming you. It's my fault. Yeah, it's it's partially all our fault, to be fair. Have you ever had a hunting infraction? I think the one time I did was, uh, it was a questionable one. It was about two years ago. It was me, why we and Jack Cortez. We were hunting, and uh, Mangler showed up and I end up having a DUI and some other stuff and I drank like one beer like seven hours prior so <laughs> that, that was a wild thing I think that was the only time I got like caught for hunting or something like that but I think Jack didn't have his license and we were like accessory to it or something it was a wild day. I think that's the only hunting infraction I've ever had I've done some bad stuff in the past but I haven't been to jail in a long time and I've kind of cleaned up my act but I know shooting a dog isn't really, you know, it's, it's pretty fucking bad, so I feel like shit, so. There she is. Back and save. Scott, I'm sorry, buddy. Actually, I mean, hunting's been wild, though. I was like, one night we were out here, there was like a ghost out here. We got like possessed. It was me, <laughs> Wiley, and Winda. Winda got possessed and like tried to stab. Actually, she stabbed me. Why we like? I think she beat Whoa. her up or she ran away. It was like it was like a, a hunting ghost. I'm pretty sure it was at this exact spot. It was. That was scary as hell. I didn't come back for a couple months after that. Actually, kind of. 
I kind of shit my pants a little, but I didn't tell anybody. But yeah, it was a little scary. Well, usually when I get reports of the ghost, it's a little further down the uh, the trail, but uh, I don't know. I I do yeah, because like, it was here, and then I think we walked over towards that hill across the tracks right there on the top up there. And then we, oh, yeah. We heard it there, and then it, it was like from here we went to there, and then it got worse, and we came back. It was just like, that was a wild ass <laughs> night. <laughs> it was like scary. It was scary than all, you know, me getting stabbed with a knife was like oh, yeah. cherry on top. <laughs> oh my god. I did not Guys, hear please. the hell. I didn't either. I just heard him wait. <laughs> please save Edward, please. Hi. Trump's he got shot in the leg, and I think oh he's breathing and stuff, but he doesn't look very good. No. <laughs> that like guy thought it was a coyote. Yeah, I did. I, yeah, I made oh a big God. mistake. I know. Shooting without your glasses on after eating a burger, I ate it in two bites. So you guys know. But, um, I don't... Oh, my goodness. Don't do anything, Kiki. Two uh, can you just keep good. making sure he stays breathing, you know, so... Yeah. Edward, please. Um, I do have a, a med kit here. This is an IV with safe medication for him. It's gonna go in his front paw. He's really proud of the two-bite burger? Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, baby. One small person, by the way. Thank you for the 36 months. Welcome back. Hey, Tessa, do you think Puppy. Scout's not going to like me anymore? I don't know. He might be a little scared. Damn, that's understandable. <laughs> Shit. I feel bad. I can't believe somebody... Who, who would shoot a poor innocent dog? Well... Honestly. Yeah, Miles. He's already started. admitted to it. Don't you dare. You're already oh. playing to them. Yeah, it was me, guys. I, listen, so I, I could tell you guys a story if you want. Maybe it was like prescription glasses. You know, I didn't have them mm -hmm. on. I ate the burger in two bites. It's crazy. And then uh, went up the there and I pulled the gun out. Thought it was a coyote. It was Sorry, a pretty good nice. shot, but not a good shot to be proud of. Uh, I think a little yeah, right. I black was, and open. My friends all yelled at me and... I felt like shit. Who's is the Black Sand King? This is Malachi's. Yes. Oh, Could you go you unlock it, please? Thank you. Hi, Scout. Hey, baby boy. What a cutie. Oh. oh. Wait, Scout's gonna help. I I don't think that's helping. I think that's Madge. I think that's Madge. I, I think yeah. he's really Madge right now. I'm sorry, Scott. I'm sorry. Yeah, you let him know, Scout. You let him know, bro. All right, let's get some bandaging around his leg just to make sure he doesn't lick it up. Okay. God damn, they have enough space in here to carry, like... I'll see you out taking him to the animal hospital to recover. Okay. Why is Riv calling me? That's my boy, Scout. That's my boy, bro. Maybe I'll... Oh, they found the lo Oh what? my god, what? Ow! That's incredible. Riff, one second! Okay. So he's all bandaged up. I'm gonna get him to the animal hospital. Okay. So he can recover there. And we'll um, try to find the owner! Yeah, it must be uh belong to one of the locals around here somewhere. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. I just I just see the car. I just saw the name on the car. I don't see anything else, but yeah. So he must belong to somebody. Yeah, it's a strange name for a dog. What are you looking at, brother? Do I have something on my face? Okay. <laughs> I have him in my arms. I'm watching you. I'm watching yep, you're watching him. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, yeah, yup. 
I don't want him to try to finish the job. No, I would never. Thank you guys so much. Okay, I'll get him in the helicopter. Thank you, Tess. Hey. Thank you, Tess. Uh... Oh, Tess, do you want to yeah. see the progress in the house at some point? Okay. Yeah, I'll you show you. Put dog shooter in his MDW profile. I don't blame you. <laughs> All right. Oh God. I'm gonna look around here and look to see if there's anything I need to question. Yes, yeah, ma'am. Yes. You should question how the okay. hell a deer got on top of that light sign. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. The, a deer did manage to get on Where? top of what? the lights. Where? What? On top of the, the light, light signal on top of the train track. Yeah, with the wagon. Over here. Everything seems on the up and up out here. It was like on top of it. Like up the water. <laughs> Only one of them doesn't oh, have a Oh, did not. He, he I swear to God. You guys, what the heck? <laughs> it was that deer had talent out. and you just... I know, that deer, I, we what the heck is wrong with y'all? We probably could have made a lot of money with that deer. Think about it. Think of climbing oh, ladders. I didn't shoot and it. you no. killed it. Right. You're Good like, job. That was, that was James. I don't even You're have a gun. Yeah, you see something that's out of, like, extraordinary and... Uh, we should have taken a selfie with it first. Got that. Or just not killed it. I know. It's true. You skinned it too, Malachi. Oh, what? Malachi. What the... <sighs> How'd you problem? even get up there? There's a ladder. Uh, well, that's you probably how the deer the got up there. The you killed a deer that knows what? how to use ladders. I know. That's a, that's a million dollar idea. Fuck. I killed him on it. I, uh, I kind of feel bad. They, <laughs> apparently, there's a ladder. But I'm just shocked that they murdered it after they saw it up <laughs> there. Ladder, the ladder's right here. I mean, I don't know. Tess, I would probably murder a deer that could climb a ladder myself. I wonder what else it could do, actually. What That's do you true. mean? Scary, it had talent. Imagine that, well, imagine that deer had wasting disease or rabies or something, and that thing could climb ladders. I like it that idea. Terrifying. That's true. That's no. True. Yeah, it is. That is true. Hop down, Miles. I, I, I did it. It's fine. I see one little thing out of place here. We're going to have a problem. Yeah, I've looked all over the place. Uh, I'm pretty satisfied with what I see. All right. I opened up every single dodo box they have, looking at every trunk. It's all clear. Uh, the only question I do have, uh, and one I didn't actually know, is so if somebody, they're they're innocent of this, but it made me think <clears> of it. <throat> if somebody doesn't have a, a hunting license, but mm -hmm. they're partnered with somebody who does, obviously the one who has the hunting license can do the shooting. Can the one without the license do the skinning? Can they clean the animal? Technically, no. Uh, I don't have an issue with it. As long as nobody's doing anything dumb. Yeah. Uh, personally, I'd prefer if they all had their license. However, yeah. I don't mind it. Do you know why they didn't have their license? Uh, she, well, she didn't have a weapons license. It's, it's my fiance. I took her on a hunting trip, but I did all the work. Oh. She just tagged along with me. Oh, okay. I mean, if she doesn't have a weapon license, that's fine. But if she has a hunting license, she's fine to do whatever. Nah, she just never bothered getting a hunting license because she didn't have a firearms license. And she was like, what's the Oh, point? okay. Yeah, she should uh, She should go get her hunting license. That's something she can do even uh -huh. without one? Yes. So she can do everything with a hunting license except for shooting. Uh, okay. 
so technically to do, you know, to skin the amino and, and to dry the pelts and, and all that stuff, you do really need a license to do so, because we have tags and whatnot. Um, I just would recommend that she has one. I'm personally not going to do anything to somebody if they don't. Uh, as long as they're if accompanied they're, by Yeah, if they're accompanied by somebody. Right? Um, but anyone else actually could, and I don't want her to get in trouble. Yeah, that's fair. Because it's, it's sort of a discretionary thing, and if somebody's wanting to be a poop head, then they, mu they might be able to. Yeah, that's understandable. Yeah, I just she she was telling me about it, and I had honestly never done hunting before, so you I don't, figured I want to learn all about it. I will say you don't need a license to possess uh, a deer pelt or anything like that, or meat or any part of the animal. It's just mm -hmm. the act of uh, placing the bait, skinning the the animal, and and all that. That's the problem. Yeah. Uh, possession doesn't matter so long as it's not an illegal pelt. Right, and we'd be able to prove that with bloody hands. Yeah. Yep, which is how I proved and, it in court. you know, where they are. Like, if somebody's at Burger Shop and they have a pelt in their car, you can't get them for uh, hunting without a license or hunting outside the zone or anything like that. Because all they have is a pelt. Right. They could have bought that the makes pelt sense. From, yeah, yeah, they could have bought it from somebody who did it right. And that's completely fine, as long as it's not a mountain lion pelt or a dog or something. Right, a lawfully owned pelt. Yeah. And unless they're unless they were walking around with bloody hands on them, and we swabbed the hands and matched the DNA that was on their hands to the animal DNA of the pelt or something like that. Yeah. But... And I mean, at that point, I still wouldn't even <laughs> really do that, just because it's not really in my jurisdiction. Like, there's not really a need. Mm -hmm. But if you're really looking. For a reason. <laughs> if I need a reason to arrest It's one somebody. of those, like, jaywalking sort of situations. You don't have to, but it, you can. Yeah, you can use it as PC if you need. Mm-hmm. All right, sounds good. Oh, I guess we I can let them should get tell them they're free to go. Yeah, yeah we can let them know they're, they're done. Malachi. Yes, ma'am. I hope we learned a valuable lesson today. A very valuable lesson. I feel like shit. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Thank now you in for the future. The here, yes, ma'am. In the future, make sure you know what it is you're shooting at. Yeah, I'll make sure I have my glasses on. Don't hundred percent of the time, right okay? Because you never know. There's weirdos that come up here and dress like reindeer you gotta like, really, really look yeah, I've seen I, in the I, it's I've seen literally that's happened oh. let's does do that a good bit I yeah i want to shoot what's in the what do we what but so okay. just always sure. make sure you know what you're shooting at because the next time it might be a person that you shoot instead of a, a dog or, or something like that and then you're looking at murder True, that's true. Would it be wet to know? Like, it could be anybody. It could be anybody. Okay, that won't, yeah. I'll make sure I, I look before I, you know, identify before mm. I fire fire. And if you do have an accident up here, you have to call 311. It's not yes, your friend's responsibility if you pulled that trigger. It's yours. Yeah, Miles, you here? Don't you put this what? shit on just... me. I'm telling that to you, Malachi. Oh, oh okay, okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Because you shot the gun, okay? You're the one who yeah, did that's it. true. And you told one of your friends to do the call. He didn't do it. He wasn't obligated to. Now, whether true. or not you want to not be friends with him anymore is up to you, but he could have gotten you in some big trouble. I told you to call it. That's true. He did try to help me. Just yeah. Help me. So, I, I understand accidents happen, but what I'm not going to understand next time is if this happens again, you're not calling through in one. Yes, ma'am, I understand. I gotta go. Understandable as well. Tessa, thank you so much. Yeah. I'm sorry, and thanks for helping Edward yeah. out. All right. 
Will you no, guys be oh, safe? Hey, Scott, okay. listen, okay. I'm, I'm not a bad guy, I promise. Don't hate me. Scott, probably he hate probably hate me right now. Right now. Whoa, he would never... Wait, can he do that? Oh, no, he would. He 100% would. Wait, really? Oh, no, yeah. He's, he likes Oh, he's me. a biter. I... No, hey, buddy. He's out on. for blood. He looks so nice, though. He wouldn't bite me, would he? Hey, buddy. He 100% would. I, I wouldn't really... Oh, I think I still have some burger, like... I gotta wash my hands. Okay, I probably should back away. Scott. Um, I'm scared now. Okay. Well, y'all be safe. Tessa, thank you. Also, what's your name, brother? Uh, Craig. Craig Barrett. Oh, Barrett. Thank you. All right, brother. Well, appreciate you as well. And I am so sorry to cause the inconvenience. And thank you guys for saving Edward. You know, more than anything. Yeah. So. No problem. It's what we're here for. Appreciate his cooperation. Sorry, we burned the whole night for mm -hmm. you. No, well, yeah, shit, sorry, guys. You guys, you guys, fault. you guys saved the night. I ruined the night by, you know, yeah. shooting a dog. You guys did it burn the night. Malachi did. Oh, I can try to pet him. Pet, Tessa, I try to pet him. I don't think he'll bite. I, no way. Uh, no, I don't know. He's a working bite. dog. He shouldn't. He shouldn't okay, really okay, pet him. Okay, 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 okay. He Thank he lives you. with me and my girlfriend, and he even bit her for petting him out of turn. So. Oh my God. I understand. I'm gonna stay my distance then. He also bit PD Toe once. Wait, really? Yeah, that's, not, that's not. Yeah, yeah. True. that's true. I mean, it is just PD Toe. Depending on who it was, yeah. So maybe maybe Scott oh. doesn't like the color orange. Is that maybe unless they had like a gray vest on instead of an orange vest? No, he's just uh he's a diversity hire, so he sometimes has problems uh differentiating between me asking to sniff somebody and uh. Attacking them. Oh, can can you ask uh, Scott to sniff? You know, James or Miles. No, that's not necessary. What? No. Oh, what okay. He sniff you for the burger. I mean, he'll. he'll that's true. He'll I do got the, that's for sure. my my hand smells like a little bit of the burger. No, that's he's true. well disciplined in that regard. He doesn't get food he doesn't deserve. But. Oh, okay. He's so like. It's, he's just so trained well. He's not moving at all, but I feel like he'd probably kill me if he told, you know, if I did anything. Okay, I'm. Hey, buddy. James, I knew he was mad at you. See? Oh, see? He's so nice. Hey, but. Oh, okay. Listen. Hey, Scout. Oh, my God. His teeth are huge. Holy shit. Yeah, look at his face. He, he does look Oh, angry. my God. Oh, and he a jumps his face. teeth like oh, he could bite a hole in my arm and oh my god, could take hey, the you're so cute, Scott. Rip and tear till it is done. Wait, what? Jesus, what? Tessa. Oh no, 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 never mind. He'll mess you up. Oh, I I believe it. I think his teeth are like Come two, on, three scout. inches long in the front. Hey, Scott, have a good one. All right, Tessa. Get Bear, thank you, brother. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you all again. Y'all be safe out there. Hey, Ranger, uh, check the 311. It's up to you. Uh, I just let them know I was out with you. They're asking about a dead <laughs> cat in MRPD. I told them to call a vet first, and then I'll notify you. What? You I'm not a veterinarian, gosh dang it. Well, I know. That's why I thought right. they were like, should I call a vet or a Ranger? And I was like, well, call a vet first, and I'll notify 270. Okay. So they're calling a vet. I'll go but check it out. All right. Thank you, Ranger. Uh huh. All right. Hello. I'm here, Tessa. Oh, I don't like too. you, and you don't like me. That much is certain. But I okay. got a deputy that needs driving school. Are you available? Uh, I will be after I check out this situation at Mission Row. There's apparently a dead cat. A dead? Who cares? It's just a fucking cat. It's, no, a it's important. It in the trash, I gotta go, go buy another one. What? Nah, 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 no, I need to find out who it killed throw this it cat. Into the fucking trash and then go get another one from the pet store. Oh, uh, why don't I do that next I time I find do. you lying somewhere, huh? Well, I'm a, I'm a human being. I'm not a cat. Well, could have fooled me. Hey, um, Saul, why don't you go find uh, Tessa? You're going to drive it's in Saul? school. Yeah, it's Saul Leesman. Uh, okay. What do you mean, okay? What, what, do you not like Saul or something? Well, why does he need driving school? What happened? 
What do you mean, what happened? Did something happen, or are you just ragging on him is, for bad right, driving? What, what, what's, what's with the fucking interrogation here? Are you going to fucking do the driving school shit I just for need to know what I'm getting just into, so, so I'm not going to die. I'm just asking. Are you... Uh, what's with the million questions here? All right, I'm your boss. He needs driving school. I'm trying to give you some fucking money. All right, hippie? Uh, excuse me. Now, he's coming okay, to well, meet first you down of all, you are not my boss when it comes to the driving school. I'm not your boss when it comes to driving school, but I'm trying to give you some fucking money. You think I need money? Yeah, you need money. Of course you do. Look at <laughs> you. You don't even eat enough. I have $2.7 million. Oh, really? I have 10. I would. I'm sure you do. I do. All right. Well, whatever. Uh, yeah, I I'll... got bailed out by the previous mayor. I'm recognized as a hero in Los Santos, and the state wouldn't keep me in debt, so I had my debt removed, and then I signed a $10.5 million television deal. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. All right. Well, you have a good one uh, there, hippie. Saul, so I'll come and said... find you. Yeah, yeah, Saul. Okay. For the f fifth fucking time. Saul. Okay. God, I hate you, Tessa. No, yeah, well, frick you too. You know, hey, hey, I gotta ask you a question. Has what? Has Kiki Pendragon ever told you that I ocean dumped her since the court case? Because if yes? she has, I'm gonna sue. All right, well, would you? Well, I'm gonna need you to testify to that in court because I'm gonna sue Ooh. her for defamation. I was cleared of all charges. She can't go around defaming my character like that. So I need you to testify against your girlfriend in court. What? You're doing a defamation case? How yeah, long I can't after? Have her telling, I, I can't have her telling people that I ocean dumped her after I was cleared on all the charges. It's bad for business. It's bad for my character. I was not found guilty of one crime. Hey, maybe so, you should have so done that. So what if I that, was up there? You should have done that a long time ago. No, no, I have to build the case up. It's going to be a class action. I'm going to have, that's... I'm going to have like 30 <laughs> people come in there. Oh, that's cute. You mean that's cute? All right. Well, best of luck to you. What do you mean? Didn't you read if I did it? No. You read the green haired witch. I don't want to read anything to do with you, Fred. Sure you don't. You didn't read my comic book? No. You read them all. I bet you. I bet you're a collector. I, Are you and Kiki Pendragon still a thing, or did you guys break up? We're still a thing. Why? You could do so much better. All right, listen. I saw this one girl. She's a bimbo, and I don't mean like she's a bimbo. She's a member of the bimbos. Big tits, fat ass. Is that up your alley? Is that your speed? No. no. I'll introduce you to her. How about that? I don't want to meet her. Why not? Because I don't care. Why not? I mean, she's got a I'm horrible it. personality, but an amazing body. I mean, what? Don't worry, I'll hook you up. I'll help you find someone I do, better. No, right, someone that makes you happy. No. What do you mean? Because I don't want it. Why not? Why don't you want it? You don't want. Have you, you don't seen trade the state in. of your relationships, Fred? I'm married. I don't really care to take advice from somebody you. like you. What do you mean, somebody like me? Specifically not relating to your relationships. I'm just trying to help you. You see, I have uh, I ran the triathlon for you, okay? So I can help you out with all the life advice. Now, it's just like, a, oh, uh, see, now, when you're in a relationship, it's like uh, when you get a car and then you decide to trade it in a few years later. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's how relationships are. No, that's not new, how that get works. Get a newer, younger model. Better what? engine. The gas ain't leaking. I'll hook what you up. Don't worry. I'll, I'll, help you. Find, sorry, sorry, I'll help sorry. you find a new person in your life. All right. Uh oh. Hi, honey. I don't. I Tessa. Uh, I don't need a new person. Tessa. Huh? No, it sounds like you do. I'll help you find someone no. better. Get right? away from me. The... Nope. I'm gonna help Where's you. Out, I don't right, want I'm gonna take it. you clubbing. Ew. No, I don't want to go clubbing. I'm gonna take you clubbing. You're gonna have some. Uh, Hot mommy in a, uh, you know, one of those see-through sequented T-shirts. All right, it's like it's like see-through, but you can't see nipple. And then uh, I think you mean sequin. You know, she'll she'll be she'll be fucking just grinding all up on you. All right, drinking champagne, whispering sweet nothings into your ear. You'll be in fucking heaven. 
Red, I don't need your help. Especially oh, not help relating you to again. women or anything else, quite frankly. I'm, I have two wives currently, so... That's the problem. What do you mean? I'm, I'm literally married to each of my dream women. That's unhealthy. What do you mean that's unhealthy? Tell that to the Mormons. You just insulted an entire religion just now. It's unhealthy when you do it, Pred. Why is it unhealthy when I do it? Because you. So, oh, so Mormons are better than me. They don't even. They don't even have electricity. Oh, so... What the heck? First you had a problem with it. Now you're making fun of them yourself. Yeah, because fuck them. I don't care. Okay, you're supposed to well... be better than me. <sighs> yeah, I'm on one. Well, don't worry, I Tess. I'm gonna help you. Wait, what do you think of Peach? Help. I don't like Peach. Hey, uh, Peach. Hold on, real quick. Slash me covers phone microphone. Uh, Peach. Uh, listen, Tessa. She's really pissing me off. Okay, she's uh <laughs> in an unhappy relationship. How do you feel about her as like a uh, a, a partner? Is she like, do you find her attractive? I hate them both. I mean, I mean well, Kiki Pendragon's the worst, but uh, you know what? Never mind. You're, uh, yeah, we, yeah, we, never mind. You know, she's, you're probably, you're, she, she you know what? Nah, nah, Tessa's not even into you. Nah, Tessa's not even into you. No. She's I don't not, even uh, like to sla talk slash to Slash me Peach. removes f hand from phone. Uh, hey, what's going on, Tessa? I, I don't even like to talk to Peach. Why not? Everything out of her mouth is gaslight and uh, she's always looking for a reason to be. Whoa. Everything out of Peach's mouth is gaslighting and what? Yeah, she's awful. She's awful? She's a gaslighter and she's awful. Yeah, she helped you and everybody be really mean to my dad. Who's your dad? Bass? Oh, Bass is your dad? I fucking hate your dad. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I just pretend to be your dad's friend, you know? He's like, he's like, I weaponize his stupidity. I'm really in charge. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Yeah. All right. Well, let me get uh, Peach is going to give you a call because she heard everything you said. Well, she's welcome to try. <laughs> Tessa, can I bother you for a second? What? <laughs> what do you mean, what? What? Hey, it's been a long time. I want to write a book about the Rangers. Um, okay. Would I be able to schedule a time to interview you about how you, one, became a Ranger and what it means to you to be a Ranger? Not right now, just in general. Sorry, I have to get gaslit for a second. Hold on. Oh, God. Uh, hello? Hey, Tess, it's me, Peach. Hey, Peach. I can't believe you would tell those awful tell things about me. Tell her that I'm dating Kachow now. I can't believe you would try and help get my dad arrested. What do you mean? You know what you did. What are you talking about? A long huh? time ago, you tried to help get my dad into a court case where they were pushing the death penalty. You think I'm gonna appreciate that kind of thing, Peach? That wasn't me! It wasn't Brad, you? Brad, did we try to get Bass? Uh, okay, the death penalty? I'm pretty sure it's still on the docket, Peach. Really? Are you sure that was... Oh, was that... Are you sure, Pen? Was I involved in that? I really don't remember that. Yeah, you see, this, oh, is, no, this is what no, I'm it's, talking no, no. about. Am I it's a misunderstanding. This is exactly... Pen, this, Pen and Wrangler. This is exactly what I'm talking about, Peach. You do this every time you talk to somebody. Uh -huh. You also tried to help Fred break me and my girlfriend up. When you were having, uh, when, when we were doing that thing with him in the court case. I really? think I didn't see what you were doing, Peach. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me, Tessa? Really? No, I'm not kidding you. Oh I my god, right you know you, what? Peach. Oh. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. Go ahead and say it. Hello. Hello. I wish... Okay, you know what? I hope Kiki Pendragon ocean dumps herself again. That's an awful thing to say, Peach. 
Yeah, why me? Maybe, maybe that's why I called you awful. You ever think of that? Wait, why no? Maybe it's because you're being awful. Tessa, okay, come on. Okay, look. It's it's just a misunderstanding. Okay, I really didn't mean it. Again with I the really gaslighting. Mean. Again. Huh? I'm not gaslighting at all. You don't what? mean what you're saying right now. Yeah, I do. I do you're, mean it. You're trying to make me think that you didn't mean what you said. And I don't believe it. I don't buy it. I don't think it's <gasps> right. And I think you do this to everyone you meet. I don't, Tasso. King? Jeez. <laughs> oh, now with the waterworks. Come on. <laughs> what do you mean, waterworks? <laughs> what, are you not actually crying? I mean, I was crying. Are you gaslighting me real, into thinking you I'm were not crying right now, again, Tessa. You don't what sound like you're crying anymore. No, I'm not. Oh, okay, Tessa, look. Look, you know, maybe, maybe we can work on the relationship, okay? And then I don't know, maybe. Look, what, 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 well, I mean, you know, I mean, maybe, maybe, you know, um, um, you... Okay, and Kiki, we can go on a double date with uh, Kachow. Wouldn't that be nice? What the heck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, me and Kachow, I, I mean, he's my fine. You ass. just said you hope she ocean dumps herself. Why would we want to go on a double date with you? That was just a J, okay? I mean, why would oh, Kiki yeah, ever ocean dump herself? Yeah. Oh, you, d you don't think she ocean dumped herself? No. Oh, what I mean, do you think she did? What do you think happened there, huh? Uh, you know, I'm not too sure. You know, my mind's fuzzy. It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah? Hey, yeah. Okay. Well, I don't think she ocean dumped herself at all. And I think oh. you know that she didn't. Nah, I mean, maybe she slipped? I mean, she may have just slipped into the ocean. Slippery. Again with the gaslighting, honestly. I'm not gaslighting! Okay, you know what, Tessa? I I'm on duty right now, okay? I just hope you don't get into your car accident. Oh, thank you! That's really kind. And you're very welcome, I hope okay? you don't either. Okay, Tessa? I know, you sound really sarcastic when you I hope nothing bad happens to you ever. Really? Really? Oh, okay, okay, Tessa, that's so sweet of you. You know what, all those awful things people say about you, I never believed it. Yeah, I never believed anything that anyone said about you either. Okay, Tessa, I gotta go. Okay, I'll see you around. Oh, now you gotta okay. go? I now gotta you don't have time for me? Hi, Tessa. Hey, sorry I had to take care time. of something. Um, I did an yeah, artwork fine. for you about eight months ago, I believe. Oh, yeah! Uh, I, I don't... I oh, God. It. I don't remember your name. Uh, uh... It's Rosa. Rosa. Rosa, okay. I remember the art. Is it the colored version and the, the non-colored? Yeah, I, I occasionally post it on Twitter. Uh, just when I share my stuff. Okay. If that's okay. Yeah. That's so, so, how's it been? Uh, well, it's, uh, been a little crazy. I just got called to deal with a, a cat in the lobby. I think it got dealt with, though. Yeah, Kiki took it. Yeah, I overheard. It was dead. What happened? Uh, I don't know, but it's I was out, and I think it was dying or dead. I think it was fully dead, and it apparently belonged to Chips Ahoy, if you know who that is. Uh, Chips? Yeah, I, Booba, oh, Booba God, was there, I wonder, he was able to... I wonder if it ran into the rat people. Rat, rat people? I don't know. Chips has been, look, he's been investigating the rat people. Um... Oh... Or maybe it was the mole people, I don't remember. Booba said he lived in the sewers with him for three months? I don't know, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hello, good to see you. Hello. Hi, Flop. Good day. Anyways, I wanted to... Do a make a book about the ranges because obviously I'm good friends with the least, right? And I just had like this thought of, you know, a very green book, a very beautiful, like we could take pictures of everyone. And on one page, it's going to be 
your story about how you became a ranger and what being a ranger means to you. And then the other, other page is you. Like a picture of you with, like, you know, your animals. You think that's cool? You want it to be like a, a book? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to make it. I'm going to take But I just want to interview you and, like, write down your statements and stuff, basically. Okay. But not right now, just in general. I want to play it for the future because obviously I'll see you, you know, tomorrow, the next day, the next day, whatever. Yeah. Um, But I want to, you know, be in the right headspace to interview you, write it all down, you know, type it up on the computer inside maybe. And then I'm going to take some pictures of you and some of the other ranges like David's and Luis that I see more often. And then we're, I'm going to make it all into a book and publish it You're with the library. The day, are you? Well, yeah, if you, no. yeah, rangers. Yeah, yes. No. What do you mean, no, Flop? No. What flop, I only like, Flop, I like Australian men. <laughs> uh, no. Peter Balls, okay, thank you, you by the way, for the, the six months. You I can appreciate take the picture. It. I'm taking the picture. I, no one takes photos yes. of Ziggy except for me. Yes, you could, yes, okay. You could take the pictures, fine. Yeah? I don't share. Do you need help with the pictures? Okay, deal. Yeah, Rosa, because she's an artist. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah, okay. You just, you just let me know when the photos need to be taken. I'll be around for it. I'll take the photos. Okay, that's fine. Hey. It's not gonna be no sexy picture flop. I don't want to see anyone near my husband taking photos of him. That's that's my job. That's... I'm just here to make sure that everyone stays in check about that. Okay. Listen, you that... gotta respect yes, boundaries, understand. Jeanette. All right, boundaries are important. They are when... the pillars with which our society is formed. When have I respected yeah, boundaries? I got one real when? Big fucking pillar, and it's specifically the pillar mm -hmm. of Prove it. Marriage. Prove it. Did you just G-check this man's pillar? What the fuck? I did. Perfect flop. Thank you. Bring him. Where's Ziggy? 180 attempt to catch up to a uh, several <laughs> numbers and letter vehicle southbound Los Santos. Okay. Okay. Damn. Damn. Uh, shut the fuck up, bitch. Okay, well, sorry. Who just you can that? take the pictures. Fine. That's fine. But I am interviewing him. Okay? You, you could be in the room. Yeah. Yes, flop. Fl oh, very nice. So, so, you're so protective. Uh, candy what? Colored, candy red. What? I'm, oh, I'm, I'm disgusted, oh. honestly. If I get denied for this, I'm gonna be mad. Okay. I'm gonna be in that room when you have that conversation. Yeah, you you, you can be in the room, Flop. That's fine. I'm not interviewing you, though. Uh, it's not gonna be you. Tessa, can I ask you a question? Yeah. You. yeah. Thank you, Tessa. Yeah, whatever. Is there a way I could get my ride along a um a radio for his chick or no? A radio. Um so I'm not able like to help too. with that. I I know there's a couple I'm people who can devices. hand out the keys. Oh. Yeah. Uh yeah, I'm on duty right now? Well, it's nice seeing you. Have a good I'm one. I'm on rank 325108. Maybe Pred? I maybe Pred. Um or Bass if he's still around. I don't know if he is. No, Bass went to sleep. What? Okay, I'm gonna ask Brad if he can yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah, see if what? he can help. Because I, nice. I genuinely don't know. Um, I've never been able to do that. Is there anybody who Thank can you so get much. on ATC? Mm -hmm. uh, I've got a helicopter that's been flying erratically to the central part of the city. Uh, do we have everyone yet, out yet? E35. Uh, okay, not I'm that oh, I think I know where it was, yeah, actually. Color of the helicopter? Uh, I believe it's a. a it was shots fired up near to Lafayette. I don't have eyes on it currently. It was. Yeah, if it's a black and color Frogger, then they've been just going around the rooftops and jumping off to, to pools and shit. They were doing it at White uh, Garage. Is Shelby or by you guys on radio? Hey, I need break. I need a couple units over off of Elgin. And Howick, there are two people on top of a building, a female that is naked that just takes somebody. Uh, it looks like they have police equipment. I can't see who they are. They don't look like police officers. East 23. It's across the uh, eastern side of Pink Cage. It's a male and a female. They're basically naked. The female has a taser. Good night. Bye. 6 is in route. Or, sorry, 518 in route. I don't know how they get up on top of this building. Uh, I always forget that uh, Craig uses I the cards. Right <laughs> I was now. looking for the call. 
You might be able to jump on the dumpsters in the back. I got it. There's a. Thank you. I wonder what Nan's doing. Also, oh, yeah, the, the rivalry between Peach and Tessa has been kind of a long standing. Tessa's never been like outright toxic to her until now, but like there's been some moments that Tessa has made it clear how she feels. But it was it was mostly that uh, she helped Wrangler and Pred try to push charges. Hey Flop, is that you in there? No. Oh, yeah, okay. You tell Who are you looking, looking for Flop for, for, huh? Oh, I right, do you right know. Right I just up I love Flop. I want to talk to him a little. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hey, you sure Flop ain't in there? No, does it look like he's in here? I don't know. You got a trunk, right? Hey, I'm alive. Do Why would he be in the trunk? Tessa, you let Flop know when I see him, I'm going to boom his shit. I'm going to boom his shit. What does that mean? Uh, Miss Mendoza, apparently it's code for. Hey guys, we're good to break off here off of Elgin. It, it turns out Copper's just having a thing or something. That's Copper? Copper. Dispatch 180 1038 Westbound Carson, a white and color sports car, 5 one times. Hey, Tessa! What's up, hey, Tessa? Hey, Flop. I just thought I'd let you know, um, I just saw Sly Carter. He asked me if you were in the car with me. I told him no, and he said, uh, right, yeah, you're done over there. let him know, because, uh, here. I want a boom. Three, six, okay. one is 41. Um, yeah, he yeah. just pulled up to me and said, I'm a, I'm a do it, and I broke his ankles and got away from him, because he sucks response, at driving. Way, really appreciate it. Laughed at him oh. over the megaphone, and now I think Kurt Jerkums is chasing me in a wastelander, too. So I'm in the canals right now, hiding. Yeah, no, I'm gonna I think I'm going to start my own gang down here and form a civilization, and get people to come along with me. Um, would you well, like to join my civilization? Uh, he Doesn't probably... I know you're taken? Yeah, he, he does. But I also I also took his gun emporium from him. I own his gun emporium. Why is he flirting with you then? I think he wants to marry me. I don't know. I've been trying to tell him. I'll, I'll, I'll call him and let him know that I'm married. And then, you know, he needs to find a better time. But... What's the you know, of I yeah, because I mean, I don't think Ziggy would appreciate him saying he wants to boom you. I mean, I'll let Ziggy know, but I just, I, I don't know. I, I don't think, uh, you know, oh, that's not good. Disregard, disregard. Oh, okay. Never mind. Disregarded. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, Tessa. Fuck, was that like why, why does that I, the what does I want to kill me? That was Jeanette. Dead, sir. Kill you? What do you mean? I think he wants to kill me. He threatened to kill me the other day, Tessa. Well, That's no, all I'm he saying. very clearly told me what he wanted to do. Yeah, I'm up top here on the flat. Did you find something down there? He wow. said he wanted to boom. So what if he wants to boom? He wants to, you know, I guess well, get in line, means he I guess. Wants to kill you. Well, I mean, if he wants to boom, he can get in line like uh, everyone, everyone else that wants to boom. <laughs> but I, I'm only booming There's with one person. There's a line now, is that? There's a line out the door. <laughs> Oh, okay. and, Ry and Ryan Reynolds is in the front of that line. If Ziggy leaves, it's Ryan Reynolds. Oh, all right. Uh, I can get on so Sai's got some competition. Well. Um, you could just check if that black Frogger's. Okay, still well, up I just thought you'd uh, want to know. Um, Stand by. Uh, give me like 20 seconds. I'm not even sure if it was Sai. It sounded like him. He's driving that one fancy car with the spoiler on it. Yeah, the the kind of a not GTR, but definitely yeah, like low key, Syria, high key, a GTR. Just it's kind of yeah. hard to tell. Yeah. Check the alleyways. Um. Look yeah. Many, uh, looks I like I think he wants to kill me. Like uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. He's very he's been very upset with me ever since I bought his gun emporium. 
And my life's been in danger ever since, and I don't get to see Sai a lot. So I'm trying to like figure out kind of what I got to do with the gun for him. I offered to sell it back to him for 1.2 mil, but he doesn't want to buy it. So I don't know. Compact vehicle with a clown mask. Why not? This area. Because he thinks it's think too much money, but I paid a mill for it. It's just, you know. Oh, they are. <laughs> just like any good investor, I gotta get, I need to make money back on my investor you're, too. Uh, you're overcharging? Overcharging? Absolutely not. He can buy it for me. For 1.2 mil. I also offered him a spot to sell guns too if he wanted. You, you want a spot? You want to sell guns at the, the gun emporium? No, that's okay. I need a okay. 77 on Carson. I just had well, you, you know I bought the gun for him. You were there. And he said, mm -hmm. I just took an edible 45 minutes I ago. Know. I don't know. Good to see you, though, Tessa. How you been? How you doing? Uh, oh, I'm all right. Just uh, I had a little tiff with edibles, Peach, but, but about everything's all good. When that bad boy's about what happened with him. Peach? Oh, Fred tried turning us against each other, and then I said some things, and she said some things, and it was just a little tiff. And who won the conversation? Uh, well, she hung up on me, so I think uh, I might have won. You, you, you won. You won the conversation then. Let's 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 be honest with ourselves for a minute. But uh, you're gonna be around for a little bit today? Yeah, I think so. You want to ride a little bit? Yeah, we can ride together. Okay. All right. Uh, where whereabouts are you? Uh, let me get back to Mission Row. I'll put Scout uh, back. Okay, I'll uh, I'll I'll park up the car and I'll see you in a minute. And That's you want to drive? Slow want... it down. Angry Tessa. Um, do you want to drive or do you want me to drive? Are you okay driving? Yeah, I guess. Oh. I guess I could drive if. Have a great day. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess. Yeah, yeah, of course, no problem. I, I love drive. I love, I love driving. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. All right, talk to you soon. Hey, bye, bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, Unison, have a car. Have have a, out of the vehicle. Women in pink with a pink color vehicle. Hey, watch it. Be careful. I'm being careful. There's plenty of room. All right. All right, let's go. <laughs> Tessa, be careful. What the heck are you doing, Flop? What do you mean? You you were no no no. You were definitely. Hey Bones. Hey. Hey Bones. What's up, y'all? Not much. Good to see ya. How you been? You been good? I've been great. Got promoted today. That's pretty cool. Did you? Well, congratulations. That's exciting. I'm a corpo now. Oh, uh, Marlon, okay. by the way, think it was the three yeah, months. Yeah. That, that's a good spot to be in. Corporal's a good spot. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't care. I've been doing the, I've been, I've been doing shit as a senior. I feel like there's no really restriction on, on what you can and can't do. You just, just, just do what you got to do. And then when it comes to interdepartmental stuff, follow train of command. But yeah, of course. Yeah, it's not like listen. gatekeeping, I guess. Yeah, corporal's a good spot to be in. Enjoy it. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Yeah, well, there you go. Well, good, good shit, Bones. Anything new with yesterday's shit, or is that all getting, getting handled uh, before? Because I went to, I had to go to sleep. Oh, you Dispatch. know about that. That's right. Um, all right, just bring it to. I haven't done anything with it yet. I still want to talk to him to see. I would really rather not fire somebody. Uh, I'd rather, I'd rather try and figure that one out. But he's got to get charged yeah. for what he did. I mean, oh, yeah, for sure. Someone, for sure. someone's, someone's dead. So. Oh God. Yeah, he, he, he killed someone. Yeah, that's fucked. That is that. That should be that. I mean, I, I hate throwing the, the F word, but I've got a mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one of those things where you're like, around oh yeah, oh yeah, he's uh, he, he's he's time. gonna get something out of this. They're, I don't know uh, what, they, but watching a car something will happen. The warehouse. We might want to get a traffic stop on him if we get a 77. All right, how you been, Tessa? Thank you, I appreciate yeah, it. I hope you have a great day as well. You too. Wear protection. Seatbelts are safe. I've been good. Good. How about you? I'm 
good. I feel dealt with great. any space peanuts lately. I briefly so remember us having a conversation, and now I'm trying to I'm trying to put this piece together. The, the peanut man, the, the crazy guy. Oh yeah, uh, no, yeah. haven't seen Wait, him. Yeah, I saw yeah, a self-driving car end, though, like, uh, and that shit was it. crazy. Uh, uh, that was a little whack. They had a self-driving uh, Abdul taxi. We had to put it in handcuffs. What is happening there? I don't know. I kind of, of want to know. You need a, additionals at place, place. Pictures, Hello. X mark. How are you? Hello! Hi! Hello. Yeah, to, to see you here. Yet. Checking if sweets. Magazines? I already uh, picked what? one up, actually. Yay, good. Well, yeah. What about you? You got one too? Hi, oh, Tessa. Oh, Looking great as ever. 76 to well, good. Well, if you guys you. got your magazines, well, then well. we are so happy and we hope you You guys both them. have magazines. I love it. Nice. Who did they? Alright, cool. See, look at that. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. You guys right, are doing you guys... great. Right, we'll, uh, Wait, what's up? That Sorry, you're... radio's so loud. Polly, you're doing what was great. That? Oh, thank you. You guys are doing great, too. I hope you keep selling those magazines. They're great. Yeah, yeah. Have a good one. You as well take care. I didn't get a fucking magazine. I don't know what they're selling. Oh, well, you should look at him. Yeah, stay there. I'm scared. And check the glove box. Oh, you actually got one. Did you get one? Yeah. This is... Other people are happening oh. to show up at the same exact warehouse. Whoa, wait, whoa, 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 wait, this is there. fucking cool. What is this? We're going to follow the. Uh, it's a magazine. Get a cost off on them. 335, sir. I'm featured three times. God, Carmine got a feature. Uh, Ew. Pretty much behind you, there's, there's like three or four cars now in there. I don't know what they're doing. Oh my god, wait, this is so cool. Yeah, check it out right now. We got, uh, we got, a uh, TBD coming. I wonder right if I'm the only one that's featured Star multiple times, like, uh, that many times in there. I don't know. This is really fucking good, though. Did you know what I think you did? Hey, yo, Flop! Hello! Hey, Flop, that's oh you! Oh god. Hey, hey yo, Flop, uh, did I tell you I was gonna boom your shit? Wait! I'll boom oh, you! Oh, don't what? do that! What you mean? Hey, you oh. don't even know what it is! Oh. Is boom and actually? Boom it. Hold on, I'm looking at a magazine side. Did you get your magazine? Did you actually want to boom him? Yeah, wait. Why? Why did you want to boom me? Oh, I thought you. that was just jokes. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, Flop. Sai. I think he really wants to boom. Sai. Hey, I'm a boom you, Flop. I'm a boom Sai. you. I don't. I don't want to boom though. I'm married. Yeah, he's what taken. What do you think booming means? I think we're okay here. I well, listen. I don't. I don't want to boom. Booming is. Listen, uh, you gotta you gotta talk to Ziggy if you're gonna boom. Flop, kind of I would just say, hey, you you hella lucky that's that secondary. I put my fucking Spaz 12 in my apartment. Lot, you were so lucky. What? Because if I had it, hey oh. Tessa, oh. I got a guy who's I'm taking away his license. Hey, whoa! Oh, don't say that. I'm taking away this guy's hey, license. Sir, please be careful. Tessa, he's going through the Ranger. Tessa gets hurt, you die. He says he's going through the, yeah. uh, going through the Ranger okay. program already with you. So I figured you you're are you familiar with Miss Kingman, Mr. Kingman? Mr. Kingman? You're trying to have a conversation. Yeah, are you familiar with Mr. Kingman? No, I don't think so. Well, you're gonna get to know him, okay? Yeah. Okay. What was that about? We got an orange I don't know. That's spying on us. Oh, is that a crystal like wheeling to work again? Real shame what happened to her. What happened to her? Gotta go. Clear? Oh, hello. Oh, honey, what happened? That blue, or excuse me, that oh. orange truck is hiding behind the... Uh, if you don't want to talk, uh, that's okay. You don't have to tell me. Ah, oh, that's that okay. Is. It's been a bit already. I hope you're all right. Uh, uh, Chicago, if he does uh, I'm feeling much better. Easier to talk now, to him. I just, uh, I got lit. What's the description of the vehicle? Oh, uh, orange okay. Truck. Well, hey, yeah. let's On get fire. you out of the street. I don't want to... Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's okay. like a souped up pickup truck with uh, wheels. You got the curb? Real okay. Fancy looking. Is it I'm pretty good. It's on the first hand. Oh, the man. Yeah, you see the transfer. I got the skills. Yeah, I've, I've been there. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not doing too bad. Okay. Well, just take it I easy if you need anything. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. Said not bad. Yeah. I'll let you know. Oh, baby. Okay. Be on the field before you know it. Well, hopefully. I mean, just take it easy, okay? Don't overdo no, no, it or no. nothing. You know, I don't want you coming back to work before you're ready. I have been getting plenty of rest. Plenty. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get back with Flop over there, and uh, if you need anything, you call us, okay? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Don't I'll take nothing from Maybe. nobody. Okay, nothing. Some people are mean to people in wheelchairs in this city. Uh, that's yeah, true, but that's okay. That's not okay, that's not okay, that's not okay. I'm saying it's okay because it's me, but that's not okay. Yeah. Yeah, my bad. Alright. Hey, I'm on motor. Uh, are there any motors involved, or you just want me to... You already have a free copy. Beautiful. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's okay. Just uh, wandering about, you know. Yeah, one of the warehouses. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Clot. It's good to see ya. Good to see you too. Yeah, yeah. Good luck out there. Thank you. I appreciate it. I I hope you're doing okay. Great. Who's Clop? Uh, have a <laughs> she said me? she got lit. Uh, she got what? She got lit. Oh, she went to a party. That explains everything. I don't think she went to a party. Well, where'd she go? Where else do you get lit? Well, it, I mean, it could mean that she got lit on fire. She was kind of bandaged head to toe. I mean, that's probably unlikely, though, right? Cops don't get burned. We never get burned. Hey! Yeah, never, never us. Nope. You're right. What are you doing over there? Oh, just, you know, are you reaching? Are, my hands oh. are fidgety. Oh, it's all good. I mean, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It's all good. What is your license plate? What a, what about my license plate? I uh, I saw it when I got out of the car earlier, and I was curious. Um, you kind of reversed it up to us, and yeah, all I saw um, was fart. Yeah. So I went to a judge and I was like, hey, I have a plate idea. And they said, yeah, what is it? And I told them. And then they wrote fart instead and said, sorry, I thought about it and it was funny. And I said, you know what? Keep it. I like what it. What is it going to be? Um. Now, where are you? Um. It was, um. Patty, there's a female yeah, it's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Well, I don't I think am it's worried. that important. No, it's not that important. It's it's nothing. It's <clears throat> um, it's not. It's it's, it's it's not that bad. It's it's fine. Hey, Chow, what's your twenty? We are at Jump Street, place to place. We're camping right out in an orange and colored truck. I missed a green light. Yep. You were looking at your MDW, weren't you? I was. I was looking to see all my other license plates. I got some good ones. I think the Mustang is still my favorite. What the heck? Oh, it's it's what? Hey, blood out? Yeah, blood out. Bottom? Uh, there was a initially a hot rod vehicle. Yeah, what about it? Top energy? Mm -hmm. Yes, go ahead and pull them over again. Uh, Frick Comcast? Yeah, that was good. I like that one. That one's a good one. Uh, poop? 
they just issue them a ticket if they do pull over? And if not, then get them on a baby. Um, new Hefe? New Hefe, yep. Akaju! Akaju! I didn't actually get that plate. One. That was, like uh, that, that used to be Sai Carter's bike. Yeah, he's bound of it. Why are you it? stealing everything from Sai? What do you mean? <laughs> Are you trying to be Cy Carter? No, but I, I when so I was what kind man? of on the fence about buying the the Haka Chow, sure. and the person selling it to me said, "Just so you know, it used to be it used to be Cy Carter's," and I said, "You know what? I'm buying it." That's literally that's what well, I, mean, I, I bought it. Damn, I always thought Dan was a problem solver. I guess not. It stopped people from falling down the sky. My bad. Are there any actors right now? Is there anything going on? Does it usually get like this in the morning or night? It's night, right? I think Dan just said somebody Please, fell out of the sky. With the G, the G, it was an Eric Wolfenstein, in the commonplace place traffic violator, just being an asshole. He probably, I mean, honestly, they probably were watching the drop, but uh, nothing on him. He was unmasked, all that stuff. But uh, I'm pretty sure him and maybe a, the hot rod vehicle were were involved in dropping it off. Maybe just as a just kind of give him a hand. Are you paying attention to what's happening on radio? So we're 23 at impound. Uh, what's yeah. Around? What's happening on radio right now? Yeah, I mean, something honestly, about my employee kind of doing that, that's petty crime. I stayed here looking for. You want to go talk to him? Let's go. Thanks for the help, everyone. I appreciate it. Thank you, Trooper. I don't know where he is. I want to ask, because if I, if I ask, they're going to be like, Flop, pay attention to the radio. If you ask, they'll be like, oh my god, Tessa. They're right here. I think they're just going to call him. Are you? No, I don't want to just, I don't want to be a phone guy. You're not going to be a phone guy. You have to, 93 seconds on the phone, you're officially a phone guy. Do you want to take the So as long as it's, it's, it's under a minute and a half, you're good. No, we're going to the thing. Hello? Hello, Eric. W what did I do now? I don't Where's know, Eric. What did you do? I honestly don't know. What did Where's I do? Asshole. What did you do, Eric? I don't, I don't actually know. What, what did, did I do? do? Where are you? I'm at Otto's right now. The autos. Oh, okay. Yeah. Also, I have a bone to pick with you and Patrick. Thank you very much. Hmm. What, what is that? I saw a magazine with a right-of-way driving school, and I feel like I'm one of the more <laughs> active instructors. I'm hurt. I, I didn't even get, like, a, a call. <laughs> I wish that I had thought to call you. I thought about it after the fact, but Patrick and I have been kind of been impounded. Thank you the two backup. stooges for a little while now. And no, you're fine. 35 I'm only joking. I thought it was really cool. I, I, uh, yeah. I saw the magazine. Are you I firing him? him? No, I'm not firing him, Flop. You should fire Whoa, him. Whoa, what? <laughs> I just wanted to know what you were up to is all. Uh, oh, what I'm is just happening driving here? around, hassling a cadet that this? pulled me over for negligent driving, even though I don't really understand how that happened. But, you know, hey, whatever, oh. it's fine. So mm. let me let me run this by you. Tell me what you think actually of this this predicament that I have. Okay. So. So I was just driving down, place place because you know it's my place of work. I also work for Dodo. I'm a Dodo manager, and I was just you know, making sure that all the drivers and stuff were were being good on their best behavior since there was a speed trap down there, and. Uh, I noticed there was police there, and you know I was being good. I was wasn't doing anything uh, wrong, and then I drove past them, doing thirty. Four miles per hour. Oh, hey there, and they Ollie. still pulled me over and said that I was being negligent before yeah, that. But it's going good, Ollie. I didn't How are ever you? Talk to them. They never like contacted me or anything before that. So I'm confused as to how they can pull me over retroactively. Ooh, well, I'm with Tessa. I'm sure she would love to see that too. Well, I don't know. I wasn't there, so yeah. I'm not sure. I will let her know, and we'll yeah, uh, we'll I'm, by in a Maybe few. You don't ask, hold uh, us to like next ten or fifteen. I think it's. But, uh, I don't remember who that is. Are you gonna be around for a couple? I don't know. So you you got pulled over going so. thirty four. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, I, I was like doing thirty four. I can catch you tomorrow. But I'll call you in Had a couple you minutes. Have you done any other kind of maneuver? Nope. Not when they pulled me over, and not really before that. I went around a truck 
at one point. That was Maybe. it. Maybe. I'm kind of fit. Well, I'm, I'm like in the fa I'm, I'm on the fence about it because it's already decorated, but okay, I might want to decorate it. It was 10 minutes before that. They just decided 10 minutes later that they were going to pull me over after Sounds I Sounds good. I appreciate it, Ollie. Thank you. And they couldn't even have known if I was even Talk driving to you soon, at that Ollie. point. Bye bye. Oh. There was three people in the car with me. Okay. They, I like, I can't believe that they well, actually gave me a ticket. I don't know. <laughs> That's what. That's what I I'm mean, saying. And then his response was I fight it in traffic court. What the heck? Yeah. I'm like, Maybe this you is should. A, oh, that's, I'm not going to waste the court's time. Well, I mean, then you're just going to get screwed over over and over, and he's never going to learn. Hi, Tessa. There's one point. I'm already done. Hi, Tessa. Again, so I think we're good. I'm a phone guy there. right now. I got to hang up the phone. Otherwise, okay. Flop is going to keep making fun of me. Okay, Tessa. Seconds. Well, you can talk to me that's, some other time. Jack. You're great. Okay. I, it's only 90, 93 seconds, apparently. You can be on the phone before you're a phone guy. Oh, 93 seconds? Okay, well. Yeah, uh, I think right. we passed right. it. Yeah, it's okay. Well, it's good talking right. to you. Yeah, you too. Stay out of trouble. <laughs> I'm trying. Bye. All right. Goodbye. I'm a phone guy. You're a phone guy. You did it now. I'm sorry. It's okay. You don't have to apologize to me. You gotta apologize to. I I, I don't even what know. What are we doing you... with Ollie? Oh, uh, Ollie is uh, you know, Ollie owns a store now, and he he decorated the place, and it was all cool, and he's like, oh, I don't know if Tessa's seen the place, but I figured maybe a little bit we were going by Ollie's place. Okay. Anyway, where the hell? Oh, they're taking a selfie. You want to get in the shot? Jeez! Oh my god, flop! Do you think he got the photo? Where, where'd he go? If, well, if he did get the photo, you nearly killed him. He's look, he's walking. He's fine. I just want to get your photo, sir. Look at him. I hope you got a good photo. Nine, six, I think you hurt that man. I don't think I hurt him. He's fine. He's fine. Have a good Debbie. Good night. Good night. Market 42, 15, 23. I'm going to go pull someone over. Oh, no, you looking at? Where should we set up a speed trap? Anywhere. Where do people like to speed? Um, I see a lot of people speed up this road. Oh, wait, this is still happening. What is going on here? I I, I want to know what's going on here. I'm nosy. Maybe Mortel? Maybe? <clears throat> I like friends of mine. Stole Drove your car. off of a bridge. Yeah, I was Sorry, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flag it real quick. Oh, sounds like you have a phone call, Tessa. You should probably get your name. Winter, please. Colonel, what's happening here? Hello? Hey, Tessa. Uh, it's me, Saul Leesman. Hey, uh, Saul. I was, Dispatch 623. I was I told eyes on by Pred that I had to get driving lessons. in front of... Legion Square you Bank. do need to get driving lessons, apparently. Uh, I don't know why, but he did Trump tell me. Because was... I said I, I, I oh think I, I think I forgot how to drive. Tom, what are you doing? I don't think it's just you. It's not just me. Look, if you had any idea what like I just witnessed, I don't know. On a has, uh, anyway, um, I'm currently on a scene with some people, but are you off duty right now? Am I what? Are you off duty and like available? Oh, no, no, I'm I'm currently patrolling and doing my taxi services. Oh, okay. Um, do you, okay. Oh, I make a living. That's like, I have to, I have to make money for rent. So you're how much longer though? You're doing taxi True. stuff? 
Oh my god. Oh no, I'm a police officer. Right. Oh. I don't, I don't know where you got this idea of taxi go. from. It's... Okay, all right. I gotta go. You, you I gotta one. go. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you so much for the backup, guy. 30, 76 to leave, 99. What yeah. happened? The locals. Traffic. The local was uh, shooting. Oh, for for a first degree murder warrant. Attempted oh, no, no. and Kirk mm. is a uh, UTL on a man. Oh, yeah, copy. around that bank. Sorry, attempted, yeah. I got you. Right, let's yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Is, is the scene yeah. good? Uh, Jesus fuck. Yeah, we're good. Let's do this. Let's try it. 36, 1 is 76 to the 90. Well, now that I'm done being nosy. Oh, sorry. Pussy, yeah, you're pussy, you're pussy. Pussy, you're pussy. I was nosy. Hello! You wanna go to the 99? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> 2576, latest 99. Uh, how many people do you got responding to the 99? I'm gonna be honest, seven or eight people are out for that. Two on scene right now, a third holding up. How many people? Unseen. Like double found, this should be. Dispatch 203 and activate, you're gonna be right in uh, Northeast Bay City Avenue. Colored uh, vehicle with boost. Continuing northbound on the West Coast Boulevard. Nova, how many do you have attached? Uh, three. Uh, you can find us channel. Left, northbound, north of the drive. I'm gonna stay behind on scene and pick up the evidence. Hard, right, uh, eastbound on uh, North Rockford. Legend on East Jones, eastbound. Taking the dirt back down to the university. I think this was Peach. Anyone solo, please try to take primary whenever you can. Anyway, Southeast Richmond. Double that. Right, southbound Hardy Way, left, eastbound, west of Clips. Channel for this move. Copy that. I'm gonna check my shop real quick. Can you just? You wanna come in? Sure. Have you been to my shop before? I don't think All so. Alright, boost channel. Channel three. Channel three. Boost. Wow, it's a flop shop. It is a flop shop. Why is there just a bottle here? What's up? Look at this bottle. Is it got comms on the booth? Um, no yeah, no, it's a, it's a, it's a, Channel it's an, or, it's a booth. ceiling Channel ornament. Three. Beep, boop, beep, boop. It's my, it's my self-defense weapon in case someone breaks in while I'm beep, working. Beep, boop. I just grab the bottle and I use it as a weapon. Beep, beep, Wait. beep. Oh, hold on. Don't look. Don't look. Are you looking? No, I'm not looking. I can't, I, I can't. Okay, there we go. I got it. Come on in. Okay. What were you doing? Huh? What was I doing? Oh, well, this is the, this is the oh. back room. This is where, uh, Stuff happens. What do you sell here? Um, why don't you take a look? Quad armor, copium band-aids. Bandy ads. Uh oh. Scuff band aids. Batch 93, 1038. Unfact. Cross street would be uh -huh. San Andreas. Unfact your shit. I like it. When you fact up. Two times, one by a chatterbox. I'm gonna be rich. <laughs> You're really. 
touched on this bottle. Or four, nine, I could tell. It's. Just, I could tell. It's like. Street. It's bothering you. There's twenty-three. Well, because what if I touch it? Well, don't don't touch it. Do I, do I have to put a sign up that says "Don't touch the glass bottle hanging from the ceiling"? But why is it? Because just in case people break in, I can use it as a weapon. If they try and break in, I grab it. I just start stabbing away. It's by, it's, it's 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 like a it's like a breaking case of emergency, but it's grabbing in case someone breaks in. Tessa. Tessa. If I cut my finger, it's a lawsuit. Well, if you cut your finger, good news. I sell medical supplies so you can wrap your that shows cut up. Five, one in a 38 West but Columbus if I cut my finger, it's a lawsuit. What are you going to do, Tessa? You're going to sue me? You think I'm worth any, any amount of money? No, actually. That was a beautiful through <laughs> one. Considering what you told me the other day, I don't know. Here's a 311 to say that I'm leaving my fucking house. You stupid cunts, fuck you all. You know, honestly, Dundee sounds like he's a very happy guy. Reminds me of the time Sizz, I was his, um, his go-to oh, for that. Or nine, we spotted a cloud. Yeah, the box truck is just past the 38 with another cloud. Flop. My door. It's for airflow. My door. It's for aerodynamics. It's oh for th thermonuclear conductivity. I don't know if you're using that term properly. It's for fun. Oh, wait. Oh, goodness. 960, 10 8. Cop, and 960, 10 8, 17, 100. 960 from 325. Oh, uh, 10 8. Uh, 10 3. Uh, 10 3. All right. What you, the heck? Uh, wow. 10 9 left. 960, 1042. Have a good night, everyone. Yes. Uh, Copy that, Mike. Good night, Queso Dick. What? Yeah, duty. <laughs> you know, Flop, sometimes. That was so, good on so I'll listen. We don't need another Joker moment, okay? It's gonna be fine. <laughs> you know. So I'm gonna get angry with me. Well, you don't got anything to worry about. Are you, you sure? Because the last time you did that, you came back and it was a problem. Just, just don't be at MRPD. You'll, you'll be fine. Saul, so, so you can't say that. <laughs> can't say what? No. No. Because now if you do something, I'm do what? implicated. I'm going to need backup at uh, the pink. Right. Implicated in what? I don't know. Don't do anything. Okay. Anyway, did you want to do that today? Uh, I don't know. Because uh, if, you're, if you're actually going right, 42, uh, if you're going to uh, sleep, or... like a black and colored. I don't know yet. AR with like I like an under... <laughs> You're going to stay on like duty? Reddish. I think I'm going to stay on duty. I said I'm sorry. Okay. Flop says he's sorry, by the way. I, I want him to call me and apologize. Okay, I'll have him call you and apologize. Um, but like we will. Though. I Maybe will driver, schedule that drive. test with you. We can probably do it tomorrow at some point. Okay, tomorrow at some point? Okay, mm -hmm. I can try and be around for that, yeah. Yeah, only if you're available. Whenever you're, uh, free, I just... I, I'm not gonna be around too much longer tonight. There's a man yelling at me and saying, Mr. Leesman, what, what's wrong? Okay, I... I gotta go. Are you okay? There's a crippled robot trying to kill me. Yeah, I'm fine. There's a man warning oh, me there's a crippled robot okay. trying to kill me. robot trying to kill you. I will call Saul. Well, I have to call someone to test ass called by CBS for a while. I'm just going to back into a corner. Copy, I'll talk to you in a second. Flop is going to call you. Okay, thank you, Tess. I appreciate you. Okay, all right. Appreciate you, too. Goodbye. All right, bye-bye. Can you find us a channel for the Psycharder situation? 
Coming up to okay. Clinton Avenue, continuing north down Alta. I don't think I have Saul's numbers. Leave that door Avenue open. Merging, that merging Fine. Main Street, Canyon the... Road, northbound. 623, same road. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Canyon, yeah, five. Canyon left. Oh, U-turn, U-turn, U-turn. <laughs> Heading back to <laughs> southbound Bay Tree Canyon Road now. Are you Canyon ready? Left on the North Conquer Ave, eastbound. Now we're twins. It's... Oh my god, license calling me. Just uh, heads down towards... 628 uh, 443-6390. Oh. Wait, 628 what? Back westbound. 443... Uh, nope. Coming, still coming Six down three down. nine zero. Mr. Two, Bailey, there. can my cadet Three, take can... uh, secondary? And take Hello. Oh. Hey, what uh, you doing? Yeah, yeah. If you guys are in secondary. Uh, I'm with Flop right, right. now. We're hanging out. We're gonna be southbound. Uh, I need you to come oh. to Mission Row for me. Why? Eastbound now. Uh, Parallel I have a problematic suspect. Towards, uh, Elgin. What do you mean problematic? It's gonna be southbound uh, can now. You, can you come to Mission Row, please? Okay. All right. Thank you. Is it, uh, okay. is it like this? really problematic? Um, hey, Rose, how you yeah, doing? he's asleep. Hi, I'm good. How are you? Oh, oh, that's not a good deal. In his head. Right yeah. Northbound. He's asleep in his head. Okay, he's fine. Just leave him? Well, I mean, put him somewhere, but I'll, I'll come to you. I'll come to you. Okay, okay. Wait, where are you? Get mission row. Yeah. My hazy ADC. Uh, he's found innocent. He's found innocent. Get in! He ten three'd me on the phone, Tessa. What channel is he? For the alley. Well. Stand by. We're trying where to get the phone. Where is he at? I'm gonna go kick the shit out of him. Uh, you kind of were kind of rude to him. I wasn't rude. I just think that Saul was overreacting. Tommy, you're you're great people, and I would love to get we're to know you. Team. Okay. Um. We're, we're on channel we're four, Dan. Go I ahead. just think that Saul is. You know. Oh, there he is. Wait, hit him. Go back. No, I'm not gonna hit him. Where, 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 I, I have let to, me drive. I have to go deal with something uh, for Bison real quick. Uh, but okay. if you want, you can go and pit him. Okay, I'm gonna go pit him. Don't do that. I I won't pit him. I promise. Granted, we're not gonna picky promise on this, but I promise. <laughs> All right, I will be right back. All right, no problem, Tessa. Give me a call when you're done. Okay. Uh, he said cells. <clears throat> Alpha, is the call notation correct? Hello. Where is he? Uh, he's in the cells. Well, you is he the one in the chef's hat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you. Ash, you on frequency? Yeah. Uh, go ahead. It's apparently uh, is that it's being right handled right other Monster, ways, but uh, we just don't know like if that. we should send him up nope. or Sorry, what to do with him here. Or... Uh, no. Uh, will Alpha eighty three? Um. Send for all grab that one. Hotel six I, nine. I mean, is he like an actual suspect? Like what? Yeah, he was being arrested. He he was causing quite a few problems to the point like where we had to call we called a lawyer down, and then like he was like quite literally screaming um, at the top of his lungs, uh, not in an enjoyable way, and uh, he just went quiet. And now we're all getting emails that he fell asleep. Okay.
Okay. Uh. So we just didn't know if we were supposed to set right. him up for the charges, or what do you want us to do? Uh, I just wouldn't worry about it. Don't worry about okay. it. Okay. Just delete the report okay. then. Um. Uh, I mean, you can keep. Uh, it's up to you. I mean, I don't care either way. Was it like majorly serious? I mean, he ran out of a bank. Yelled, uh, there was a man don't talk to the cops or somebody, and then try to run away from a bank weeks. after trying uh, to break into it. I would just leave major. the report. Uh, just leave it up. Yeah, three. Leave it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You want, you want, yeah. you want yeah. to put out a warrant? Or just... Uh, no. Just, just leave it be. Okay. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Tessa. Saul, I'm at your car. There's no one in your car. They got now. Well, it's a bit awkward. Um... I don't know if you went to like actually went to sleep or what's going on with that but if he's not do you want us to uh, disable your car so he can't still here away. on the server can't really have him picking up the slot so thank you one one seven seventy six latest nine one one Put his head down on his desk and fell asleep. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, let me... Do, 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 do. Where am I? Just give him the old boot. Shoot, I missed it. Come on. Hello. There's so many Canadian flags. He, well, there's a long story behind that. Oh, Canada. Don't you start. Our home in I'm going to hang up. No, no I, Canada allowed. But I'm Canadian. Oh, not another one. But I'm actually Canadian. Oh, not another one. You and Dulia, look. What the fuck? Listen, Tessa, do you know if there's a cadet around my dog can bite for science? Uh, I'm sure there's some around. Maybe, uh... Does it have to be a cadet? I, I just figured, you know... I just... She gotta bite someone for this test, Tessa. She gonna go bite someone. Oh, hey, there's EMS here. Can she bite one of them? Okay, she's gonna bite the EMS. Okay. It'll be fine. What could go wrong, Tessa? What could go wrong? As long as they consent. Oh, yeah, they're consenting. He's totally not saying, nope, not me. He's he's consenting. It's fine. I would never make her bite anyone who doesn't consent, Tessa. Goodbye, I love you. Goodbye. Bye -bye. Goodbye, I love you too. <laughs> Do you guys work? So you would one drop. It's, uh... I'm getting out of the way, I'm getting out of the way, I'm getting out of the way. Oh. Miss Tessa. What? I'm... So today, um, Demi was missing. We went to her house. And... Guys, this is a very private conversation. I'm not walking in your conversation. Calm down. And uh, we had to search the entire Grape Seed Torture Room um, for Demi to see if she was there because she was missing. Her house was on. Okay. I don't know if you know, but there's a very suggestive picture of you in there. <sighs> Listen, what happened in the past is in the past, all right? I, I think there's nothing shameful about dancing for a living, okay? <laughs> but I didn't, I, 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 I didn't want to look at you disrespectfully, so I just didn't look. Well, good. What? I, I, and then I, I wish they take Kiki that down. And then, and then Jenny said not to tell Kiki because that's how relationships get fucked up. So you told me? I didn't know if you knew it was there because that would be fucked up if you didn't know it was there. What the heck? 
<laughs> well, I do. I, I do. I do know it's there, but there's nothing I can really do about it. But um. Nine sixty from nine eighteen. But Jenny said that. Yeah, she said that not to tell Kiki about it because that could mess up your relationship. What the heck? I guess because it's in you know Young Dab's like office. But, like, Young Dab hasn't been in the town for longer than you and Kiki have been together, I feel like, because that man's uh, not been around for a long time. Three, it's been a while. Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure you knew it was there, and uh, also, yes, uh, through no guilty conscience of my own, I want you to know I didn't look at it. Except for a second. Miss, Miss, well, Miss Andy and Miss Mushka did not have a lot of clothes on. Yeah, Come they, on. uh... It was different times, all right. Things were hard. Where you going? Yeah, no shame. I'm just um, uncomfortable with uh, pretty ladies, I guess. I don't know. Uncomfortable okay. with pretty ladies? Yes. What do you mean? Anyways, I gotta go. Hey, JB, I'm going for you too. Bye bye, Harper. Stay Sorry for ditching you. you. See you in AU, maybe. Okay. I, 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 I gotta go with Sessa. Bye. Goodbye. Drug queen, if you're gonna go up the main way, I'm gonna go up the, uh, the hill. <laughs> uh, I'm going on foot. That stupid oh. picture's been <laughs> there since, like, 2.0. And the Mendoza's gonna bite me. Hmm? Someone Hi. say my name? Well. I'm coming up the, uh, the, the south. Yeah, we made bank that night. Gilgari Tom, by the way, thank you for the 13 months. Welcome back. Bye bye. Yeah, I have a guy still outside of Vanelli. He's in the front uh, walkway where the cars are. I saw an individual here. <laughs> so I'm gonna roll on. Have a look. I'm going around to the front. Do, 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 <clears throat> Be advised, Barry Benson is sitting. Well, he just left. See in that Be black advised, uh, six star player. Ellie that took off last? Yeah, he's hey, still firm. here. All right, there's a blue and Hi, Tess. I'm currently helping out cool. a salt who just uh, sent his car in the ocean because he thought a robot was getting it. Because uh, someone who was in his car was trying to kill him, and now I'm trying to extort seven and a half thousand dollars out of him right, for helping. Blue MK2 with its engine running. Plato has gone for five on. minutes. The Ellie's back, sitting at the <clears> Um. Spotlight. Yeah. Uh. It's it's it's, it's taken care of now. We're about to. Uh, I'm on mission row. I'm on my way. Don't you worry. Okay. Lots happen though. Lots happen. I can't wait to update you on everything. Okay. I hope I hope you have about 45 minutes of time to kind of talk this all through. A lot happened. It was uh. It was quite. It was quite hectic. Flop. Are you going to turn him into his next Joker moment? No. I'm not giving him his Joker moment, okay? I just know whatever happened the first time I was not involved with, and <sighs> let me tell you. Somebody insulted him, and he left, and he came back with that gun. What? <laughs> yeah, that was what happened. It was pretty intense. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. That was Saul? Yeah, don't miss with Saul. Damn. Well, I'm here. Yeah, I'm Hop on okay. in. I gotta get the doors uh, fixed, because Saul broke both my doors. Right, stand by, stand by, one at a time. For the vault, the ninth front door in the front is still locked. We are going to be covering the main front doors. So yeah, uh, Saul, I, 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 I definitely didn't go and kick the shit out of Saul. That didn't happen. 
Uh, I wouldn't do that. That'd be I'm bad and messed up. Observe, uh, and that. Uh, you know, Saul and I had a nice conversation. Thank you. I appreciate you as well. Wear protection. Seatbelts are safe. Okay. So you, you kicked him? I know. I, I, I didn't kick him. I just, uh, I, I helped him. Uh, I assisted upper? him. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Oh. What happened? I think. You're right. Yep. You uneasy around gas pumps or something? Yep. Why? No reason. Is it my driving? Uh, no. I'm a good driver, Tessa. No one's ever insulted my driving before. Just had to exit from the vault downstairs. They're not coming upstairs to you guys on the north side. You got these 77s at the, the vault? <laughs> uh, ideally, for being control or for a charge. Well, I'm in an explorer, <sighs> but I'm good scene control. I'm good company. Just looking for the Los Angeles special. Take passage in five strips okay. on that drive. We're going to go to the vault. I want to go to a call, Tessa. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it to him. I'm going to do it to him. But don't boom him. Yeah, there's apparently a family dinner. at the vault for moral support. That's me. Okay. Miss Sunny, you need to answer the question. Wait, I, I have to answer a question? What question? You're good for What's the question? 202 requesting an additional unit. What's the question, Tessa? I don't know. Like, uh, ditch their vehicle in the ocean and it's going away with possible map. And all my way. We're on channel. I think we're on three. Hang on. Three? Okay. Hi, how are you? Are you okay? Uh, yeah, are you okay? Uh, just to repeat, they are looking for yeah. a free passage. Just making sure. Uh, the okay. Better not see you on a radio, okay? Better not see you on a radio, sir. Okay He's the press. That? He's the press? He's scary. Do you not know that is guy? What he is. He's scary. I saw. I met him last night. He's fucking terrifying. I don't what like do him. What do you mean he's scary? He's not scary. He's sc I'm scared of him. It's just the news. I don't like. I'm scared of socks. What? He has a sock on his head. We're gonna be getting into the. So you just don't uh, like I don't socks. MK2 that is I hate socks. The alleyway behind the vault. Okay. Everyone's scared of something, right? I'm, I'm scared, scared of, of socks. Water. You're scared of the, the water and gas pumps? Yes. Wait, does that mean you're scared of me? Because... Are you scared of me, Tessa? Because water... Are you scared of me? <laughs> no. Are you sure? Wait, am I scary though? Those guys are my you, buddies. Williams. Do I look scary? Hey, Bob, how do you feel no. about being what? secondary? I would love to be secondary. Okay, good but I, I'm always first they're, they're ready to, to the go. races. I'm ready. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, EMS, if you want. Please Don't you want to know why it's just, cool? Uh, no. South of Duff, okay. oh. I hate you, Flop. Oh. I hate everything about you. you. You know what? Hey, you. Come on. 
I think you're a nice person. They're gonna flip to channel four. You've got the wrong insignia on your on your thing. Units at the vault. There's someone. What do you mean? This is this is you're an enforcer, right? Yeah. Ranger. This this is the insignia yeah, for enforcer. A ranger wearing a cloak. What? Yeah. You tell me I've been wearing the Star wrong guard. insignia for. Wait, which one do I have on? You have just the regular old peacekeeper. Okay. It doesn't matter. No, it it, it kind of does. I think will take second I kind of stay back for the hospital. I'm kind of no. upset now. Why? Tessa, I'm upset. Huh? Answer the phone, Tessa. Oh, I'm sorry. Answer the phone. Sorry, I'm sorry. Tessa's being a phone guy. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Tessa. Been a phone guy this whole time. Hey, yep. what's going on? Yeah. Tessa, are you busy? Is there anybody that's going to be back for the hostage? If Tessa, I need to talk possible. to you as an emergency, please. <sighs> okay. The nines will take the hostage and we'll clear the Can, can you talk to me at Beaver Bush, please? It's, it's an emergency. Is it, like, Actually, really an emergency? Like, like, I have to ex I, I have to explain something to you. And I've been trying to explain it. I, I haven't been able to find, like, what happened a you around. I did Sorry. something and I just want to explain that everything's okay. And I don't know if you heard something from someone that might be different. Um, the other day, um, there was a dead Dan and um, I resurrected him because um, I had to put him back on Fingal's ass, but he's okay. I, it was a ritual, it was done. You can, you can ask Fingal. I, I don't know if the EMS reached out to you and told you like, I killed someone, but I, I swear to God, I did it. I put him back on Fingal's ass. Okay. Um, he's gonna come right over I, here I to us, sir. I'm not gonna say from who. Okay. Uh, but I, I do get some information about it. Are you guys doing great? I mean, I, I, I assure you, if he's not dead. I didn't dump him. You can ask Fingal. He's up Fingal's ass. It, it, um, he's what? Um, his name is. His name is. Tr his name is Travingle Dan. Travingle Dan it was, and Javingle Dan. And J Javingle told me that uh, Travingle was uh, something like uh, like a like a like a hemorrhoid or something to Fingle, and he had to go up his ass. So then, like, I took him from Viceroy, and then I drove him to the casino, and I I put him back where he belongs in Fingle's ass. Oh, thank. God, it was just hemorrhoids the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I don't know if people go around saying I killed someone and ocean dumped them. They are. And I was trying to, I was, yes, I was trying to like yeah. find something to tell them well, I wasn't actually, doing that. Well, actually, they didn't that. say you kidnapped Tessa? Tessa? and ocean dumped hmm. somebody. They said that you were, um, you stole a body and you took it to the casino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took him to the casino because uh, yeah. Boo was there as well, and Dan, Dan Tessa. was there, and Fingal. So you can always ask. I needed you for comms, Tessa. I needed you there for comms, Tessa. Tessa. We were, we were secondary. No, 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 no. Oh, we were Tessa. secondary, and I was being a phone guy. Look, they're coming this way. Well, okay, David. Um, if, if he was a hemorrhoid the whole time, then I'm not too worried about it. Tessa, secondary. Tessa, secondary. Tessa. We might need to. Uh, Meet up at some Tessa! point and discuss. Uh, push right on through to but I'm really being a phone guy on this vault robbery right now. Okay, I'm, no problem. I'll stay up I will, uh, right I will right be in contact uh, in a little bit, okay? All right. Bye, Tessa. Sorry. Okay, it's okay. Uh, I don't know, right? Eastbound, San Andreas. Wait, is this the vault? Yes, the vault. Okay, I can take comms. Oh, my uh, God. My God. Sir, we could use a 77 at Bay City. We're just going to go shape the hospital. Oh, um, I, 361 and 76. Can we switch the vault to a different frequency now? Yeah, I affirm. Uh, do we have a, a channel available? Uh, three? Channel 3 should be available, yeah. Okay, I'm switching channel 3. Um, please, 20. Uh, we're now southbound on center. Left I got eastbound a Tessa. center's passage. I got a Tessa. Right, southbound Little Bighorn. We're on the train tracks. Go ahead, go ahead, Tessa. Go ahead. Still southbound on the train tracks. Correction now on Little Bighorn. I will Continue your uh, westbound on Lowenstein car. now. Oh, he played me. Oh, God, did you see that? We're getting our ankles broken. They're on the train tracks. We're Lowenstein. Right. Did it, I did northbound it. Carson. Grabbing everyone, don't lose them. A firm left, I don't southbound lose. bro. I'm grabbing everyone. 
Grabbing our one. Right, northbound grow. Already on the roof? Already on the roof. Left. Oh. I lost! <laughs> we got our ankles broken again. We're They're in the canal. The Stopping down the altar. Right north on altar. We're going through the canals. I need to put west. Wait, you can't jump this way. I forgot. A 50. There's. Reversing. No! I'm sorry oh I was being God, a phone so guy. Um, I was trying to solve a murder. Oh. It turns out it was just hemorrhoids. Uh, what? <laughs> Virgin Northbound Calais. What? What? Northbound Calais. We're in the middle of people who just took Ken Sama hostage Ooh. and you're dealing with hemorrhoids? Well, it was a murder we're at first. Parking lot westbound. Yeah, there are so many now. more important things going on right now than oh, hemorrhoids. Northbound, well, I thought it was a murder. Northbound, I'm sorry. Sometimes right, those things are, you know, easily mixed northbound, up. Northbound, hemorrhoids, murder. I mean, well, the guy that died was actually a hemorrhoid. Oh. So David's had to put him back up Fingal's butt. Left westbound, east one way. Left southbound, uh, correction, door sets, merging east. Why is he going back door set? Right southbound, Palomino. 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 Everyone, Left do you need to go Andreas. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to eat my food. Yeah. Let me know what if are, I need some more comms. I got mac and cheese. Ooh, okay, okay. Does it? I I can't Shabble tell. Hopeful. It looks kind of homemade. Is it homemade? No. Oh. Wow. I don't even know. Looks how to like a homemade meal to me. Well, enjoy enjoy your your meal. Thank you. If I need to do secondary comms, I'll, I'll pick them up. No, no. I got this. It's okay. Okay. They, they gotta make a right. Turn, All right, Chad, I'm going to eat my food while we do this, so give me a right, sec. Westbound. What's yes. up, fool? All right, southbound Elton. And overhead, southbound Elton, passing Legion Square. Right, westbound Mississippi. Passing the Alta Street construction. Left, southbound Alta Street. Passing the apartments. Passing Banner Hotel, southbound Alta. Right, westbound Adam's Apple. Are there any other charges on, on this uh, frequency? On the pursuit? That's uh, correct. Alright, when the inevitable situation comes where they swap to that six star Elliot, when all the CVPI is in the explorers to stay on this. Pole. Getting out of place crushing. Okay, southbound Calais, get spikes ready. All through spikes on the swap car, just southbound. It's exiting out now. It's going to be 65 Mustang westbound on Lindsay Circus. Uh, S plus to westbound Lindsay Circus. Run overhead of that uh, left southbound South Rockford at the clothing store. This thing right, is. Right, southbound Palomino. I own one of these. On the vehicle. This thing's going to be hard. It's like north through Rock. We used to be. Nobody stayed on it except me. Copy. Uh, yeah, they're northbound all Elastic uh, Building. Westbound, Westbound Spanish. I need CVPIs to get, or Explorers to get on this Sultans and get on the Mustang. Northbound, go, going to Burger Shop, Burger Shop. I, I, I miss her barrack. Southbound through the alleyways. See ya. Westbound Eclipse with the Sultan. Do you need our one with you? No, just stay on the Mustang. Probably have some money. We give intermediate updates on the Sultan, and I need to, like, parallel units to get here as fast as possible. We're going to get out of here. Right, Westbound Edwood. Right, West Edwood. Where's Edwood? What? Westbound Edwood toward Portola. Left south. Oh, where's Portola? Oh, Left, God, Tessa. Eastbound Spanish. I, Spanish. I, I know that road. Right south on Caesar's Place. South on Caesar's Portola. Left south. Left, eastbound Boulevard, O'Pair. Go so east on Boulevard del Perro. Air one still on the Mustang. Found low power. Turing. Advise us with assault. Advise, vault is clear. 
I don't know where he's at. And also, it's going through uh, super sparking all around. I mean, that's lost goodness. The west one clip. I'm parallel right up, Eric. The westbound eclipse, and as soon as. Oh, there's an R35 here as well. See, we got stay, stay on the Stay on the Sultan. On it, westbound west eclipse. Okay. Continuing westbound west eclipse. Coming on to the Spoochie, here, one there. Let's you. Westbound west Spoochie. On it. Oh, it's going to south, uh, instance, instance, south. It went to, uh, eastbound, into alleyways, to squeeze into, um, onto power. I still got it. Went to, uh, Alta and instance. Honestly, everyone fuck the Mustang. Go to, uh, go to the Sultan or come to R35 with me. Go for their one. I got Sultan, go southbound, north Rockford. Breaking out for the Sultan. And we don't have enough chargers to deal with all these S class cars, so we're just gonna have to pick. Do you want us to keep comms on the Sultan? Yeah, go ahead. I'm on the R35 by myself, but it's gonna be like that. We Westbound Vespucci, please watch your space sig. You tear it eastbound Vespucci. Cutting through a little bit of an alley off of Vespucci toward the canals. I can't fit the Explorer through here. Someone uh, go around. Yeah, but I'm watching them. Right. Everyone go east. Go yeah, east. eastbound, eastbound. Continuing east, parallel to imagination. Coming out south towards that unit, careful. Dangerous block, whoever that was. Southbound. Went out on to South Rockford exit. Continuing southbound to Palomino. Get on Palomino, Palomino Avenue. He's going down to the ocean. canal. Don't One of them's getting down to that canal. One's out on foot. There's Swimming in the car's gone now. Car's out. They're both swimming southbound. I mean westbound, westbound. Maybe boat question mark? No, they're they're in the uh residences now heading north. One's on the running north through the houses. That uh C P D unit, you need to go down that alleyway. You just saw him cross, he's going north. There's one still in the water. Swim it back north. Uh, I'm on the one swimming. Keep an eye out for the Mustang in the in the R thirty five. BCB on Mustang. This guy's on the northeast corner crossing the bridge going north. It's uh, the, in the Explorer. He's on your right. Hey, Farm Sam. Uh, keep comms on it real quick. I'm swimming north. Still going radio. north. Give it up! Uh, I'm sorry! Now, why you ran in front of my car? He's about now out of the water. She broke cuffs. Still continuing north. I'm gonna wrap around, go and stick on. We're not trying uh, to run you over. What the fuck is this road? Rip me over. You'll be fine. Come Everyone's on. I'm gonna watch the other foot pursuit. You guys have enough on this one. He ran right into our car. We didn't mean to. Now. Stop! Uh, imagine. Does anyone here have a taser <laughs> out? Hey, no one <laughs> except for me. She tackled me. Leslie? Oh, you better stop you tackling. Just get away, since no one knows how to fucking do this properly. Now crossing She's west. Back in. Going across the canal to the west. I think <laughs> that uh, sounded the mad. Next street over Bay City. <laughs> Bay City and Palomino. Right here. <clears throat> Southwest corner of Bay City and Palomino. Coming out southbound to Palomino. Where's the other chase going? Oh, you hey! You're so cool sliding There's over the walls. There's a vehicle coming towards on Palomino. Gotcha. Uh, I got your lethal. stopping and reversing for her. I'm not sure what this is. That's not out. cool. She six broke star cups. Ellie going northbound Palomino. Right six star Ellie. Cool. Palomino passing the clothing store. Do you guys have a foot bail still? If we do, uh, prosperity. <coughs> uh, we're just on the sidewalk of prosperity, nearing one of the bridges for a Come burger shot. Now you turn back southbound. 
She's gonna be on You're radio, doomed. looking for an interference. Stinky. Units that are mobile, just keep an eye out for God an interference it. vehicle. Oh. Copy, copy. Stinky, 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 stinky. <laughs> the the area now. Oh, I'm going for cuts because you're stinky. Did we get her? Stinky. Uh, I got her. Wow. Get out of here. Oh god. If I don't follow it, just let just let him go. At the six star LE eastbound Carson passing the Mega Mall. The Are there any other foot bells? Negative, I think we're good. Into the canals below, Roy Lund, Team Did GCB. It. Do you need cars? It's firm. 76. What was the last one, 20? In the canals, northbound parallel to Little Bighorn, crossing under, I believe this is Innocence, Innocence Boulevard, continuing northbound towards MRPD. Northbound. Good shit, Tessa, sorry to bother you while you were eating in the food. Canals, parallel to Little Bighorn. Northbound behind MRPD. Northbound canals. And we'll lose visual when it gets under Del Pro Freeway. He's slowing and turning off road. I think he's going to the uh, the train yard above MRPD. He's still got him. He's still pushing north. He's going to Glory Way. Exiting right hand for Glory Way northbound. Oh shoot! In Glory Way, northbound. Oh shoot, Tessa, I must stop. On Mirror Park gas station. Right, eastbound bridge. Continuing eastbound bridge to Nicola. Right, southbound Nicola. I'm almost there. Right, westbound onto West Mirror Drive. Going into a driveway. Stopping. They might be swapping cars. There's 77 beyond flop. They're reversing, Sorry, reversing back onto Westmere Drive. Bound. Bound towards El Rancho Boulevard. Seeing El Rancho, bending south, southbound. Continuing southbound, El Rancho. The Mustangs here, I believe. This went westbound on the Spucci. Right, westbound, Capitol. Westbound Capital over Legion Fields Freeway. This is kind of a barrack. Still chasing R35. Copy. Okay, we're Westbound Capital right in, uh, to Little Bighorn. They're going around the old like uh, repair shop. Coming out Little Bighorn northbound. And on a, to Olympic Freeway railroad tracks westbound Olympic Freeway. Median. Opposite lanes of travel. Westbound Olympic Freeway. Over Power Street. Bending southbound Laporta Freeway. Opposite lanes. Left hand exit for Innocence. Possibly northbound on Laporta. BCB. BCB. No visual on Laporta. Remain in the canals as well. Hey, firm. If we're VCB, Bear, go and keep comms. Uh, he's eastbound through alleyway toward Adventure Court. He's going to come out on Palomino. See the guy that's on Palomino. He had to have been east on Palomino and VCB. Or VCB. They're doing a. Listen. I was on it forever. We started doing, like, you know, the whole Bondi boy shit all the way in. I, I, I can't follow it. No. Hey, Firm, I got that Mustang on me, uh, Lindsay Circus Calais right now. They're circling me. You want to keep up with this? You said which one? Yes, I'm grabbing okay. a charger. Do, do, do. do that. That was kind of You want to fucking pull it over, motherfucker? Yeah, Is pull it flop? over. I'd rather just fucking yeah. shoot you in the fucking what? Yeah, I'm sure hey, you fucking hey, want to. You want to go? Perfect name, Barrick. All right, vehicle's taking off Sapon Cali, left eastbound, Adam's Apple Boulevard. Continuing east, oh Adam's God. Apple, cross Alta, past the old impound lot. 
So at least Adam's apple left north, Elgin. Oh, got a 50. No, left westbound, Vespucci beats me. Right, northbound power. Power, lower power. Right, right. eastbound, uh, San Andreas. It's okay. Uh -oh. I hate him! It's not okay. <laughs> I hate that motherfucker! <laughs> I hate him! Oh, I, got the no. east side. I got him, he's going westbound Vespucci. Right <laughs> north Alta, he's gonna have a lot of distance on me. Northbound Alta. <clears throat> Avalacia, thank you so much for the right uh, 21 months tier 3. Legend Jay getting scammed once I'm again. Stay, uh, left. Left. Northbound lower power. Yeah, so you him. caught me while I was eating, I'm sorry. Pushing north all the way to integrity, left westbound. Jumping onto the freeway, 15, <laughs> hard 15. Darn it. You're turning back eastbound, going back southbound, lower power. Out. Southbound, lower, incorrect lane. Spiky, spiky. Oh, oh, oh. And what? Boarded on westbound. Let's try. Right. Westbound, lower. Oh. Incorrect lanes, right northbound, also. Secondary, Wait, westbound. Stay firm. Oh. Ah, go and take a primary. Fuck. Jeez. So pushing west on San Andreas. I hate locals. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. <laughs> Tessa, I hate them. I hate them. I hate them so much. Yeah. We're sending it west. <laughs> We're pushing west San Andreas. Oh, man. Biotox, thank you so much. Pushing the Bay City. Thank you for that raid. Right northbound Bay City. Yay. Food of the forest, yes. Northbound Bay City past the bank. Breaking a red desert right east. Oh, man. We're in a... A vault Just robbery spikes. pursuit. Right south on through an alleyway behind base uh, bank. I do. We're pushing south. south all the way down to Burgershine. There's a bison in the alleyway. Be careful. Breaking right westbound. Sand I don't Park. really trust myself with them, Gaining but right northbound Bay City. Left to westbound Sandcastle. Westbound Sandcastle. Left southbound Magellan. All right. You know my crypt tonight. They're gonna do it to me again. Left eastbound Vespucci. I, 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 I hate him. Eastbound I Vespucci. fucking hate him. <laughs> My paralleling is so bad right now, I cannot parallel this car to save my life. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. And I hope you had a great stream, Biotox. Hope you all are doing Pushing well Palomino. today. Over Palomino. Over Calais, continuing eastbound Vespucci. Passing right garage. Passing peaceful, passing Alta. Mr. Bjorn. Passing power. OMG, it's Josie to give the five uh, right, months as well. The Welcome back. Power approaching Elgin. Coming out Elgin, right southbound Elgin. Right again, westbound Adam's Apple. Left southbound power. Go push and send. Left eastbound Innocence. Continue Innocence. Left northbound Strawberry. Right eastbound Capital. Eastbound Capital over Davis, 22, right eastbound, 22, westbound Davis. Going into the alleyways, uh, coming out uh, Royal Ownstein towards Little Bighorn. <clears throat> Back on Little Bighorn. What the flip and is Prime Gaming? Well, westbound I'll Amazon. tell you. If you so have Amazon I cannot Prime, this Mustang, and you link to, it I mean, to a Twitch an account, makes sense. you get one I cannot free keep sub to your favorite streamer at all. Every month. I'm like, he's going to make a right. He then makes a left, then he makes another right and left, then he goes to an alley, then he's in a spot that I can't parallel. Plot then is he's having gone. a meltdown. I hate him. I'm just listening to him. Did you hit him? Yeah, every month for free. Yeah, of course you wouldn't go integrity. Why, why, why would you want to go integrity, Tessa? Why? Why would he want to drive integrity? He want to go on Del Perro, would he? Who loves integrity? Flop. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, great. I love this. I love. I love paralleling. Do you need me to drive? No. 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 I'm. I'm fine. I am so capable of. Dri I'm so happy right now. <laughs> Oh, chat, We're it worked. Together. It's it worked. Great. We got one. Cheese and it smells incredible. Oh, man. Etane, thank you very much for the rhyme. We did it. We've achieved something. <laughs> He's going to make a right again. Ready? Ready? Immediate right. 
launch it into the promenade onto Cougar coming out. Oh, no, no. East. Oh, no. Why, why would he? He'd just make a fucking left. He would just make a left. Oh, my God. I did it. I finally paralleled him. Holy fuck. Wow. I did it. Did you see that? I, I saw. Yeah. Oh, my God. I blocked him. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, flop. Oh, man. Oh, man. What's happening? Uh, oh, my God. Oh, God. I love locals. I love them. They're fucking great. Uh, Lucifer, thank you for the gifted sub. And Broomer, and thank you for the 39 months as well. Trigger not a hype train. Look, chat. The hype train brought fireworks. You did this. Wait, what? Go Bay City, I'm gonna keep going north, okay? Just go ahead. I just saw a speeding car going north down Bay City, I thought. Stand by. I saw it too. Is that him? Northbound Bay City, maybe? It was a blue color sports car. Yeah. Uh, BCB, who's the unit chasing it right now? TPD? CPD unit? I think uh, it's from the I Bay it, City. Of course. What about Magellan? Magellan. Magellan. Logging down to smoke and he's U turning, taking it back to Bay City. So oh, he's taking the slip to uh, Del Perro Tunnel. Del Perro Tunnel eastbound. <laughs> He's losing it. Eastbound Del Perro. Everyone's got it. Eastbound Del Perro under Movie Star Way. You know, Tessa? Continuing eastbound under uh, Palomino. I love driving. Love Little it. Little part exit. Continuing eastbound Del Perro. It is my favorite activity when I'm on duty. Under Alta. Under Power. Under Elgin. Everyone BCB. Still push the east. Smoking and bogging down. Kevin out like 127. He's gonna pull on. Uh, Diusian, thank you for the 22 yeah, months as well. Andreas, Welcome back. And by, he's continuing eastbound toward a. I hit something. I'm northbound Mirror Park Boulevard. Oh my god. Ah! Uh, northbound Mirror Park Boulevard. Uh, oh, this is just smoking. It's fine. It's just, for Nicola. It's just a smoking car. It's, it's fine. Could Park keep Boulevard. it up before, but you know, yeah. Now, 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 now I'll really I'll keep up. Curiel coming time. with the five gifties. Thank you so much. Passing by the Gazino. Hype train going strong. Vinewood Boulevard, slowing left, south on Meteor. Wee wow! Wee wow! Look out! Oh man. Westbound Hollock. Los Lagunas. Forging San Vitus. The key to chat is W chat. That's true. Actual true. Also, chat is pretty stinky. Also, Kirill, thank you for the additional gifty. Got on point with me, Bay City. Eagles pulling on me. Right westbound Dorset. Red Engine coming in with a gifted sub as well. Thank you so much. Please travel northbound North Rockford Drive. Pass by the Huh? Tessa? Yeah? Hello. Hello. Ah! Ah! Was that the car? I don't think so. Getting northbound North Rockford Drive. Passing by the gas station now. Hold him up. I don't like this guy. Eagle slowing, slowing, right, eastbound, stand by. Marlo. I'm gonna Passing fix the Parsons. car. Okay. I wanna fix the car. Vehicle stopped in the, uh, 
On Marlo going off road. On the bright by. side, if I can't chase them, I might as well just, you know. Driver is getting out on Marlo. Driver's oh, getting okay. out on Marlo. That's great. U turn, U turn on Marlo. Now westbound. This is this is great, Tessa. Look at us off go. Off road, off road, westbound. We're keeping up. We got, you know, honestly, I, I think this all started because Turn I was tertiary. Again, now eastbound on Marlo. You and not secondary. More. Northbound Marlo. If we were secondary to start the chase, I think that I would have definitely been in a better position. Approaching <laughs> North Rockford, southbound North Rockford. Passing by the gas station, southbound North Rockford Drive. Yeah, I'm sure if we were secondary, it would have been a lot better Working for the us. Off for the court center, South I'm glad you agree, honestly. I was worried you weren't going to, uh, you know, agree with Passing me. Right and then it, it, it would have been awkward. Why so I'm so glad that we, we, you know, we have, we have so much to, to, to level with. That, you know, we're North both on the same level with that. All right, where are they at? All right, take it. Southbound North Rockford, passing colorful garage. Right ahead of us. Southbound. Fantastic. Over San Andreas. Fucci. Looks like he's taking Vespucci. He's taking Vespucci. Vespucci. Well, he's too fast. Right. Southbound Palomino. Oh, Southbound Palomino. Right to Ginger. Ginger Street. Spending oh, west to South Ginger. Rockford. Maybe. Left southbound South Rockford. Ooh. Overhead. Ooh. Southbound South Rockford. Ooh. Passing by Ooh. the Pawn Hub. Ooh. Pawn Hub. Merging Dutch London. Southbound. Approaching the rust compound on Dutch London. Taking South Arsenal with eastbound. I can do this. Taking South Arsenal eastbound. Approaching Alta. 22. I'm now on Muni southbound. I know Alta. Continuing westbound on Muni off road. 22. Stand by. Now westbound Muni. Approaching Dutch London. Why are they going south? Vehicles now in Dutch London. Why are they going westbound south, Tessa? Not They're going north gonna now. It. Tell them to cut more north. Pushing south, out toward Mutiny, left eastbound. Now north, out toward Dutch London. Dutch London north. Pushing toward this place. There. Oh, God. So You're putting a GPS marker down. I'm so dumb. North oh, God. That's the clothing store, northbound North Rockford. Watch this. Watch this. Ready? Staying right hand for Decker northbound, Decker Street northbound. I'm helping. Is this the right one I'm on? You're helping. You are helping. Yeah, it's just <laughs> Australians. I don't know how else to say it. Uh, what to do? Thank you what? for the hundred biddies. Our way of approaching Life Invader, right? Eastbound Boulevard Del Perro. Eastbound Boulevard Del Perro. Uh, to the old gallery almost. Approaching it, going to Hollick. Eastbound Hollick. Eastbound Hollick past the Plica. Bermuda Strait, eastbound Hollick. I did Alta it. Gunas. I did it. Approaching Alta. I'm proud Hullick, of you. Hullick. I did Hullick. it. Hullick, South Alta. Look, there he is. I'm in a parallel. Look at this. Up and straight over. I really would parallel. like to stop That's being a phone guy. What's up? I've had three more Perfect phone calls Vespucci. since my last one since Over this Vespucci, chase started. You know, Perfect honestly. Did you take them though? Over Adam's apple. No, because I needed my phone. <laughs> Who called you? On, uh, Alta. Mina and a, a couple numbers I don't know. Excuse me! We will! Have the same black GTRs before. Everyone's in the red. It, it, taking it left on Davis. <laughs> eastbound Davis. Wait, left on Davis? Why did the other car just break off? Vehicle stuck right for eastbound I Davis. I don't know. What? What? Everyone's gonna have to pull off soon, right south of Carson. Eastbound Carson. I'm, I'm like a street or two over, try to hold it for a second if you can. Uh -oh. Right. Eastbound Carson. Now we marching will get out of here. Two. Eastbound. 50 with a racer, 50 with a racer. You got time to catch up on our rancho, on the bridge, over the canals. Approaching Popular. Right south, approaching Cum Street. I like Cum Street! I'm on my way! Southbound Popular. Left, eastbound. Hang our way. I was gonna have to pull off. Copy. Did he make a left or did he continue? He went straight and made a left. I left northbound by. on South Shambles. 
Yeah, he's got a lot of distance. I mean, he's going back toward El Rancho. Uh, right eastbound, El Rancho. Correction, northbound of ECB. Elysian Fields, Elysian Fields, northbound. Everyone's landing at Trooper PD. Copy that. Oh, no, that was him up there! Yeah, that was him. I just saw it. In the right hand exit, no staying on Elysian Fields, northbound. Oh, is he? Wait, travel. what? I think he might have gone over and me. then back on. He might have. Okay. Landing westbound El Perro Freeway, taking off road to San Andreas. Oh, he's, he's crashing here. He's crashing here. Might be turtled. Disregard. He's back on his feet, going down to Elysian and Del Perro. Hi, Oberon. Oh, yuck. Oh, Oberon. Oh. 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 Get away from me. Get away from me. Oh my god. Oh god, Oberon. Oh. Continuing through the train tracks. I don't know if I'm gonna fit here. Oh wait, he might be stuck here. Hold on. He fits that shit. Okay. PCB. Uh oh. They're gonna jump up to popular. I'm so sorry, Mendoza. I did not mean to. You're good, you're good. Do you need our one up? Uh, just fucking commit to the full recoil at this point. We're northbound popular. That's an auto. Westbound Highway, Guard 35 is back. With the six star LE. Just when I thought I was doing good, I grieved for Howard. the team! Gotta work it with the BBFC now. That's a rock for pause. That's the ambush fleet cut. Cross over Eastbourne, incorrect lanes now, Westbound Howick. Pushing west. I'm speed. Crossing over Dorset. We'll send you west on Boulevard Del Perro. I'm speed, Tessa! All the way to Bay City. And by. Breaking right north. Northbound Bay City, merging on the west eclipses. Uh, media 22 continuing eastbound west eclipse in front of the British block. Breaking right south on North Rockford. Got something on your oh ass. Oh my okay. god. He's getting eastbound through the. My like, dog is so gross sometimes. The, uh, block, like last time. Morning, man. Come out to morning, woods. Morning, woods south. Cross over Cougar. South on morning, wood. He came up here and he, he ran to me. Secondary. And then he Secondary. put his Secondary. nose Secondary. under my arm, lifted it. Put his face on my blanket and my shirt, and when he moved away, it was just wet. Like, just everything was wet. Can we come out next to Burger Shot? Passing Burger Shot, southbound, standby, prosperity. Taking the first jump. Oh, God. What? I got close. So, southbound, prosperity. You want me to get caught? Right, westbound, Palomino, disregard left, eastbound, Palomino. You want to take it? One of, the, one of the parallel units on frequency with spikes. I want you to go sit yeah. behind the colorful garage with spikes. Okay. Left, westbound South Rockford. Right, North Ginger. Everyone overhead, northbound Ginger. Now oh, San Andreas, wow. right, eastbound San Andreas. You can keep having your mac and cheese if you'd like. Sounds like Air One's got it. Right yeah, again, I, south, I think we're good. Yeah, yeah. I think you'd I have you. You can eat your mac and cheese. It's fine. Uh, How much mac and cheese was it? Was it good? Yeah. I'm good now. Coming out San Andreas, VCB again. One eastbound San Andreas. R35 clear for high speed pit. He left me a present. Oh god. VCB. Eastbound, eastbound. Got it again, eastbound San Andreas. If that's a present from him, I don't want something that's not a present. Southbound Strawberry over Adam's Apple. Passing by GG Gas, southbound. Uh, right, uh, yeah, westbound Innocence. Now merging Elgin, northbound. Of course he's going Olympic. Why? 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 <laughs> Why would he just continue? Why? That's crazy. Coming out west. Oh, sorry. Northbound. Here they go. Here's the R35 on Olympic. <laughs> so northbound power. R35 is going La Puerta North. Northbound lower power. Then up for left, left westbound San Andreas. Hey! 
Stop the car! They're on westbound San Andreas, passing by Red Garage. I'm passing by White Garage. What the heck? Passing over Palomino. I'm not a parallel with this. Okay. Right again onto the uh, La Parta Freeway. We're gonna be at La Parta Freeway upper, right lane to travel southbound. Six two three is a colorful garage with spikes. Yeah. He's a Parta. Upper La Parta southbound. Do you hear him? They're on La Parta Freeway. That's five times in the two chases that I've been in involved in this thing. So they're gonna come through again. Doing southbound, <laughs> Upper La Puerta, over Innocence. Oh, they're upper now. Make sure you have your car hidden and like turn your lights Oh my god, that's a tree. Oh, Came out of nowhere. The rust compound. Who the fuck is over? That's Taking it. the exit for uh, Dutch London. Yeah, that's a pretty big Take tree. Green pretty big tree. Jumped out of the fucking north. west, now south. If I hit it any harder, I would have turned into the fucking paper. Everyone's got an towards Dutch London. Everyone's got it on Dutch London now, northbound. 22, BCB. Westbound, westbound. Indian. Where are they? Oh, I see him. Oh, no, they're coming back this way. I'm not paying attention. This, is, this one's my fault. Actually, this is going to work out perfectly. Check this shit out. Holding left for North Rockford. Oh, no. Why would they continue Pally? Coming back to the Delta area. Left, westbound Palomino. Passing by Vice Roy, RAP. Continuing westbound Palomino. I'm all right, Tessa. I'm good. Right, northbound Bay City Avenue. I'm just going to... Stand up, Tessa, on. do you want to drive? Yes. Yeah, I could drive. I don't know. Okay, great. <laughs> Here you go. Continuing southbound through alleyways. Now back on Magellan, southbound. Just for you, Tessa. Here you go. Approaching the Billy. Into the We're alleyways. 07, 07 bear. Did not go into the oh, billy. just no, in time to go and die. Like the melanoma. <sighs> I'm just going to stay on street. Bye. We're on Rub Street. BCB. He's coming out on Bay City, on left westbound through the alleyways towards the Billy Wright northbound Magellan. Got him northbound, northbound Magellan. Magellan. He's into a local. He might be out. He might be no, out. He's out. He's out. We need he's units here on Magellan. Hey, get out of here. That car. We got one on foot heading eastbound on Agusa. Black TTR. Black TTR. Black TTR. Be careful! Black GTR leaving the scene. Do you want everyone to pursue? Yeah, stay on the GTR. All right, we're heading northbound on Palomino. 22 eastbound Palomino. I want two units with that Mustang. You have an interference, Barrick. Did he mean the Mustang or the Dominator? I, heading northbound I Palomino. think he meant this car because this guy is alone. Barrick, status? Motion King, that wasn't intentional. Into the red garage, VCB. This is a Mustang. Push the north. Got him north on Las Lagunas. Uh, Server uh, Center, VCB. Going through Union Depository, VCB again. Coming out lower power, question mark. <sighs> well, they stopped, they stopped. You turn and coming back out west, back out west. Hey Tessa, you want to know something? North power. Wow. Okay. No one stayed with the original vehicle in the canals. Eastbound Integrity? So... <laughs> yeah. Is it Went gone? Out strawberry. No, I got it impounded. Not strawberry, VCB. I had to wrap around, I was like, Everyone's I don't think on anyone Avenue. stayed for the vehicle, and Overtain no, and no one did. That's alright. Over Spooky. Spooky Avenue. 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 Virgin Carson. Over Carson. I got PT all the way. Left. Eastbound Carson. Documented. Passing Mega Mall. Okay. Eastbound Carson Avenue. Oh God, we got to the train tracks on Carson. Storm. Everyone's going to try to cut them off. Okay, sending it so far. Still pushing through. Everyone's got him. We're on a little big horn parallel awesome. in the canals. The canal's now northbound. Still high speed pits authorized on this one. Off road, stand by, VCB. Slowing hard, slowing hard, you turn. Railroad, southbound. We're gonna have Monroy Lowenstein. Lowenstein. Yeah. Yep. Did we lose southbound. that 95 we had? 
Which one? Southbound Roy Lowenstein. There was a girl we had theft. Did right. she get on no, we, we got the. We got her. Into the parking garage off okay. of McDonald, VCB. We just didn't get. We haven't what? gotten anyone else. Westbound. Prince Davis. Right, northbound. Hello. Everyone's got him on Davis. Let me Davis. move your, uh, the car here. Eastbound Davis Avenue. Virgin Capital, eastbound. Over the Capitol Bridge. Approaching Popular. Let me move my flap. Approaching uh, El Rancho. Huh? Ah? Huh? She's in the Where way. Where did truck come from? Requested. No idea. Just popped into existence. Southbound El Rancho. On Fudge, westbound. Coming out, Innocence. MC vehicle. Yeah. Innocence westbound over Elysian Field. Okay. Wow. I was threatened by the BM BBMC. Popular, if I ever by. impound one of their cars or put it on the tow truck, they'd innocent. kill me. Entering the south like, side. I can like do it, it anyway. anyway. Okay, I'll protect you here. Coming to you. I Coming to you. will you. protect you. Right. Yeah, yeah, just uh, make sure we oh, escort me this time, because oh, last I time I didn't get it. We I didn't get an escort, and that was when they Never. pulled me cars over and they took me up to the mountain and beat me up. Oh, I'm I'm sorry that happened. No one's gonna come near you. Right. Flap. Oh. Oh yeah. Right. All right. Cool. Jesus. Listen, I was making sure no one. I, I'm good. I'm good. This is gonna be an easy one. All right. All right. We gotta escort him. Two three breaking off from Colorful heading that way. That's Van Adams Apple approaching Calais. We're on Calais now. Right northbound Calais. Hit this motherfucker. Hey, when we get closer, I'm gonna go up ahead. We're stopped on Kulti, right outside Uwu. The vehicle on scene. We're now south on Kulti. Uh oh. I believe this is the vehicle, oh, fuck. right? Did, uh, did you guys miss this? I thought he went northbound. No, this is it right here. It doesn't have any tires, unless I'm uh, mistaken. He got out of the vehicle with no tires. He got into another vehicle. <coughs> he did. I didn't. I didn't see that. Thought he did. Oh, um, I don't. I don't know. Maybe uh -oh. he got back in. I was. Were they chasing the wrong car? May as well get it. I think so. They did the old switcheroo. Do we have it? Huh? What's up? Uh, Calais. They did uh, some kind of switcheroo, I think. Yeah. We have one ground unit here. I gotta break off because. Uh, We're right outside Calais. There's a lot of people still on duty. I'm surprised. There's... Merging east. Is it normally this popular at this hour? No. I was on duty yesterday. Right. There were like 13 cops on duty. What's going on? This is this is crazy. Eagle is being boxed on Adam's apple right under the uh, Laporta freeway. Everyone's going to have a hard time uh, calling this one. <laughs> Kirk Jerks was still on scene. That guy's got a warrant. Let's focus on this. Hey. We're on Alta Street now, Alta and Adam's Apple. Right at the intersection. Hit that thing into a wall and box it. Eagles attempted to be boxed right at the center of the intersection of Adams Apple and Alta Street. I'm gonna make a break for it southbound Alta. Eagles continuing pit at southbound Alta, approaching Innocence. Fantastic pit. Oh, what the fuck? No idea. Reversing south, uh, 22 Sorry, north, Alta. There's that six star alley. We have a six star alley on scene. And a doctor's here as well. Thank right, you. I appreciate guys. it. You're all good You're to welcome. go. All right. Yeah, thank you. Obviously. North Alta. Everyone's VCB. Again, North Alta approaching apartments. My thing's been impounded. Hit him. North Alta on Vespucci, vehicle 50. Vehicle might be out, not moving. 
Eagle's moving again. Question. On Alta. Nearest cross is gonna be Yeah. Vespucci. You ever wonder how soda Vespucci. can be Eagle's green? Turning, and it glows in the dark? Pitted into an office building. And yet we still Down drink it? That's between, uh, Wait, what? And Alta. Did you know that Mountain Dew like glows in the dark if you like mix it with something? There are a lot of aspects to soda that make it not something we should drink. I have 10% gas. I'm just saying, they got that, that code red or whatever it is, and it's like fluorescent red. What could that possibly be? Do you want me to stay with the car? Garbage? Yeah. I don't know, like... We, uh, for all intents and purposes, we should not consume uh, soda. LG on scene. Six star LG. Six star LG. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Driver just tried taking off. He's stand by. To take it off now. Tasers never work on Australians, do they? No, Guys, I think it's time to finish this fight. <laughs> Pure energy. Is, is that your way of saying get aggressive? Yeah. Like, I'll, I drink a lot of soda, and I'll be the first one to have tell you, plus. it's actually no, really, poison. Have I been an a you should not drink time? soda. No. <laughs> also, when did we swap back? When did I get in the driver's seat? Into the train tracks off of cars. I don't know. Out, uh, when the Lane fuck did... Why did they go down? Uh, little big why did they go down? On the hand side. I'm... Now... Now... Yep, now it's it's pop okay? No, pop's terrible. If anything, pop's worse. This is from the south. Are they going to take the uh, the train tracks that go to war in the Lundstein or send it all the way through the glory? Everything's unhealthier in the south. When did you get out of the, the driver's seat, Tess? I'm so confused. Sending it straight through under Olympic. Under Vespucci. Getting northbound in the canals. Under San Andreas. Now listen, listen, all right? The they use freeway, butter in the south, okay? Uh, everything's unhealthier. Bye. Southern cooking is Good literally job, just butter. Everything is butter. Speed. No exceptions. Sorry, I almost lost my cool. Uh, Sun's in my eyes. It's morning. Uh, right eastbound. <gasps> I'm getting scared. Right eastbound on Westmer Drive. Don't be fright. Now, Park Boulevard, I'm frightened southbound. by my own driving right now, Tessa. I can't it's, keep up. Well, do you want me to drive again? <laughs> you might have to. Why Why? Okay. Why is my driving so bad right now? I don't know. Sometimes you just get tilted. Oh, man. I want gas. Southbound on Richard. As a southerner, I approve of this generalization. I know. Listen, I'm Maybe from the south, okay? Approaching capital. I grew capital. up in Missouri. All right? Not may not be the south They're south, but it's it's pretty... <laughs> it's pretty south. <laughs> Westbound on Rancho over the Elysian Fields Freeway. We have no gas, Smile. In Populous Street on El Rancho, stand by. Overpopulated. How long has this change been going on, Tessa? Honestly, there's a uh, on Let me see. Let me check my phone calls. Uh, yeah, go, <laughs> go for it. Everyone's having a hard time seeing with the sun in his eyes. We're passing the Mega Mall, Westbound Carson. Approximately one hour. Uh, merging in a Good. Remind me to never respond to uh, a vault no, again. Northbound. But there's no um, detail within that, so it could be an hour and like 58 minutes. Because the phone only shows an hour ago and then it skips to two hours ago. Right. So it kind of could round up or down. I'm not sure. Okay. So at least an hour, maybe less. I was gonna call maybe more. Yeah. Are we BCB like for real? For real? No. Oh no. Barrett. Huh? I'm so upset. We're BCB. I will code six northbound Alta. Guys, I had to get gas. We should get gas. Lost them. That's crazy. Goddamn explorer map. Bob, <laughs> are you gonna be here after stuff? I'm gonna talk to you. Yeah? Alright. Is this about yesterday? Oh, we'll talk about what it's about. You don't worry about it. I'm gonna call you. I don't like that stress. 
TD Toe has arrived at the Peaceful Street uh, car that they've abandoned, the black one. Look, it's a Yeti! Guys, I have terrible news. I don't have enough cash. Oh, God. The one. Oh! Whoa! Okay, hold on. Do me a favor. Can you just tell me? Just huh? give me. I'm scared. I don't like being told. Okay. What <laughs> is ridiculous? He's on the phone. What did I fail? Good news. That's just a. That's just a disregard. Give me, give me just like a little like tidbit. What's going on? Please, I don't like the stress. I can't. You know what? Hello, Tessa Lamb, phone guy. Who, 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 who got punched? Uh, Hello, Tessa. This is Aziz. How you doing? Hi, Aziz. How's it going? How's it going? Wait. Wait. Good. Um, Tips punched you in the eye. I was warned for my arrest, and a bunch of officers tried to arrest me on the phone. Oh, what? What am I trying to do? He said, "Witness tampering," and I don't even know what the fuck that means. I was like wondering uh, if you could give me some huh? like, context on what the hell they are asking me for. Let me take a look. What and does I'll that see even mean? Or was this the primary escape route from this black appearance? Did they make contact with any suspects? Any officers? When? Yeah, I'm about to go like crazy. How? Okay. How long ago? Violent felony. You mean the only soul good that I rode with was Gemma, and I got approval from Stubble. Uh, I'm just scared because I, I, I didn't do nothing like at all recently and I, I don't know what's going on with it. All right, and just one caveat of us putting it in for violent felony is somebody... I'll clean up the messy SU room! room. Has to put a brief description in there of what happened and that I will, I will, I will. If oh. this is about the solo cadet thing, then I I'll, I'll clean this real quick. I think I know what it's about. We can do that. We can put a full story. Stubble, when, when I called him, I said, Stubble, can I ride with Gemma? Uh. He said, I... Did you help Dundee Peace. with something? Uh, this is true. Last thing um, I with the TLDR, Dundee. as I called Stubble, I said, "Hey Stubble, can I ride with was Gemma?" And his he, exact words like were, "Sure, I don't care." When, okay. Uh, and I, I helped him just like uh, oh, right. make some money. Like we just did a couple jobs together. Yeah. Nothing like. Okay. I got approval. Well, I got the um, approval. There's not a lot I'm gonna be able to help you with right now. I would recommend that you contact an attorney and try to get this figured out, because there is oh. a warrant out. Okay. Well, okay. there was a phone call. And I, 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 there's not a lot like I can do about it. I, um, I don't know the full situation. The, but is it the witness tampering? That's what the, the guy that yes, tried to arrest me earlier. It is. Oh shit! What the hell? Now that's that's a pretty serious charge. Um, yeah. It, yeah, I would recommend an attorney uh, as soon as possible. Okay, okay, I'll And if you if you want to, you know, get ahead of it, um, I would probably suggest turning oh, yourself no. in to try and sort it out, but that's up to you. Where are they at? Where are they Where at? Are they at? Where they oh, at? Uh, they about it. Nothing. Why they shoot us for? Why they shoot us? For? Sorry, Aziz, what, what did you car? say? Uh, I said I, I talk to a lawyer and, and see what the best course of action is, but yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm kind well, of I don't, confused. I don't know the details. I don't know exactly what they got you on, but the witness tampering is the charge. So, uh, no. my advice is get an attorney because that is a pretty serious one. That is a hut charge. Yeah, that's what I saw. That's yeah. why I got concerned. Usually, I have warrants for like uh, very stupid things, but yeah, this is very scary. Okay, well, I mean, if you're actually not involved in it and you, you don't think uh, you did any kind of witness tampering, then get an attorney, have them contact the police, and maybe coordinate some kind of uh, interview and see if you can resolve it. Okay, yeah, sounds good. Nice. You can do that. I'll talk to a okay. lawyer tomorrow. Oh, see. Yeah, sorry I can't really share more. It's I think it's still ongoing, so... It's your, yeah, it's your job, I understand, but I didn't know where else to go, so I got your number, I, I, I tried to call instead. Right. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Oh okay, god, thank I you, think Mr. I got to go. Alright, you bye -bye. take care, goodbye. Ah! Who's shooting? The cops, they told you they were shooting us for nothing! Oh god, Chatterbox, no! Are you sure they're on the Opal Pass? Ah! Oh, Where is she? Yeah. Stop it! Look, it's falling apart. Wait, is that a Ritter cop that I just shot? I think it is. What's going on out here? This is so violent. Hey, Bloom. 
Yo, mama. Oh my god, oh, I never I pulled a gun at me. Oh. And not pull the trigger. Back. Richard! My back. Wow. Don't worry, he Richard, I saw that. Ah! Why'd you pull his back? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, wait, Good night forever. It's, it's okay, it was just hemorrhoids. Well, wait, wait, what? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, uh, Every time I sit, I bleed. <laughs> That's Ow, my head! Ow! Oh. oh my god. What a bunch of idiots. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Good night, Patsa! Good night! Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, guys. Good night. I, know you I guys. love you all! Fuck you, Chowderbug. I love most of you, except for... Except the stinky ones. You know who you yeah, are. Except the stinky ones, yeah! Except the stinky you, ones. I take a shower every single day. So? I don't. <laughs> Oh, man. I'm banning everyone that just partook in that. I'm banning you all. Everyone is banned. Rip. Goodbye. <laughs> today... Today was busy. What the heck was today? Honestly? I partook. Listen, they shot me first. All right. I didn't shoot nothing. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. So the phone subpoena. Um, apparently, I need to contact a judge and I checked throughout the day. I don't think Grayson's going to be one we were going to need. Uh. So we, we were given the subpoena, like, approval, and it was signed, but we have to actually get with a judge to do it, and Grayson was the only one available, and he was in a trial for most of the day. So we'll pass that along to someone tomorrow, probably. Um... Let's see... All right, I guess maybe I can go to the meeting. Maybe. There's probably going to be a judge there. Is he going to be the judge I want? <laughs> Things are a bit awkward with the one that we've been working with. Okay, hold on. Hold on, chat. Okay, I'm going to let that load in. I will be right back.
I am returned. Hello. How you doing? Fine, how are you? I'm uh I'm I'll be fine in a few minutes after I stop running. A little bit uh a little winded, you know? You're winded, why are you winded? Uh well mostly because Jeanette hit me in the face before uh before the storm hit me in the face and I'm I'm oh. still recovering a bit. Uh, and I can't hurdle. I can't hurdle the the, the cart there. I, I'm, I'm out of shape. I need to. I need to get back to the. That's gym. all right. Not everyone can be peak physical fitness like me. That's true. You, you seem to be really good at this. It's all about the cardio. Uh, yeah, I gotta. I gotta. I ride my bike to work uphill. Have a good uh, shift, Miss Tesla. Thank you. You'll be all right, Barrick. You'll be all right. That's how you get your promo, Barrick. Oh, okay, okay. My bad. I slipped. I slipped. The clipboard is getting full. What do you mean the clipboard is getting full? I am a great leader. That's true. More like a dictator. <laughs> I will bring justice, he's peace, standing weird to, to my out. new empire. Yeah, yeah he's standing. Oh, yeah. Right down. <laughs> hey Dan, uh, what's your canine's name? What was that? What's your What's your canine's name? Dude? What do you say, dick shit? No. Oh, dude. My bad, I missed yeah. you. Hey, uh, so how's everybody doing today? Doing great. Fucking great. Doing Woo! Great. All right. Nice. Yeah. All right. I like the energy of this room, man. Now fuck people up. Yeah, Hell fuck yeah. them up. Tessa, you have any announcements on behalf of the Rangers? Nah. Didn't think so. All right, Perv, you guys selling cookies oh. or something? You want me to get him, Tessa? You want me to get him? Wasn't there like a dead dog or something earlier? No, that's okay. Davies, you couldn't even you can't you can't even get your girlfriend. What are you What are you talking about? Get me. Oh. What? <laughs> you know, I took her uh, on a submarine. You know, uh, Davies thought he was dating this uh, girl, Cookie Lou. She agreed to go on to a uh, submarine date with me. Oh, those are pretty. Uh... Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, Brian, put it away. Not put it away. It. Put it away. Keyword thought that it was your girlfriend. Let's just Brian, say. I told you she fucked her uncle and her brother, right? It's all just hot air. There was a lot of you don't pressure have to listen in that. to anything he says. Yeah, so, so, stop calming him down. Let him let the man act let him with, cook. on his own will. I'm just kidding, Davies. I didn't I didn't go scuba or uh I didn't go with her. Hey, Crystal. It's okay because oh, I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore, Carl. I'm going to do something new. Well, that's good. She she ran me over. What the fuck did you do to Crystal? I tried to hold the door open. What the you fuck? You tried to hold the door open and you failed. Who's huh? that monster in the back? Hey, hey, that's it's, Crystal. It's Crystal. Hey, that's Crystal. one of ours. Oh, Crystal? What the that's Crystal? Crystal? What the fuck happened to you? Don't worry, I'm taking <laughs> care of it Marshall. just like I took care of Ezra. It's been so long. Oh god. Perfect. I didn't survive another the day not being in your presence, sir. Oh, I'm so glad, so glad to see you. There, uh, I'm Mickey and Mormon, uh, by the way. Thank you for the 27 gonna be, months. I appreciate you. So you guys like selling cookies or anything, Tessa, or uh, what's going on? You guys got any like, you know, oh, caramel delights? Oh, actually, uh, we Ten are minutes. going to be having a uh, fishing tournament in a few weeks uh, uh, on the 17th. What a fucking snoozer. All right, anybody got any uh, real announcements now that we've made the troopers feel appreciated well, and recognized we will for have more cookies than two minutes and move on with the rest of our lives? Wait, hey, did you say something cookies? about troopers? I missed it. I said rangers. No, he said troopers. No, he said no, he I'm said pretty troopers. sure he, he said, said rangers. That's said what I heard. Ah, yeah, I hate most okay, of you state pussies. Literally, so. no one at CPD is allowed to, to vouch for him right now. What do you mean? I, I, what do you mean? You guys. I don't <laughs> beat anybody. He has Mendoza. never beat You just beat the shit out of You beat Barrett. someone as I walked no, in I the door. by accident. Bear, Bear, don't okay? stand up for him. Here, here, yeah, let me, I'm fine. Let me put some pressure on that. I'm in Mendoza's corner, but at the same time, he did say rangers. 
It's fine. You literally said troopers. No, I said rangers. He said troopers. Said troopers. <laughs> Thank you. I said, Thank I you. We're I said being rangers. gaslit. Is you, what you we're people in the state all what's oh, happening. you're an expert gaslighter. You, Look Look you people you. in the state all just want to hear what you fuck. It all, you just push exactly. it. Exactly. Wait to hear Tell my them. balls yeah. in your Tell mouth again. Boom, shut up. Jesus. Personally, I wouldn't take that. I'm sure you can't hear how tiny they are just banging in left and right of my mouth. Tiny ass balls. Either way, they're still in there. Continue, Fred. Any announcements other than Mendoza's tiny ass balls bouncing in Bloom's mouth? <laughs> no, we usually I have don't an even start. We usually don't even start. What the, the fuck? Do you want to save it? So. Yeah, Nancy, do you want to save it for the end, Nancy, good. or do you want to? Hey, come on up, Nancy. Well, I got something for after Nancy. Well, uh, oh great, Davies, you're too I good. feel like feedback is a uh, very, Tessa's very a important. Narc. And I decided to do something this meeting. Uh, I'm rob along, Pred. It's gonna be called uh. The streets be talking. You're from the streets, you're you're fucking right? saving baby Brad? skulls, motherfucker. Brad. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> I got some feedback, uh, mostly on the animal <laughs> handlers of the police <laughs> department. Because we're cops, so how can you? Uh, so I am going to start with uh, Leah Nova. Be a narc this is not something criminal. that I'm saying. It's just the feedback. <laughs> just the feedback out out in the streets. Oh um, shit. All right. Um, Hold on, Leah Nancy. Nova you know about the and her canine chaos. Are a bad pairing in my professional opinion. Who is opinion. that? The dog what? should be trained better. Hello? And should have an owner that doesn't make what as many mistakes. What? Or why are there fireworks? I bought oh, a whole bunch of them. Magic. Oh, okay. Crazy. Can I continue? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nancy yeah. Cook. Come scary, on. dude. That was fucking scary. All right. Leonova oh, and oh, her canine chaos are a bad pairing in my professional opinion. The dog should be trained better and have an owner that doesn't make as many mistakes or abuse <laughs> her power as an officer. The dog does not know better. Look at how cool it we are. It was the trainer's fault. In Man, fact, we look sick. I think the dog should be with Bass. The oh. next person Bass. is going to be Dan Faley and uh, his canine dude. Uh, Dan Faley and his canine dude are absolutely terrible. Uh, Dan Philly should not be allowed to have a dog. Um, he should not be allowed to have a dog. It's an, it's abuse at this point. Dan <laughs> Philly has abused his dog on so many occasions that the dog should be the taken street. away from him by the state of Los Santos. And finally, we have Tessa. Huh. Tessa is a great ranger, and I think she should be allowed to have those pets. I think that Tessa does a great job handling those pets. If people have an issue with how she handles those pets, then they're obviously the problem. I think that she should have a raise for what she does. Yeah. Wow. Hey, thanks, oh, Nancy. Hey. The streets are nice. Yeah, the streets are nice. It, it wasn't nice. me, by the way. No, but don't look at me like that. Don't look I'm at me like noting, that. I'm just noting how many fucks I give. Uh, I'm looking, <laughs> and I don't seem to find any. So what, what I got from that is we need to do more... More traffic stops, more detaining, more frisking of masks. How is okay, that we'll get what you that got from that? That's what All I got. Right, well, guys, see... I want to see if you have a canine. I want to see it attacking more people. You got a daily yep. attack quota for your for your. Is, is Dan coming over there to defend himself? Has to be here. here. I got three to five. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, come on up, Dan. All right. Hey, about pork chop needs blood. Thank you, Brad. Appreciate it. Uh, this is just a general announcement. Um, I know you all are very competent uh, officers in here. Uh, and you should know uh, the basics here of uh, not having uh, police equipment in your trunk. I know that uh, may, sh you know, it's pretty much common knowledge boring. Uh, to not have police equipment in, in your trunk. So don't do that. Uh, otherwise, you're, you're not a competent officer. All right. Thank you. I got a question, Dan. Go ahead, Dan. Dan. What's up? Oh, Are we still God. allowed to sell it to civilians? <clears throat> thank you. Thank you for that question, Thatch. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Smooth Beard now. Smooth Beard. No. Smooth thank Beard. Put some, he's captain of the right. sea. Yes. Did you guys hear me? Like Don't day. sell your police equipment. All right. Okay. Why? Don't get caught. Right. CBD stuff. <clears throat> Be because it's bad. All right. Wait, a little further away from the mic, Dan. Why'd you yeah. put the mic in your what mouth? What am I supposed to do with Why the, the fuck did you that? swallow the mic like that? Oh my god. You're trying to show us your deep throating well, abilities? Well, you got <laughs> that before the they mic told is you crazy. Not to, we should probably fulfill it. I don't right. want to piss off the customer. Just tell them tell afterwards. I got an order for a thousand. <laughs> oh, that. Come on up there. This moves weird. Please, thank you. 
Ahoy! Uh, God, what's the fucking All right. difference? It's well, one is one is my my title, which is Moose Beard, and the other is a uh, name that my uh, my three mothers gave me. Listen, okay, it's not important. Uh, you guys probably already saw it. The announcement. This is this is the boring part. Uh, there's a guy down there. His name's Todd. He's got some shit for you. Talk to him. Everybody but SDSO. You, you're not allowed to use it. I uh, can get tasers, taser cartridges, uh, handgun, handgun ammo, that kind of stuff from him. Uh, it's pretty cool. He's a nice guy. Talk to him. He's he's got quite the backstory. Uh, I spent I spent a couple hours down there just chatting with him. I feel like um, you forgot okay. to say I'll that right Todd there. just doesn't like the SDSO. Well, we told him not to like the SDSO. We made up a bunch of rumors and lies about uh, what the SDSO did and didn't say about him, and so he really just doesn't like them anymore. They're not paying him. Who does like SDSO? Ooh, Todd is one. the biggest shit talker about you. I hear him saying things. Um, mad shit. Don't, uh, yeah, read the announcement on that too. There's some stuff in there that you probably should know. Does he just save us a hundred? Uh, the other thing is, uh, you guys shouldn't be wearing masks. The masks are stupid. They're the absolutely fuck? stupid. Yeah, uh, damn, it's, it's, it's just snow, you guys. It's not, it's not alien cum. It's not spores. It's not anything that's going to make you impregnated with alien babies. Like Nothing people. like that is happening. You're all going insane. You're being brainwashed. Take the masks off. Breathe freely. Eat the white snow. Mm -hmm. You're fine. Wait, are you all, are, hey, wait is that the spores everyone was talking about? The fucking cracks in the street? No, the cracks in the street. That, that's because of the gas that's holes. escaping. Those are yeah, that's because of our new well, overlords. Wait, we, no, we've Lebanon got gas escape. No, you guys, the, you're not. Where's you, the spore talk guys, coming from? No, no, that's the. Okay. There's yeah, alien the, spores that'll impregnate you, and that's the whole thing. No, Listen, the, no. the holes like in that. the street are because gas is escaping from he the sewer system. Indeed. That's why occasionally you'll see fire shooting out of them and like something that looks like a mutated crocodile. We do His have croc mutated crocodile crocodiles living Sorry. under the city. <laughs> okay, all right. You all right, stop spreading false information about our what? new overlords. What do you mean yeah, our over all right? You are Craglar? Okay. Oh yeah. Damn. Are we gonna so, get mulched? I mean, Craglar did say you may have noticed anyone. that some creatures are crawling out of the uh the fissures. These are, they mean you no harm, unless you mean them harm. You have a siren head. You have a roach fuck and bald face. Uh, these are the clearest photos I could take. Uh, you can find out more information on infobattles.org. Uh, there are new overlords, and I'm the prophet. So, you know, just gotta, gotta accept that. Can I that's the most that? believable thing. That's ten times there's more believable than the spores. And there's, yeah, there's no spores. I just got told to put on a mask. Also, if there was goal? spores and it was a problem, a mask would not help in any capacity. What is their goal? There you go. See, Tessa their goal, gets it. Uh, basically, uh, they're, all this, you know, they lay eggs in people. They only did that to Peach just because she pissed them off. Uh, basically, they just need one host, and then they wear you like a coat, and eventually your skin hardens around theirs, and that's how they become immortal or something. I don't know. Damn, that's kind of... All right, mm. well, you heard it from... You have to be worthy to be uh, their how do skin. I? How do I... Never mind. I'll, I'll I thought they okay, uh, they yeah. impregnated you. Peach because she's Tess is an anti-masker. Well, yeah. oh I God. mean, honestly, if they do she think it's spores, that is Mickey actually true. Got, uh, uh, well, masks would as not as help. She's telling everybody. Uh, as I right. heard it, she's sharing the eggs are sharing space with her. That's not how spores it's definitely work. Definitely Mickey. Um, yeah, it was sweating. It's the it's uh, real hot in this room. I can't really see it. All right. Well, you guys heard it from preacher himself. Uh, Grand Marshal, you got anything else? Yeah, I do. So, uh, and it's that not guy, the baby. Uh, She's naming it little Kyle. Craglar, or what? What's the name of that guy that's in our armory? Oh, Todd. Todd. Todd uh, so, um, uh, um, uh, do not request uh, scar assault rifles from Todd. Or ammo. Yeah, why? <laughs> just don't, you know. Don't worry about it. It's uh. Did you try it? Of course I did. What do I look like? <laughs> <laughs> what do you? Did you guys? Was know that a rhetorical why question? I, you guys know why I work here, don't you? Like you know why I'm here. I know why he went No. I mean, there's a reason why I'm not really allowed to touch a lot of things, is because. Listen, I'm the boss. You're on the list. <laughs> I'm the boss. Mm. I'm the don't boss. touch the guns. The I am. I am the boss. Just don't. Right. Just Do don't ask catch. him for an assault rifle. 
Because he test won't. To see he what won't. What happens if I try and talk to him? No, because you're a deputy. Oh, I thought it was she was a woman. I want to go near no, and show it wasn't. She means because she's a Listen, you so. can't just say that. You can't just say do not woman? request it because something is going to happen and not say what it is that's going to happen. I'm it's just, just too don't curious. Do it. Does he hand you a weapon? Because you guys are going to waste Listen. our materials getting okay. guns that we can't even fucking if use. If you ever wonder oh. if you should do something, just ask Moosebeard. Moosebeard, are you going to go down there and request a scar? I, th I think what... Um, you what guys will drain us. our goddamn materials I couldn't, couldn't hear you, if Bloom, you do sorry. that. It was I think a what joke, Tessa just Fred, brought out, guys, it was a joke. Is uh, the okay, well, why you shouldn't this isn't do that. A, this isn't a time to... Listen, I... I wouldn't actually do it, Jesus. I exist to do certain things. Okay, it's why me... <laughs> You know, I'm. Any more announcements? Mm -mm. Oh, I actually, I do have one last one. One last one, kind of serious. Peter Gabriel. Too. All right, perfect. Come on up. Is it more about uh, infobattles.org? No, I listened no. to that guy. I listened to uh, Alex Bones' podcast the other day. Yeah, that's he's he's got good stuff. Really into it. The to thing about the water and beta the, brain supplements. His uh, water bottles. And is he a bath water? No, no, he sells. He's, he jars his own water. Um, I announced this in uh, Shift 2, but uh, big congratulations to Shelby Lane on getting uh, full Shark Ranger certified. If you guys need anything uh, Shark Ooh. Ranger stuff, uh, you can go to him. Real SRU. Uh, him. Good job, yeah, real Shelby. SRU. Him? Him. Uh, yeah. Sorry, her. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> gotcha. You guys are on your on your toes. That's good. You're paying attention. Uh, I, I like that. Moosebeard, you're sounding like tired. No, 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 no. Nonsense. Uh, He's yeah, not tired. It, but if Shelby's not around or myself or anybody else who's a shark ranger, Bloom is also around who can uh, help you with that. Uh, that's pretty much it. I think in this shift. Uh, Roy stops by sometimes. Uh, can we yeah. get some like motivation, uh, uh, Grand Marshal? <clears throat> yeah, Motiv yeah, sure. Motivational um, uh, standoff. I'm sorry, Shelby. I, I, I didn't mean that. Oh, you know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Uh, who knows what the future holds as we sail into the great beyond? Craiglar does. Does it hold many jewels, gold, crowns, exotic silks, new technology, medicine? Or do we all die a fiery death? Or do most of you just get fired in the future like a good 85, 90% of you, and then we rebuild from the, from the bottom? You know, you never know what's going to happen. You know, sometimes you always got to have a backup contingency plan. Like, if, for example, if we were sailing on rough seas, we're going to need lifeboats. You know that? You know the Titanic? They didn't have enough lifeboats. Yeah. That's how you know it. That, that's why I believe the conspiracy theory. All right. There were tons of there were tons of rich people on the Titanic at the time. They all died. Did you hear about that Japanese guy that uh, jumped on one of the life rafts and then the entirety of his country shunned him and he had to move? No, no, I didn't he hear about that. Like, yeah, he lived the Titanic, so they uh, they all shunned him for being a Did coward. he steal a lifeboat? No, he saw a guy get on in front of him, so he went on too. He was like, fuck it, I'm not going to die here. And then everyone... Yeah. He had to move away from his home. I feel like you could just lie real easily back in the early you 1900s. Said, you could have just said, I wasn't oh. on the Titanic. Yeah. That's all you I got just, the wrong guy. That's all you, that's all you had to say. Though. Yeah, it's like not like they had security cameras or anything. You could like just... People used well, to you know he bragged about that shit. And shit. When they robbed banks. It was me, Tommy, and the, and the street queens. Yeah, he bragged about that shit. He came back. I survived. Yeah, I was pushing children and women out of my way to get on that boat. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like well, it's it it probably because he did it to himself. You know, well, who knows MJ's what fan. type of future Fucking lasts? Kids. You know, um, we have two rangers here to our right. While they may be, well, I don't really know what their purpose is. Um, you know, Davies is a good <laughs> cop. Yeah, Davies is pretty good. And the, so are the rest of you. From that desk around the room all the way to my direct left. Davies to the now and then and then it just like stops and then that desk wrapping around the room. Al, you you guys are all great. You'll you'll probably all have jobs in the future. 
Who knows? Is That's this like you like? Is fun. this like you firing me, Pred? No, what's going on? What do you mean? I said no, you were good. No, he's, he's if purposely. Anything, he's fine. Oh, oh, I, I came, I came in half through that right conversation. Here. I was zoning out. Pred can yeah. fire me. Our journeys will bring us me. many riches and exotic silks if we continue onward. Fred, what are you saying right now? <laughs> I don't like know. No, it's okay. Like I said, he's basically saying pillage and plunder. I think he's no, trying I'm to conclude not. I'm and does not that we'll our do, journey sir. will be fruitful. Are we about to take pillage and plunder before a comet comes here? No, we're not. I'm not. No, we're not. And that and that is a great documentary, by That's the way, to watch. Hey, you're not trying to steal whole, Brick's whole pirate cop thing, are you? Because I I'm already no, I'm doing not, that. I'm not gonna be a fucking pirate. Okay, well, uh, I if you do, I'm gonna tell Brick that you're stealing his bit. One Wait, more, I will. St I'll steal your bit and make it mine, motherfucker. I'll become the pirate cop. Ooh. I'm doing it right now. What? Oh, Everyone's gonna do it. What's the documentary? Oh. I'm gonna do it for. I can't. It's on HBO. It's on HBO Go. I'm not stealing your bit, Moosebeard. Ah, uh, you couldn't do it half as well as I do anyway. Good yeah. shit, guys. Right. Oh yeah. You'll all you'll remember I feel today. Like we talked about nothing. that. You could have called up? Captain uh, Jack Sparrow. Ah. Uh, Oh nope. Flops was Bison and yeah. Shelby. Yeah. Oh, Shelby. Wait, what? Right here. All right. Uh. Oh my God! Good job. It was. It was. It was Brian. I don't know. I just said I don't know who he deserves it. Stupid. Yeah. Weave. Oh, oh. Did a weave? No weave. No weave. You can do it, Crystal. Now I'm about to punch you. Here, I'm gonna go take the car real quick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Shelby now. Were you the one who yeah. talked to the uh, flops? Good basically. bit. Yes. Uh, can you, if you could... Can okay, Tessie, so you had to talk to me? I always yeah, believe yeah I mean, does everyone plead guilty? <laughs> you gotta jump. Uh, yeah, five points in my case. You did he. Alright. So. I'm gonna tell you this if they all plead guilty. What happened? Okay. What happened? Okay. Run, run me through it from the very beginning. Okay. So I was talking to my. Uh, my. I wish it was my girlfriend, but she doesn't want me. Um, but I'm trying hard to get her to be my girlfriend, Cookie Low. We were talking about uh, things in front of the Legion Square Bank. You know, she was talking about how, um, excuse me, we're having a personal conversation over here. Oh, I'm sorry. I was gonna talk to it's all right. It's all right. You, you need some? Oh, it was just really brief. Are you okay? Go, uh, am go I okay? There. David. No, no, no. Great. Go over there, Shelby. He looks like such a little man. I think he'll be all right. It's just hemorrhoids. Oh, I was going to say, I'm not really too concerned for you, Tessa. Or really him. Well, yeah. Well, did you need something? I'll, I'll, wait, I'll wait until you're done. Yeah, fuck you. Okay. Okay, so what happened was... Uh, um, so what happened was I was talking to Cookie and then we were having like a, like an interim couple therapy, but we're not really couple with Aziz, um, you know, Aziz from um, Strawberry Gas Station. Yeah, so we were having like a, a little talk with him. We were talking about some things, you know, he could, he dropped some gems. I'm like, well, I dropped some gems. And then, uh, you know, uh, Travingle oh. and Javingle, Dan. Oh. Javingle and Travingle Dan started uh, going into my uh, police charger and grabbing things out. And I told them to get out at gunpoint. And they got out. Um, they kept walking around me with uh, crowbars and stuff. So I decided to um, take matters in my own hands and I hit him with this. Yeah. Because <laughs> they were going this. through your stuff? Yeah, they were walking. It was scaring me. They were walking around me with, uh, with, uh, with crowbars and things. So I, I pulled this out. So I, uh, then mm -hmm. I beat them. I beat them with this, and then I, I, I hit Travingo a little bit too hard, and his, his brain matter was all over the sidewalk. So then, um, Jeff Vingle Dan told me he's like, hey, he's not doing so well. We gotta, 
he's he's a hemorrhoid. We gotta we gotta find Fingal. So then I would call Fingal and I was like, Fingal, I think I hurt your brother. I I think you need to come over here and help me. And then uh Fingal was like, nah, fuck that guy. I've been trying to kill him for the past two months. I said, what? I said, he's about to die. He can't die. And then I, I kill him. He's like, good. I was trying to get him for the last two months. And then he hung up on me. Uh, I called EMS to see if we can kind of like, you know, uh, you know resuscitate him, get him back to life. It, it didn't really work out. And then Javingo kept going like, hey, Javingo kept going, hey, we have to get him in Fingal. Like, we had to find Fingal's ass. So then what I did was... Uh, I admit it was wrong. I should have kept them in the loop, but the, you know, the EMS are very, uh, uh, they're very headstrong. And I was trying to tell them like, Hey, I got to do something with them. And don't worry. It's going to be fine. So then they weren't listening to me. So I just took them. I ran. I said, I'm sorry. I didn't know how else to save them. So then I took them and I put them in the back of my charger. I picked up Javingle Dan and then we drove into the casino. You'll be proud of me. I drove my charger into the casino through the doors all the way to where Fingal was is with uh, Booba and Dan Dan and then someone else. And then, um, you know, we, we, we completed the ritual. Um, Travingal is safely back hem- hem- hemorrhoid and all up Fingal's ass. So I saved a life. I almost took a life, but I ended up saving it. That's the story from start to finish. Favorites. Yes, that's a... You know, I spent the better part of my beginning of my shift concerned that this was some kind of problem or major issue. Now, I had to deal with this pretty early on in my shift and I, you know, I was not prepared for it and I was very concerned that you were a part of something far worse than what you're telling me now. Yeah. Yeah. Now, is there anyone who can corroborate your story? Yes, Booba and Fingal. Which, after saying okay. that out loud, it doesn't really sound like the best people to corroborate my story. Maybe not, but I am going to need to speak with them first. Okay. So, currently, you are, let's say, under investigation for this situation. Okay. Again? Well, you know, it's just, uh, you know, uh, internal ranger investigation. We've got to... I'm not going to get fired. I know, uh, I know Clarkson's been made aware of the situation. Well, not this situation, but... The uh, other one? The other one, yes. So I did actually want to talk to you about that as well. Um, okay. What exactly happened? <sighs> okay, so... <sighs> Everyone knows the gist of it. Then ended up shooting Mr. DeBrickshaw King. Um, so after that, um, Den doesn't do any paperwork, and Manio doesn't have access. Didn't at the time didn't have access to the incident um, tab in our MDW. So he sent me his statement. I put my statement in, and then Den put his in, and then we're all riding. It was me, him, and Den riding in a charger, and then Manio was like. Make sure you put that he was 50 feet away and everyone's statements, David's. And I said, okay. And that's what I did. And mind you, all three of us in the car, I think uh, Dan was a little scatterbrained, so he probably didn't hear him. But that's when I put it all in. I put it, like, really right after seeing that's why I put it all in. Um, Again, um, I own up to it. Uh, I don't want me to get in trouble, even though everyone's kind of going on the way of, hey, he's your superior. Um, and he told you to do it and you did it. I don't want it to come off like it was all him. Obviously, it's me too. I don't want to get fired. I don't want to be demoted or I don't want any like future promotions that I have coming up to be thwarted by this. But at the end of the day, I made a, I had a lapse in judgment. I did something wrong and I'm willing to own up to the consequences of whatever it is. I don't want anything really bad to happen to Minio because he's been supporting me a lot and he's been, um, you know, keeping me up because I've been kind of down lately coming on duty, but everyone's stepping on me. Um, so... If I had to take the burn of the punishment, I will. Whatever it is, it is what it is. I'll 
own up to it. Okay, so to be clear, you didn't alter your statement to make it look better for a criminal. Is that correct? No, we, I literally, it was that happened. Um, and then as I was writing a report, as we were driving to Crusade, he was just like, make sure you put 50 feet for everyone's statement because I put my statement, Manuel's statement, and Den's statement. Or no, Den wrote his in this in the report, and I added everything in later. I didn't do it in any type of malice or anything like that. Um, I didn't do it to make the criminal look better and to have Dean be Dean, <clears throat> sorry, Den uh, successfully sued. That's just what I did, and uh, you know I understand how wrong it is, how stupid it is, and I'm better than that. No, I'm not paying for your gas, whoever you are. <laughs> okay, so my, my main concern at this point in time is, uh, you know, obviously, it kind of goes two different ways. Like, if you were to alter a report in order to make a criminal look better and, and uh, you know, disguise what they had done, it would be obstruction of justice. Mm -hmm. But if you do it the other way around and it's you're trying to pin something on the criminal, like uh, make something seem like it's worse with your statements, uh, that is also quite bad. Um, I wouldn't quite say it's obstruction because you're not uh, hindering an investigation. You are actually making it worse for someone and in in my opinion that's a bit worse uh, yeah. uh because you're you're harming someone who is otherwise innocent um yeah, i mean when i boil it down to what i did it, it, it really comes down to like you say you've been obstruction or probably evidence tampering i i would say more along the lines of evidence tampering um yeah. so it is obviously pretty serious uh, mm -hmm. I don't want to, I don't want to belittle that and say, you know, it's no big deal. Uh, you know, we're, we're not gonna give out any punishments for it. Cause I do think that given, given the situation, it was, so who, who was the person that you guys altered the thing it about? It was, uh, the shooting of the Brickashaw King on Palomino Ave, right? Just south of the CG gate. Near the, okay. uh, what's it called? The Daily Brew? Something like that? The little coffee shop right next to the, the, the chain gang gate? All right. And, and what was the ultimate outcome of that situation? What happened? Den shot the individual after he hit a, a wall with a bat from 50, like 20 feet, to, 20 to 50 feet away. I see. Uh, and what was he charged with? Um... If anything, I don't, I don't know if he I was. Even, I don't even know. I think he might have been charged with uh, disobeying a lawful order, honestly. In possessions, if he had any. Because okay. Dem was trying to frisk him, and then he went to the wall, and he was like, frisk me if you want. He had to spike that out. So then when he hit the wall with the bat, that's when Den shot him. Okay. And And you didn't shoot him, did you? No, it was only that me and many other issue. We were just standing there okay. watching. All right. Um, I don't want to give you any like definitive answers right now because I'm I need to speak mm -hmm. with uh Ziggy and Clarkson about it, obviously. Uh, because it is you and Minio that are basically our problem, and then Den is Malton's problem. Uh. I, I don't really feel comfortable pursuing anything with Den as he is higher rank than kind of any of us. Uh, mm -hmm. So I think that is going to have to fall to Malton. Um, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to just sweep this under the rug. I don't think it needs, it should be swept under the rug. I think oh, no, you guys need to know that that wasn't okay. Uh, but the severity of it, I don't know yet. Um, I'm not at this time thinking there's any kind of firings on the table. Uh, with the body thing, I was a little concerned the, earlier. 
just given that what I was told. Um, but now that I know a little bit more about it, I'm thinking that it's not as big a deal as I thought. And we can probably move on from this, but I don't know exactly what the punishments are going to be, okay? All right. No problem. I guess I'll take everything on the chin. I'm not a big what about is person or yeah. I like to make excuses. So whatever you feel is valid, mm. I'll take my lickings on the chin. Uh, and I'm not personally looking to fire or demote or hold anything over you guys' heads or anything like that. Um, from me, uh, on my perspective, if, if it can be proven in a court of law and you guys did something that was so unsavory that it needs criminal charges uh, i don't know what we're gonna do but uh that's gonna be up to ziggy and clarkson ultimately all right no problem and i don't want you to think that a criminal charge on your record if that does come to happen is gonna mean you're dismissed okay okay because that's that's not really how we operate. There's high command members with pretty hefty crimes on their records that are still where they're at. So uh, as long as you own it, for me, that's the biggest thing. And you recognize that you did something wrong. I'm not going to look to bury you. Okay. You know what I mean? I, that's that's yeah. not how I operate. I don't feel like that's how Ziggy or Clarkson wants to operate. Um... So I think I think we can move forward from this. I don't think there's going to be too many problems. But uh, depending on what the person does, I don't know. I mean, you could be looking at some kind of civil suit. Mm -hmm. So just be aware of that. I can't protect you on that. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate you, Tess. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you for your honesty, you know, and, and if you would like to have a more private conversation with Ziggy and Clarkson uh, by yourself, you're more than welcome. Uh, yeah. I'm sort of just a messenger at this point, so any decision will probably come direct from them. All right. I'll, uh, I'll keep my phone on uh, on loud, so if they call, I'm, I'm ready. All right. Again, I appreciate you, and uh, I'm sorry if I let you guys down. I know well, I, I'm really uh, I usually mean, you, really, like uptight with my work and everything like that. You were following an order, which uh, for me, that's the worst part of it. I don't think that you should have been told to do what you did. All right. So. All right, Tessa. All right. Well, thank you. All right. Wait. Actually, time and place. Not a good time. Never mind. Never mind, Tessa. Wrong time, wrong place. I, I'll, talk, I'll talk to you later. Ooh. Oh, motherfucker. Motherfucker gets carbon. Now he's just going to flinch at me, huh? What, you want to fight? You want to fight, Horva, huh? You want to fight? Want to fight? Things that you, you said uh, you didn't mm. want to talk about. I'm not going to shelby it up. What's up? Nothing, David. So uh, I think you brought something up hemorrhoid. about something. Oh, oh, congrats for hemorrhoid. Yeah. You heard that? No, it's very Damn specific. It. It's not my hemorrhoids, it's, it's Figgles hemorrhoids. I didn't hear anything like that. It sounds like you have a robot thing in your mouth. I hate him. Ow! How could you do that to Shelby? I wasn't going to catch up in time. Hey, Tessa. Okay. Hello. Hello. Tried calling you the other day. Forgot when. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, see, we thought of the uh, the, the office. I need to go back in and add supplies into the closet. I love it. I think it's love great, it. and it's exactly what we need out there. And I showed Craig, and I'm hopeful that he'll start using it too. I know Dulio oh. uses it. Um, I haven't had a chance to yet. I haven't arrested anyone up there in a while, so <laughs> I'm uh waiting for my opportunity but uh nice, on the 17th nice. we're going to be doing our fishing tournament and that'll oh. be our little base of operations so yeah, i'll make sure to I get love stuff it. into the closet i had the little cot and then 
Copper was like, well, take it down. I don't want people sleeping there. I was like, okay, <laughs> That's fine. Fair. So I need to put supplies and stuff in, but I've been just on a different one this past week. Things have been busy. No worries. Yeah, so I want to make oh, yeah. I want to make sure that you liked it and that little photo I op do. area. Yeah, I like the little picture uh, spot. I wasn't sure how I was gonna go about that, and I was like, you know, it'd be really cool as a waterfall. Yeah. Is that oh, who's Luma's trying to get? get em- yes, he's going through everyone's. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> So join servers. We get our gas for, uh, paid for every week or every month. Is this hemorrhoids okay, by the way? Oh, yeah, they're fine. Okay. We thought it was a murder, but it turned out to just be hemorrhoids. Well, oh, yeah. Typical. Yeah. It's so easy to confuse murder and hemorrhoids. It's really, really simple. It's you know, sometimes. It's so easy. It's just it's, like it's just, a, they're so They're similar. interchangeable. They really are. Sometimes you just feel like you're murdering someone with hemorrhoids, and other times you uh, murder someone with hemorrhoids. Or you murder someone who is a hemorrhoid. It's an interesting take on it. Um, I wouldn't quite call David's a hemorrhoid. Just damn things. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, just damn things. Can't even be mad at that. Anyways, that was it. Hopefully you're doing all good. Right. Yeah, I mean, uh, things have been alright. I've been uh, dealing with Bill Mays and his stupid stuff. Bill seems on one with these... He's given contempt to officers who call other officers who are in court. Wait, actually? Yeah, I think he gave Ripley contempt for... Calling, I forgot who I was with. This is like a couple weeks ago or something. Right after he became judge. Because he called he whoever I was in a bench He gave me contempt for with. losing a cat. What? Yeah, I went to jail. For, for losing a cat? Yeah, he told me to watch over a cat. I told him, okay, but I can't 100% guarantee. He acknowledged that. And then uh, I lost track of the cat. And he gave me contempt. What was the time and fine? It was just 20 months, but I got attacked because the blocks were in there when they sent me up. So oh. I was in the ICU, ICU for a few days and had brain surgery because they, I guess there was a bleed on my brain that was caused by me hitting my head. I am so sorry. I would be furious. Yeah, well, he, he sounds has, like I'm not the only he has one. The power, so. yeah, he has the power. I've heard of a couple things like the. Yeah, well, was, he actually doesn't have the power. It's just that uh, he thinks he has the power, and he's been arbitrarily deciding uh, stuff. He says is a court order, and then people are violating it. Yeah. You gonna go and bring him to I a court I feel like I need to do a class action. Oh, that would be beautiful. Yeah, I'm I'm taking it to a court of appeals, and then once I win that, I'll probably do a civil suit. No, oh, that's smart. That but is smart. Maybe I'll invi- invite a bunch of other people to do it. Have you been wronged by Bill Mays? Yeah. <laughs> Get a flyer in here. I wonder them out. what the legal ramifications for that would be. I have no idea, but if you Hopefully need flyers, like made, you let me know, know, and I'll help you. Okay. Well, thank you. We like a milk carton ad. <laughs> the milk cartons get, that appear in the yeah. offices sometimes. Yeah. No. Oh, Jesus. I don't know what's worse, milk Ugh. cartons or all the alcohol bottles. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a toss-up between the two. Sorry everybody was bullying you for a minute there. I was 
Oh, no, it's kind fine. of wanting to step just... in, but then I realized that I'm the only, like, one of the only rangers, too. And yeah. They, they seem to, to go they after people that don't have backup. Oh, wonder I wonder why that is. If they want to go and say anything, I mean, I'd like to see them outside on the streets. I'll fuck them up. Yeah. Just kidding. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. But I would. I would. Like, I. I've been to prison. I'm hard now. <laughs> I used to be a criminal. I was hard. Nice. But now I'm just the, the STSO mom, and I was EMS mom. So I think those right there just kind of add the hardness. I'm everyone mom, apparently. Yeah, true. You are everyone mom. I hate it. All right. But why? Who? Well, gosh darn it. Sometimes I just want to go on duty and not have to babysit. I feel that. I That is a whole I, I got mood. on duty this morning, and I was just bombarded with problems. I, uh, I was at home watching TV, and I was bombarded with problems. Shelby, <laughs> can you come to MRPD? I'm just a corporal. I'm not even command. Well, welcome to my world. <laughs> that that will soon change, I promise you that. If you keep fixing their problems... I've been fixing their you problems will, You will find yourself in a rank. I, no, I won't. I won't. That's actually the quite opposite. I will never find myself in that rank because That's I'm what's what ready. I said. No, I'm what's ready. That, that right there has held me back. You, Tessie, you realize I've been handling like all the back, like a good amount of back end stuff for STSO since I was a deputy. I remember those since days. Since June. When I thought I could And you know what's it. changed is nothing. Nothing has changed between then and now. Except for I'm a corporal. Nice. That's, that's the only thing that's changed. Everything else. Uh, Everything else the same. Well, all I can say is know your worth. Yeah. Don't I, let them I, bully you. They will. They will. They will. They yeah. bully me. All right. I'm well, going to go run to the corner and cry. Good night. Okay. All right, chat. I'm getting the heck out of here, all right? Thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out with me. If you guys enjoy the content, you haven't already done so, I would greatly appreciate it if you would drop me a follow. I'd love to see you guys come back and hang out. Uh, thank you, those of you who stayed from the raid. I know there's a lot of you out there, so thanks. Um, hope you guys had a good night. I hope you stay safe and that you are kind to yourselves and one another. Um, but yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow for some more fun stuff. And, uh, what else? I think that's it. All right, I'm going to find someone to raid. Christopher Yi, of course, yes. That is a perfect one. I still feel bad from when I, he was following me in SCP. And he asked what I was looking at, and I said something ugly. I felt really bad. <laughs> it was just RP, but I felt bad. I didn't mean it, Christopher. I didn't mean it. All right, guys. I'm going to send him some love. Be sure you pass it along. I will see you all tomorrow. Take care. Goodbye. No, don't make that the raid message. Don't do that. Give him love. He's a cutie. You can call him stinky if you want, though. That's fine. Alright. 
<laughs> See you guys tomorrow.